Captain speaking. The American ambassador has just arrived on HMAS Newcastle. The medal ceremony is scheduled to last one hour. We are to remain on alert status until Ambassador Davis departs. That is all. Why would the Navy get some big yanks to dish out medals, eh? Join Task Force in the Gulf, mate. These guys distinguish themselves. The Americans are very grateful. Americans hand out medals like Chubba Chubbs, Wayne. Sounds to me like someone's jealous. I don't need some Tim badge to tell me how good I am. <laughs> you do a pretty good job of that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they're the hero dudes, eh? Bird, fourth from left. Talk about cute. Petty Officer Dylan Mulholland, second class. Ooh. He can be my hero any day. <laughs> Congratulations, Petty Officer. Thank you, sir. Well done. Still got his arms and legs now, hero could he have been? <laughs> Major Mace Hamsley, go ahead. It's decent of the ambassador to chop her all the way out here. Oh, Newcastle's on deployment, but that's just an excuse. Sorry, ma'am, can you repeat that, please? Good PR. It looked good on the telly. Yeah, I, okay, can you calm down, please, ma'am? Sir, I've got a mayday. I'm having trouble hearing it. Put it on speaker, Ray. Sir. They're here now, up on deck. I can't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ma'am, this is Lieutenant Commander Mike Flynn on Australian warship Hemmersley. Can you tell me your name? My name's Carolyn. Please help me. What's the name of your vessel, Carolyn? Uh, I'm, I'm on a fishing boat. It's, um, the, the White Knight. Oh, my God, they're shooting. Who's shooting? I don't know. They just boarded the boat. Oh, God, I'm so scared. So there's nothing on radar or AIS. Do you think it's legit? Can you give me your coordinates? I don't know anything about boats. Just look for the GPS. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I can't. It looks just like a sat nav in your car. It should be right near the radio. Oh, this thing with the numbers. That's it. Read me the numbers. Uh, one, seven, zero, five. Zero, five. Zero, five. Four, six, two, four. Carolyn? Carolyn, are you still there? Please, God. I don't want to die. OK, 23 miles bearing 230, sir. All right, X, take a rib. We'll stay with the fleet. Listen, Carolyn, we're transport coming to get you. Do you promise? I give you my word. appears to be deserted over. I told the woman to hide, X. Search everywhere. Yes, sir. Swain? Roy? Caroline? Caroline? Australian Navy, if you're down there. Bomb! Bomb! Bomb on board! Bomb on board! Go, get out! What's going on? OK, go!
Robert and Swain are okay, boss. Just two dads and the ex are still missing. Two dads. Grab my hand. Uh, about time you guys showed up. Have you seen the ex? No? No. Charge, come around 50 yards east of your position. Good spot, Bird. Uh. X, X, <laughs> you alright? Coming up. That's it. Thank you. Uh, bring it back. Yeah. Pain? Headache? I have a slight headache. Day of the week, is it? It's a trick question. It's Tuesday. Mm. People are a little bit sluggish. Well, they're sluggish? Uh, possible concussion. We'll need a CT scan when we get I back to the shore. I don't need a CT scan. I'm not having one. I'm afraid the CT scan is mandatory, ma'am. Please, God. I don't want to die. Listen, Carolyn, we're coming to get you. Do you promise? I'll give you my word. The White Knight was a fishing charter out of Cairns. With its manifest destroyed, we're unsure of how many were on board or their identities. And you think this was an act of piracy, Lieutenant Commander Flynn? Well, my crew members found no evidence of looting, ma'am, but it could be a ransom scenario. Then why blow up the vessel? To cover their tracks, let us know they're serious, that'd be my best guess. But we need to coordinate assets as soon as possible. All right, you've heard the Lieutenant Commander. We need to brief Canberra and our CEOs. Let's get on with it. How are you, Mike? I'm keen to get back out there, Maxine. <laughs> Yourself? Well, better for this change of scenery. I was getting itchy feet in camera. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Even at Adfa, you couldn't sit still through a lecture. Well, lucky for me, you took excellent notes. <laughs> yeah. And look where they got you. Hmm. I'll walk you out. Actually, that's what I wanted to speak to you about. According to your file, you've been up for promotion twice in the last 12 months and knocked them both back. Oh, promotion means sure posting. Well, judging from that Mayday recording, you could do with some time off the water. You gave that woman your word you'd get to it. Now, since when does a CEO make those sorts of promises? Thank you. Look, I need an ally in here, Mike, someone I can trust. I consider it a personal favour. Look, Maxine, we just docked to refuel. And you're keen to get back out there, okay? I won't press it. For now. I understand you're still waiting on some crew members? We had a few post off. All right, I just assigned you a new buffer. He'll arrive today before you sail. And here? Yeah, ma'am. For a gap girl, you're pretty lucky. I was a full-blown able seaman before I saw my first explosion. Yeah, well, technically, I didn't see it. Just the aftermath. Stick close to me. Trouble tends to follow me around. <sighs> How'd you go to the hospital? Uh, the CT scan came back clear. Uh, looks like it's just a few bruised ribs. You know what that means? My own personal mess suits. Are you offering? Light duties. Luckiest guy on the planet. You must be our new buffer. Petty Officer Dylan Mulholland, sir. Mike Flynn. The other intros will have to wait. Bird, show our new shipmate to his quarters. Right. Hi. Jessica Bird. I'm new here too. I'm doing a gap year. Huh. I've always wanted to meet a real life hero. Well, that makes two of us. NAVCOM's assigned four patrol boats. Kingston's looking in this northeast quadrant. Tilders and Glenelg are searching here and here. What makes you think whoever's taken these people aren't long gone over the line? Easier to set up a ransom exchange if they stay local. Sir, latest vessel checks out. Nagao 3, it's a container ship out of Nagasaki. It's heading for Brisbane. Thanks, Ro. Keep checking every vessel we come across. Sir. Mark the contact X. Yes, sir. sir. Dylan, come on up. Sorry about my abruptness earlier. We're in the middle of a coordinated search. Oh, I've been fully briefed on the situation, sir. This is our RO, Robert Dixon. 
Andy Thorpe, Chief Engineer. Charge. Ah, I will bet my last dollar that you're a duchy. Surname like my Holland, who else could I be? <laughs> <laughs> and our Executive Officer, Kate McGregor. Hi, good to meet you. Ma'am. The guy's been in the Gulf on a big ship, even scored himself some fancy medal. Why would he want to serve on a little tub like this? I don't know, two dads. Maybe he's heard about the excellent scram. Yes. Well, I'm guessing the two girls in his convertible were not his sisters. <laughs> if they were, I wouldn't mind being part of that family. Oh. You know, he's not that flash, right? And he'd want to think twice about pushing his weight around. I might just push back. Don't worry, mate. I won't hold it against you. That's you. Leo, two dads. Yeah. He's always putting his foot in it. How are you, mate? Chris, Swanner. Nice to meet you. Bummer. Word on the street is you're a pretty mean chef, eh? Well, I don't get too many complaints. Well, load me up. Oh. Put your tongue back in your head, Bomber. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. <sighs> Next time. Repeat, MV, Trader Star. This is Australian Warship calling you on VHF Channel 16. Over. So the coastal traders refusing to acknowledge radio contact. I'll lead this evolution. Command State Oscars in force. Mark the time, X. Yes, sir. Please, sir, from the back. Boat, please. Back against yeah. the wall. Over here. Sir, come here. Stand there. You, come here. Come here, okay, mate. Stay there, please, sir. Stand there. Are you the master of this vessel? Do you speak English? What's your name, sir? Ahmed. Ahmed, why didn't you respond to our communication? No radio. It does not work. Check it out, two dads. Roger. What's in these containers? Palm oil. We trade between the islands. Swain Bomber, have a look inside the containers. Looking for palm oil. Copy that, sir. Dutchy, check out the ship's manifest. Make sure everything's in order. Roger. Sir? Radio is out of action, but it's only because the battery's been removed. No battery, no battery. Looks like palm oil to me, sir. Search below. Right. X, Captain, get Ro to run a check on this boat. MV Trader Star out of Delhi. Registration India 4 Delta Foxtrot 30. Did you get that? Uh, Ma'am, call just in from rescue coordination. They picked up an EPIRB signal. It's local. Mm hmm. Can you check that out? Manifest appears to be in order, sir. Sir, we've just been alerted to an EPIRB signal 33 miles southwest of our current position. We're in the middle of the search, X. Uh, sir, the EPIRB is registered to a fishing boat out of Cairns. The White Knight. The White Knight? Carolyn's boat? Yes, sir. Should I request another asset respond? Negative X, that's our priority. Dutchy, everyone in the rib. Roger. Fly in, two dance bomber, back in the rib. Data from EPIRB bearing 325, range 2 miles. I'm picking up a signal on 406 megahertz. Sir, green 10, 1000 yards. You hear their captain speaking? Looks like we have somebody in the water. Swimmer of the watch, close up. Heave in on the recovery line. Hand over hand. It's a male, sir. It's not Caroline. Wearing a white night vest. What about the e perp? No, nothing here, boss. OK, Swain. We'll need to continue our search. Sir, I ran that check that you requested on the MV Trader Star, the vessel you just boarded. Not now, Ro. I really think you should look at that piece of paper I just handed you, sir. This isn't the Trader Star. That's right, the boat we just boarded stole its identity. We had them. And we let them go. We've recovered two more bodies. So we have three male victims, all wearing white night life jackets. Maybe this Caroline woman is still alive. I've alerted NAFCOM. 
Mm -hmm. Sent photos of the deceased to Commander White, see if we can ID them. Knock her. How is she? Don't ever let her hear you call her that. Well, in the Navy, if your surname is White, you're going to get called Knocker. Last sailor to call her that found himself mopping out the heads in a military lockup. Knocker is pressuring me to take promotion. Mm -hmm. How many times can you turn down promotion without it reflecting poorly on you? You'd have me off this boat, would you, ex? Well, sure, posting does have its advantages. See ya. Sir, Coastwatch has spotted that contact only 15 miles to our south. Thanks, Ro. Pipe senior sailors to ship's office. Yes, sir. Senior sailors report to the ship's office. Are we going to snatch board them, sir? Not immediately, Dutchie. I believe they have the woman on board. And they may kill her if we attempt a daylight takedown. Right, so what do you have in mind? As soon as it's dark, we set up both the ribs and the path of the trader star, with a rope cable strung between them. Engines off. Blacked out. Completely invisible. When our target vessel drives into the rope... It silently pulls the ribs in towards the hull. The ribs move alongside, and we board her. It's a stealth tactic. It's been used by pirates with lethal effect. OK, it'll be dark soon. Prepare both rib teams and kit up. Full Kevlar, extra plate. Sir. Sir, I want to lead it. Well, you're still on light duties. Well, we have a new buffer, and this is the kind of operation where my experience will be invaluable. Well, in this instance, my experience might have to suffice. You know you don't have to protect me. I'm ready to go. It's got nothing to do with that. Well, is it about the promotion? Are you being pressured to take a desk job, and all of a sudden you want to put yourself in the line of fire? I don't have a death wish, if that's what you're saying. No. But maybe you're overcompensating. I gave this woman my word I'd keep her safe. I didn't deliver on that. Thunder and lightning, this is Hammersley vectoring you into position. Come left five degrees. Roger that, X. It's thunder and lightning. Oh, they're code call signs for the ribs because our mascot is Thor. Where's the boat we're chasing? They're in our surveillance system. There. So the ribs are heading for an interception point, right? Mm-hmm, which is here in preparation for a stealth takedown. That's awesome. Yeah, it beats you 12, I bet. Thunder and lightning, that should do it. The MV Trader Star is now three nautical miles north and a direct heading for you, over. We catch him. OK, Dutchie, take up position to the west. 80 yards of line should do it. Keep it as taut as we can. Copy that. There's something going on here. Captain X, over. Go ahead, X. Sir, we have some action on the Trader Star. I'm looking at some men climbing onto a speedboat. They're on the move, sir. Are they heading for us? Uh, that is a negative. They are on an easterly heading, travelling at a good clip. What do you advise? Are you sure they were all men? The hostage wasn't amongst them. Uh, no, I don't think so, sir. Then she's still on the trader, so we stick to our plan. Out. Rope's pretty tall, boss. OK, Dutchie, hold there. Let's cut our engines. Copy that. All right, thunder and lightning, you are in a good position. The MV Trader Star is going to intercept you almost right through the middle. Over. Get ready. Secondary's off. Secondary's off. The trader has hooked the line. In a moment, she'll draw the ribs to her sides as she moves forward, and then we board her.
Secure. Roger. Swain. Dutchy, with me. You okay, bro? Yeah. Swine. Ma'am? Carolyn? Carolyn? Are you okay? Tell Bella. Please. What's that? What did you say? I'm sorry. I had to tell, tell them. Tell them what, Carolyn? What did you have to tell them? How's she doing, Swine? Blood pressure is 90 over 50, but her pupils are reacting briskly. She's quite dehydrated, and she's taken a fairly fierce beating boss. I don't know how much blood she's lost. Sir, there's a hydrographic vessel to our south with a doctor on board, and they're heading up to rendezvous with us now. What about the two captured crew? They're down in Austria under guard. They're not saying a word. Sir, Commander White's on the south front. We've identified the three deceased males from your photos, the White Knight's owner and two tourists from Sydney on a fishing holiday. My RO's sending through a photo of Caroline now. Do you have any idea what this is about, Mike? I mean, that woman was tortured for something. Who's Phil and what did she tell them? We're trying to work that out now. I've got my crew on board the boat, tearing it apart for information. Terrorist materials? We've got maps of the local coastline, satellite surveillance photos of nearby islands, a couple of Al-Qaeda training manuals. You've seen this kind of thing before? Yes, sir. Any change, Swain? No, sir. Sir, that ship will be here within the hour. OK. You look exhausted, Swain. Grab some sleep. I'm not short on sleep, sir. Well, Bomber can watch over Caroline for a spell. Just let me know if her condition changes. OK. We need to question the prisoners, sir. That's the job for the feds. With all due respect, sir, I think these men are planning something very big. And some of them are still at large. Let me question them, sir. OK. X, you go with Dutchy. I don't need the X. Well, you'll work together on this. Sir. How's the arm? No, I'm feeling so. You speak English? <laughs> yeah, you speak it all right. I'm going to ask you some questions. It's in your best interest to answer them. OK? What are you doing here? What did you want from the woman you tortured? What did she tell you that was so important? Where did your buddies in the speedboat go? Hey, Dutchy, let him go. Let him go. Outside. Let him go. You should know better than that. Just trying to get some answers. By torturing the man. 
Well, asking him nicely wasn't working, was it? Oh, so why not go straight to waterboarding? We just saved a woman from that sort of inhumane treatment. Hey, if you're going to give me the we know different to them speech, don't bother. Ma'am. Is this how you got your medal in the golf? X? Caroline's coming around. A few sips. Okay, that's enough. That's it. Uh. Caroline, I'm Mike Flint. I spoke with you over the radio. You said you were coming. I'm so sorry we didn't get to you in time. Did. These men who hurt you, who are they? You said, tell Phil I'm sorry, I had to tell them. Um, so the memory might be affected from the injury she sustained. Oh my God. Oh. Caroline, who's Phil? Phil Davis. Ambassador Davis. What, the American ambassador? I work for him at the embassy. He's, he's holidaying here with his family on, on an island somewhere. It's supposed to be a secret. Is that what you told these men? Where he is? national security crisis. The woman's identified herself as Caroline Taylor, an assistant to the American ambassador in Canberra. The ambassador? What? He's spending the week on Angel Island with his family. It's a remote, privately owned resort just off the Lehigh Cays. According to Caroline, he's only got a very small security detail with him. Why are you telling me this? The group who abducted Miss Taylor tortured her for this information. We think they're launching an assassination attempt. Where is Miss Taylor now? We've transferred her to the survey vessel, which has a doctor. <sighs> OK, look, I'll make a quick home call. I'll get right back to you. Uh, sir, can I take you through this? This is Angel Island. The resort is on the west coast here. This is where we intercepted the Trader Star. And their speedboat was heading off along that bearing. And they'd have to travel 20 plus miles to make sure they're off our radar. And then come around in a big circle and hit Angel Island on the east flank. Mm -hmm, which would add hours to their travel time. If we take a direct route, we'll be there in what? Four hours? Tops. Sir, Commander White. Plot of course, X. Sir. Maxine? Well, according to the Americans, the ambassador flew straight home to Canberra after the ceremony on Newcastle. Well, that's the official line. His holiday is classified. <laughs> what was this Taylor woman doing on a fishing boat on the Barrier Reef? Sightseeing. Obviously, there was a security leak at the embassy. I'm not even sure she works at the embassy, Mike. The Americans aren't confirming anything. Then you're obviously not talking to the right people. It's 0230. The right people are sleeping. We're heading to Angel Island now, ETA 0600. OK. I'll work on it at my end. Keep me informed. coming up on Angel Island. Anything on radar? No, nothing, though they could be on the other side of the island. I've got an American voice on VHF-16 wanting to know what the Navy's doing. This is Lieutenant Commander Mike Flynn on HMAS Hemmersley, over. Lieutenant Commander. 
Commander, I need you to turn your ship around, sir. Look, we have credible information of a possible attempt on Ambassador Davis's life. We're here to provide assistance. Over. This is a restricted area. We do not need your assistance. We have a radar contact bearing 160. It just appeared from behind the southern tip of the island, sir. Pipe boarding stations, sir. You will let me take this one. My ribs are fine boarding and I'm fresher. Here's the boarding stations, here's the boarding stations. Just okay. Engine control, say three condition voyage. X, the target boat is three miles from the beach resort and closing. Your range to intercept is a thousand yards. Roger that, sir. Target vessel sighted ahead of us. Speedboat approaching Angel Island. Heave to or you will be fired upon. X, target vessel's changing course. Turning around. What are they doing? They've altered course and they're heading straight for us. Weapons ready! Secondary's off! Charge Typhoon. Yes, sir. That, that can't hurt us, right? An RPG could breach the hull and sink us. X, cease your pursuit. I repeat, cease your pursuit and get clear. We'll take them out with the Typhoon, but I need you out of there. Over. Let's go! Are they going to fire on us, sir? They'll need to be much closer with that RPG. Tracking him, sir. Speedboat 500 yards, sir. We'll be in their range within 200 yards. 400 yards. I want a three to five round burst charge. Sir. 300 yards, sir. Aim the target. Be fired. Right, right. Engage. That boat must have been loaded with explosives. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Ambassador. On behalf of my crew, thanks for the invitation. My people tell me I owe you the big thank you. So clean up spinach out there? No survivors? No, sir. I've spoken to Miss Taylor. She's on her way to Cairns. She's going to be OK, thanks to you. Just doing our job, sir. This is my wife, Monique. Hello. Pleasure hey. to meet you, man. How you doing? Uh, I don't know about you, boys, but I feel like Cinderella at a little hour. A few more of these and you might start looking like it. Ah, oh, Salmon de Villavance. Number five on my list of all-time favourite horses to this. Fascinating. What's your number one? Picking a blanket. Reminds me of a favourite game of mine. What's that? Had the sausage. Ah. Uh, there we go, there we go. Yes. Cheers, man. Cheers. Looks like Dutchie's fitting in pretty well. Yeah, he seems really easy going. 
and he's pretty hot too. <laughs> Bert, I take it that your GAP seamanship course that filled you in thoroughly on Navy rigs. X, I know all about the no snogging your shipmates rule. But there is no rule that says you can't check them out. No, no, there's no law against that. I had a lengthy conversation with your Commander White. She speaks very highly of you. She's biased. We go back quite a way. And I'm also godfather to her teenage son. She told me you're reluctant to take promotion. I just don't think I'm built for a job behind a desk. Still got my sea legs. Mm -hmm. Our office does have its advantages, Mike, that more than compensate for any boredom. So people tell me. Tempura prawn cucumber sandwiches. Picking a blanket. Does anybody, oh, sorry. Can anybody tell me where the gents is? Bathroom. How many of those have you had? <laughs> Two or three? I uh, just, um, they're very nice. <laughs> uh, no, mate, I haven't spotted the head yet. Might want to try downstairs, though. Thank you. Uh, Robert, mm. stay away from golf buggies. And the transsexuals. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, Dutchie, are you going to tell us he scored the medal in the golf or what? Uh, you know how it is. Uh, I've got no idea. What'd you do? Catch the biggest fish. Surf the biggest wave. Eat the biggest falafel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, will you give Dutch and I a minute? Sure, man. Sure, man. Cheers. I just... I think we've got off on the wrong foot, and given that we have to work together so closely, I was hoping that we could, you know, start from scratch. Of course, ma'am. Excuse me. Yeah. Can you tell me where the toilet is? I mean, you know, a bit of signage would be nice. Oh! Commander White tells me you and her would make an excellent team. It sounds to me like she's a woman used to getting her own way. Take it from me, Mike. If a woman like that puts her mind to something, there's no use denying her. Sooner or later, they always get what they want. Why don't you just think about it, Mike? A change of pace may be what you really need. Just a flesh wound. That's why no patch me up. Don't have a mic, Sid. I thought I might just hang by the door. Quick getaway, ma'am. Sit. Unfortunately, there's been a blanket on the press, so uh, the public are never going to know about your heroics. I can live with that. The people that matter, however, have been fully briefed. I've just been reading an email from the Admiral. He wants to know why Mike Flynn is being so stubborn about this blasted promotion. Don't tell me. He's been speaking with his old mate, 
the ambassador. I have had Ambassador Davis on the phone too, chewing my ear off. It seems you've been doing your job just a bit too well. Hey, my godson. How old is Ryan now? 16? Nearly 18. Don't change the subject, Please, Mike. Please, Maxine. The office next to mine is free. You can't sit in a CEO's chair forever. Well, I wasn't thinking forever. I just thought the next year or three. Wait. Commander White? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just a second, sir. Chief of Navy, if you're determined to stall on this, you're going to have to explain it to the boss yourself. Lieutenant Commander Flynn! Mike Flynn. Any day now? I, I flop. <laughs> you mean you fall? Oh, I'm just right. trying to hear. Uh, Whatever. Disgusting. I'm this game. What would you prefer to play, bird? Go fish? Hey, don't knock it. I'm actually pretty good at that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what have I got there? Two pair. Threesome. Commander Flynn, congratulations on your promotion. What do you think? I think it could do with some curtains. We should, uh, you know, grab a drink, celebrate the promotion. Congratulations. Are you settling in? Maxine, this is my, was my executive officer, Kate McGregor. Commander, it's good to meet you. Lieutenant McGregor, good timing. Hammersley's just received an order to sail in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Come into my office and I'll brief you on the operation and tell you all about your new CEO. Beautiful Navy Day X. Yeah, it is. I bet Commander Flynn's green with envy. What do you think of the new CO? He's not Mike Flynn. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I haven't had a chance to speak with him since he's taken this command. Morning, all. Morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. X, we've been on operations a while now. I think it's time the crew got to let off a bit of steam, don't you? Oh, what did you have in mind, sir? Oh, a bit of crew bonding, you know. Get to know each other better. Call it Operation Relax. Relax? Yeah. Let's start bringing them down now, Swaino. What's up? That's an order. All right, here we go. Oh! That was a clear foul. He fell. <laughs> with the common man. He doesn't put enough emphasis on communications. You sound as though you're resistant to the change. You don't miss Mike Flynn? X! Up! Oh! Fair go. Yeah, just going for the ball, Bob. No balls yeah. here, two lads. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice one, oh, Dad. Oh. Don't look at me. You kicked it. You go get it. What do you got? Fine. Run, Forrest, run. And watch out for the crocs. Gross. He died.
Come on. Thanks, swine. Let's go. Who died? Over here. Oh, what is that putrid stench? Oh. 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 Crocs nest, sir. Was. Uh, Someone's killed all the crocs and skinned them. Poachers. Taking the eggs as well, the mongrels. <laughs> this is not on. This is Australian territory. Crocs are protected. I'm going to stop this butchery. <laughs> Sorry, X got caught up. That's perfect. Thank you. Come in. So where do you think these poachers are coming from? My guess is the Taluke Islands. I spent a bit of time there recently. There's a fat market in Rakara flogging skins and live juvenile crocs. Mike Flynn's my right hand. I'd like him to hear this too. Congratulations on your promotion. Steve. X. Sir. Hope you're taking good care of Hammersley. Like a duck to water, sir. Lieutenant McGregor's been showing me the ropes. Steve's just been filling me in on some serious croc poaching operating in our waters. Yeah, it's nesting season, so eggs are rife. I reckon they'll be back over the coming weeks. The croc trade's worth millions worldwide. They get about 600 bucks a skin, which to them's worth more than a human life, let alone a poor croc. <laughs> you seem to have a bit of a soft spot for them. That's well, a fascinating creature, the crocodile. No oil painting, but their uh, mating and sexual rituals are very passionate, very romantic. Well, uh, it seems we may have an opportunity here. What do you think, Mark? <coughs> Matt? To nap the poachers. Oh, yes. Uh, well, I think it's worth a shot. With some nighttime surveillance. You might get lucky. Well, with your permission, ma'am, we'll sail this afternoon. Uh, sir, perhaps a night off before we sail? Sorry, X. I've got a head of steam up on this one. I'll make it up to the crew once we've nabbed ourselves some poachers. Lieutenant, a word before you leave, please. You take your time, X. I'll be waiting in the car. Yes, sir. Oh, you and Steve Irwin have clearly hit it off. Well, he's very knowledgeable and uh, obviously very fond of crocodiles. crocodiles. <laughs> You're fitting in well here. Yeah, it's better than I thought. Mm -hmm. I suppose I should have done it earlier. You were right. Well, I guess we'll see each other once you've nabbed those poachers. Guess we will. This rotation, you're in the galley, which basically means you're my assistant. You'll need those, and that. And you can start with these potatoes. OK. Oh, babe, I was looking for you. Uh, dinner's not for another two hours. Check it out. <gasps> oh, is, is that a... Croc egg, yeah. I rescued him from that nest we found. Poachers must have missed it. It's undamaged. He wants you to cook it. <gasps> Don't listen to him. He's inhumane. <clears throat> now I'm going to nurture him and I'm going to hatch a little croc. What, so I can grow into a man-eating killer? It's a great idea too, Dads. I'm going to take him to a sanctuary when I hatch him. 
I think that is really sweet of you two dads. <laughs> Isn't it? No comment. Bird, the gash needs stitching. Oh, hey, hey, I can do that. Bird, hold on. Come on, I'll do that. You, you hold on to it. Be very gentle. <laughs> But why is everyone paying all this attention to Bird? Well, I thought it would have been pretty obvious. I mean, she's really sweet. Come on, Ro. Everyone's falling over themselves to be nice to her, and I'm just ignored. Come on, Bommy, you're not ignored. You're just... What? Well... You're one of the boys. Oh, sir, we're coming up on the crop grounds now. Very good. Slow ahead both engines. Slow ahead both engines. Charge, let's kill the nav lights. Darkening the ship, sir. X, have a rib crew on standby ready to launch. Sir, rib crew standing by. Excellent. I love an X who can anticipate an order. Right, we'll settle in for some surveillance. Oh, no. Two dads! The croc. It's hatched. Where is he? I just came in and it was gone. You lost him? Where is he? No, no, no. He's, he's, not, he's not here. I've looked. I thought you were looking after him. We're going to have to search this whole boat before somebody loses a finger or a toe bird. Come on, help me look. I have a contact at Green 1-0, range 6 nautical miles. Very good. Dutchie, can you pick that up on the floor? Yes, sir, I've got it. It's a possible FFE. She's stationary. Well, there's no activity on deck. Not much fishing going on there. Follow me. OK. They're sitting there, and there's an estuary just there. X, get a rib into Reggie. Away seatboat, away seatboat. City. Ma'am, over there and they've got a croc. Okay, lights up, let's go. Okay, let's go. It's the Australian Navy. Here they are, here they are. Stop your engines. Stop your engines or we'll fire upon you. Hey, bro, prepare to fire. Shot across their bow. Oh, man. Roger that, Thunder. Launching lightning to assist, over. Stand by to launch port seaboat. Made it back to the mothership. Damn it. Okay, stop the engine. Stop the engine. Where did you think you saw her? We've gone past her. Right, where? Got her. It's just a nasty gash, okay? Are you sure you're not humouring me because I can't feel it? Bomber, it's fine, all right? I told you, you probably just got it snagged on a branch when you went in the water. Bert, I'm going to need your help here. Can you get me some antiseptic wash and uh, some field dressing, please? Swain, are you sure it's not a crock bite? Bomber, it's fine. Let's give Swain some space. 
Good luck. Aro. It's fine. Don't Come on, you'll be OK. Come on, mate. You're all right. <laughs> Maybe she should just stick to cooking. I've still got them on a bearing of 355 degrees. Can we catch them, sir? They've had such a massive head start. They'll be in foreign waters before we can apprehend them. Recommend we abandon pursuit, sir. We're just burning fuel here. I'll worry about our fuel consumption charge. X set course for Ricara. Sir? I reckon that's their heading. Their vessel's a typical stink boat of that region. Even if you're right, we have no jurisdiction there. I don't need jurisdiction. For a goodwill visit. Steer 355. Steering 355. So, has anyone asked about me? Uh, well, they said good on ya. Are you serious? I always get eaten by a croc and that's all they've got to say? <sighs> Ow! What? What happened? There's a croc in my rack! What? What? Uh, well, it looks like it's of the non-lethal species. Crocodilus. Late Texas. <laughs> um. <laughs> you okay? You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you want to see any hot chocolate or something? I'm fine. Cup of tea? I'm fine. Sure? <laughs> All right. Orange juice. Come on. Come on. No, no. No. Hot milk. <laughs> There it is, sir. I can see that, leader. X, once we're alongside, announce 24 hours R&R &R for the crew. Very good, sir. What do you intend to do about the poachers? I want to meet with the local authorities. Party time. XO has the con. XO has the con. Ready to party, you ladies? Hey, you set me up. There was never a baby croc, was there? Not exactly, but the upside is I'm genuinely ashamed of myself. So much so that let's hit the town together, drinks are on me. Sorry, two dads. Bird's on galley duties. She's cleaning out the ovens. You're gonna have to find another playmate. Getting her to clean ovens, that's not picking on her. Yeah, I'd hate to see you with a real growth. Oh, for your information, she's underage. She couldn't come out on the gas with us anyway. Could she, Swain? Oh, she could add a guava juice or something. Oh, yeah, and how boring would that be, listening to a bunch of drunken sailors banging on all night? Excuse me, no, 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 no. I happen to be very entertaining when I'm socially lubricated. Hey, what about this place? The Crocodillo Bar. Right. Check out those dudes by the bar. I reckon they got low-life poachers stamped to their foreheads. Hey, come on, let's forget about the crocs now. We're here to relax, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> it's your show. <laughs> what? Uh, there you go. Nuts or butts? Snappy <laughs> time! Why are they selling baby chicks? Kai Kai! Kai Kai? Kai Kai? You want to buy? What is Kai Kai? Kai Kai is food. Food for what? Snappy. Unbloody believable. How much? You want to buy? Yeah, yeah, the whole lot, the whole basket. How much? Do you have a problem? Yeah, I've got a problem. This is cruelty to animals. You can't do this. I'll do what I like. This is my place. You fool. <laughs> Hey, dude, I hey, just leave. Someone just say, come say it to my face. Whoa! Hey, 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 h
I'm not hungry. Are oh, you not going to go back to the ship? Nah. I think I'll check out that little gambling place we passed before. I trust you to sniff out a poker game too, Dads. I'll catch you later, eh? I'm off too. I've, I'd love to have a big night, but I've got duty watch, so... Let's go and get some food. I don't understand how the crocodile stays in there. It's a different set of rules, It's just not right. I know. Have fun, eh? Put your brew. Thanks. I actually thought that you might like some company. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just taking this opportunity to write up the man overboard report. Thanks all the same. Where is everyone, X? Uh, most of the crew have gone into town, sir. How'd you go with the local authorities? <sighs> Complete waste of time. Corrupt as hell. Uh, they've been paid off by some local business identity. That's the word. So they'll do nothing about the poaching? I'll put it this way. The guy I reported it to was wearing croc skin boots. <laughs> what does that tell you? Well, that it's futile and we're impotent in this situation. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Guys, guys, hey, you want to buy? Go, yes, buy it. Yeah, you want? Yeah, you want to take it. Guys, guys. Guys, guys. Guys, guys, you want to buy? You want to buy, he gets hungry. Just take one. No, 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 no. Hey, get out, you're barred. Not till I get those chicks. Oh. Oh. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate you helping me out back there. Well, you caused that. <laughs> I only stepped in because you were about to get your throat cut. Oh, man. I'm sure glad you stepped in when you did. Leader, I just want to make one thing very clear. I'm the CEO, and I was never there. I trust we understand each other? Yes, sir. Perfectly, sir. You can count on me. I hope so. What happened to you last night? A few hands of poker. Looks like more than a poke, judging by those bruises. We had a slight disagreement. Said you win? Uh, you know, poker, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, I'm talking about the fight. Look, Ro, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention it to anyone, okay? Navy Command has received a formal complaint from the relevant authorities in Rakar from a local businessman there. Now, it pertains to $50,000 damage to an establishment called the Crocodillo Bar and... the kidnap and murder of a pet croc. Allegedly by an Australian sailor. If you have any knowledge of this incident, you'd better tell me right now. I can assure you, ma'am, I know absolutely nothing about it. The bar owner, Mr Malachi, He's demanding reimbursement. 
uh, for the croc too. Apparently it was a bit of a tourist attraction and uh, accounted for a large part of his earnings. Well, I can't say I feel much sympathy for him. It's people like this that keep the croc poaching industry thriving. Lieutenant Commander Coburn, I think you're missing the point. This incident will have serious repercussions. Now, it brings the Navy into disrepute and it threatens our goodwill in that region and I am really keen to clear this up before it hits the press. I can appreciate that, ma'am, but let me reassure you that none of my crew, none of my boys, had anything to do with it. I run a very tight ship. Well, you are new to this crew, Steve. Yes, there's another possible explanation. Go on. Well, the local authorities are corrupt. My investigations whilst there indicate that they're being paid off by local business identities connected to the croc poachers. Yes, I've read your report. It's quid pro quo. We report them for croc poaching, they accuse us of this rubbish and try and shake down the Australian government for money while they're at it. All right. Leave it with me. Ma'am? What do you make of all this, Mike? I tend to agree. It doesn't sound like my crew. The Hammersley crew. Is that separation anxiety speaking? Maybe just a bit. Mm. I need you to go down there and interview the crew and see what shakes out. Well, shouldn't we leave that to Coburn? I don't want to step... No, I know, but you're not their CEO now. And you need to step up to the responsibilities of this position. Unless, of course, you don't feel you can be impartial. And if that were the case, I'd personally be very disappointed. Sounds like a beat-up to me. Those tossers should be thankful we didn't trash their joint. Oh, I can't believe Nevcom's taking such a bogus claim seriously. Kidnapping and murder of crocs is ridiculous. Dead crocs are good croc if you ask me. Well, Commander White is no slouch. There'll be an investigation for sure. You worry too much, X. It'll blow over. You mark my words. Gangway! Steve, X. Commander, welcome aboard. Any excuse to visit the old girl, eh? <laughs> I've been tasked with interviewing your crew about the Rakara incident. Rakara, right. I thought we had that sorted. If there's any interviewing to be done, I should be the one doing it. It's just that Commander White feels I have more history with the crew. Well, this is an affront to my status as CEO. It's not personal, Steve. OK. Well, I'll be sitting in then. That won't be necessary. I'll be taking care of this. So, I've set up the wardroom for interviews and posted a roster of those that had shore leave. Thanks, X. Between us, you know I'd really rather not be doing this. I know. But if there is any truth in it, they're lucky that you're handling it, Commander. Are you saying it did happen? No, 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 I'm not at all. It's just that it's good to see you. <laughs> we still on for tonight? Tonight, absolutely. Congratulations on your promotion, sir. Thank you. Take a seat, Judge. Sure. So, you were at this crocodilo bar? Yeah. Yeah, a few of us were there, and um, we saw them feeding baby chicks to a croc. Two dads had a few words with the owner. Two dads? Why doesn't that surprise me? Look, sir, he got a bit upset, but... There was no brawl, there was no damage, and <laughs> definitely no croc kidnap. And then you all left, including two dads? We were out of there in five minutes tops. Sir, trust me. You'll be next, two dads. So apparently the report also mentions assault. They claim there was a fist fight. Some people will say anything. I'm personally outraged at the whole thing. It's just a waste of time. Hmm. <clears throat> it's ironic, really, because I, I believe I know how you got those bruises. Bro, you think I had something to do with it, yeah? <laughs> I told you, I was playing poker. Mm. How could I be in two places at the same time? Oh, yeah. It's impossible. You're oh, delusional. No. I'm, right? I'm jumping to conclusions. I'm obviously a naturally suspicious person. you got to work on that road. However, yeah, the Navy's not going to let it go, too. So they get to the bottom of it. What do you it. mean? Well, they'll expend resources. 
They'll bring over witnesses. They'll put us in a lineup. It'll be like a royal commission. And the longer it goes on, the more money that they spend, the worse it is going to be for the culprit. Okay, two dads. Commander Flynn will see you next. <clears throat> Ma'am? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to need your help. He's admitted to getting into an argument with the owner, which led to the fight and to the damage to the bar, and also to removing the crocodile from the premises. Leader, why did you remove the crocodile from the bar? Uh, Ma'am, I decided it should be liberated. I feel really bad. It got run over. He's an animal lover, ma'am. Well, that's commendable. But your drunk and disorderly behaviour and this damage bill isn't. You've brought the Navy into disrepute and you will be charged at a formal hearing. Ma'am, I'll be happy to accept whatever punishment you see fit. Well, that's yet to be decided. Firstly, I'd like to know who was the second sailor with you. Ma'am? You heard me. The second sailor. Who was he? Uh, uh, there wasn't anyone. I was alone. I... I came back to the bar alone. It was Wait, just... The updated complaint clearly states there were two of you involved in the fight and two of you who removed the crock from the bar. Oh, that guy. He was just this guy at the bar. Oh, come Jimmy. on, two dads. Why would a guy you've just met defend you in a fight and help you steal a pet crock? He was an animal lover too, sir. I suggest you lose the smug attitude. Ma'am, he came forward voluntarily. He should get some credit for that. Lieutenant McGregor, he's clearly protecting someone from the crew. Or well, perhaps it's a case of misplaced loyalty. Misplaced loyalty or not, he's being subversive and he's lying. Well, is that true? Ma'am, I honestly don't remember. Well, Leader, you have 24 hours to improve that memory and cough up a name or you can start looking for a new career. Get out of my office. Ex, I... Uh... Okay. I understand what you're doing, and I respect your loyalty. With respect, ma'am, you don't understand anything about it. You're about to screw up your career, I get that. What do you expect me to do? Turn dog? How long would I last? You get on the ship, you find the person, and you convince them to come forward. I already told you. I don't know the bloke. Two dads, I can't think of anyone on the ship dumber than you, but clearly there is someone. Find them. Persuade them to step up. Come in. Could I have a word, sir? Sure. <laughs> How'd you go with Commander White? Um... Not so good, sir. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, they want me... I'm going to have to come clean, sir. Otherwise, they're going to kick me out of the Navy. We had an agreement, son. A drunken promise is a drunken promise, but... they're going to discharge me, sir. <laughs> Do you know how many leading seamen there are in the Royal Australian Navy? No, sir. 2,198. Do you know how many Lieutenant Commander CEOs there are? 41. 2,241. Who do you think is more difficult to replace? A CEO, sir. Which is exactly why you're going to do what's best for the Navy and take the full blame yourself. Even if it means my career. <laughs> Mate, I've seen your fire. And believe me, so is Commander White. You're a serial troublemaker, Kosov Maya. A conspicuous flatter of rules, subversive, disrespectful to your superior officers. A liar with a smug attitude. Thanks for talking me up, sir. Oh, that's fine. There's more. I can go on. Point is, mate, you won't do yourself any favours if you go mouthing off about me. No one will believe you. You can go. Yeah, okay. No, I'm not. You're gonna kick me out. What? But you owned up, right? 
I've got 24 hours, no, I've got 20 hours to let them know who the other sailor was with me. Or else I'm gonna get kicked out. So there's someone else? Who was it? What does it matter, Ro? You're not gonna believe me? You could try me. So who do you think he's protecting? Fancy's bird, was it you? No. The uh, bird was cleaning ovens all night, Bummer. Not all night, Charge. Well, she didn't leave the ship. And where were you, Bummer? Wasn't me. Of course it wasn't. Oh, come on, she wasn't even there. Where? Oh, what? So I'm invisible now? Get out of my galley. I thought we had a date. I thought we cancelled. I'd just like to know why you walked away from me today. Because you've turned. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, you're clearly one of the bureaucrats now. I'm just doing my job. I have responsibilities that come with this new position, oh, like right. it or not. Oh, and that includes not supporting your former crew, does it? I have to be impartial. It's not personal. Oh, that is crap. You know, you hide behind this veneer of command. I look at you with your straight back and your square shoulders and it is your armour and you won't let anyone in because you're afraid. You're an emotional coward, Mike Flynn. <laughs> and I have put up with it for three years now. And sometimes I think that you actually enjoy tormenting me. Oh, come on, Kate. That's unfair. You know the regulations. Yeah, the regulations, they don't apply anymore, do they? You can't hide behind them anymore. Kate McGregor, hello. OK. Yep, I'll be there in an hour. Bye. Judy calling. Notice for C. Coburn has a lead on the poachers. Navy has no sense of time. Six hours left, two dads. Time to spill your guts. Come on, two dads, tell us. At least tell Bomber it wasn't me. Listen, everyone, I think the right thing to do is whoever did it to fess up themselves. That's right. Oh, that went well. Right. Well, in the absence of someone volunteering, I guess it's up to you to tell us who it was. Just tell the truth, two It's dads. not worth losing your career over, mate. That's just ridiculous. It was a CEO. <laughs> Come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> two dads. Really, I thought you'd come up with something better than that, mate. I'm disappointed. <laughs> How much trouble do you have to be in before you start taking things seriously? It's your funeral, mate. Unbelievable. Leader, I've tried to explain this nicely to you. And I've given you the opportunity to do the right thing, but you seem not to have understood. I'm sorry, sir. It just slipped out. But like you said, no one believed me. Do we have a communication problem here? Understand this. You make an enemy of me, and your life won't be worth living in or out of the Navy. Got it? What, no smart comment now, sailor? See our request to the bridge. You all right? Two dads? No, no, no. Hey, two dads, I just want to let you know... I'm not interested. Oh, sir, we have contact with the poachers. They're right where Coast Watch said they'd be. Mother ship is stationary here, range six nautical miles, and they have just dispatched a Zodiac. 
Right. Dutchie, can you pick that up on the yacht? Uh, I've got them, sir. They're headed for that estuary. X take a rib and go after him. Charge, Swain, station, go station, after station. him with a second rib. Yes, sir. And this time, let's try not to lose anyone, eh? Submerged mangroves here. We better take it easy. Yeah, copy that. Stick to the middle of the channel. No telling how far in they could have gone, man. Just keep your eyes peeled. This gives me the creeps. Well done, Charge. Is this all the crew that were on the mothership? Yes, sir, this is it. Who's the master of the vessel? No, he wasn't on board, sir. What? Where the hell is he? Here he is, sir. You? You saw my crop! You wrecked my bar, now you're gonna pay for it. X, I'll be in my cabin. Ah, two deaths. As you know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, particularly when it concerns you, but I have your disciplinary orders here from command. Let me guess, retention not in interest of Navy? Well, the bad news is no. Mm -hmm. But. It's always a but. They have authorised your pay to be docked until damages of $4,800 have been paid. <laughs> Next time, why don't you try donating to the prevention of cruelty to animals? My work out way cheaper for you. Why should I have to make recompense to a poacher? That totally sucks. If I were you, I'd just be grateful you still got a job, mm. unlike Coburn. No, what he did to two dads was an abuse of his power and position. That's not leadership. It's a fair cop, I reckon. I never liked him. And I always believed two dads. Eh? <laughs> nah, later. Hey, Bomber. Did Bird tell you the news about two dads? Bird seems to know everything that's going on in this boat. Yeah, she's pretty popular with the crew. Do I detect a note of jealousy there? Yeah, there's a whole symphony going on. Come on. Bomber, don't compare yourself with Bird. I mean, she's a sweet young thing, but... Well, you're... You're a woman. You're a very attractive woman. Be beautiful. So, you're our chef -o as well, so we couldn't exist without you. Thanks, Roy. There are rumours going around about Coburn. Do you know what's going on? The rumours are true. He's been relieved of his command. You okay? You're getting a new CO. Oh, do you know who? Oh. It's only for a few weeks until I get a permanent replacement. Rep X. 
Mate, one unidentified male on a white cruiser. He's observing two other males on a stationary Zodiac, sir. They could be fishing, but they could be throwing lobster pots over the side. Gets a look. Bird, how did you wangle your way aboard? Well, I have been asking for ages, and Dutchie finally weakened, but he did lecture me all the way over the side. Yeah, rightly so. Stay in the rib, keep your head down. <laughs> uh, don't sweat it, Bird. This is about as routine as it gets. But if anything hairy goes down, I'll take a bullet for you. Ugh. Robert wouldn't. Grow up, two dads. <laughs> yeah. Doing something dodgy. Thunder to Hammersley, over. Hammersley receiving, over. Sir, we have reason to believe that they're fishing. Roger that, X. Never mind that this is a designated marine sanctuary. Move ahead with the boarding. We'll approach from the north. We'll have visual contact in 10 minutes. Roger that. Bring us up to 2000. Right, sir, Revolution's 2000. Very good. Approaching suspect vessel now, sir. Roger. Australian Navy. Stand easy, gentlemen. What is this? So we're a boarding party from Australian warship Hammersley, and we have reason to believe that you're fishing within the area designated as a marine sanctuary. Is this a marine sanctuary? It's a CSI Aroma and Ecology Study Zone. It's clearly marked on the current chart, sir. Oh, well, uh... We'll move on. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. We observed you dumping lobster pots over the side. Lobster pots? Can I see some identification, please, sir? Thank you. If you're looking for poachers, we're really not the type. So, would you mind standing over there with the other... My bed! Ah! Ah! Smoke grenade! <laughs> See to the X! Bring the rib over! After them! X. I'm right. Pull ahead! Keep that smoke coming! Stop it! Cut the engines! <laughs> you all right? Bird? Bird? What's wrong? I think you got one. It's okay. Just don't look. <laughs> Thunder to Hammersley. Sir, we have a possible deceased suspect in the water. You just pushed me out of the way on that boarding, and I want to know why. I pushed you out of his line of fire. I didn't mean to knock you down. It was a huge overreaction and completely unprofessional. He had a gun. I saw that, and I was responding to it, but your actions got in the way of me doing my job properly. And you nearly broke my neck. I'm sorry that happened. Oh, it didn't happen. You caused it. Do you have some problem with women in authority? Is that what's going on here? No, of course not. It was a natural, protective thing. Well, here's a tip. Next time, don't protect me. Swimmer of the Watch Fires Up, recovery party, by deck. Yes, ma'am. This is the second body today. Even on the recovery line. 
Bring it up. Just what they dumped over the side, Dutchy. Easy. Looks like it's Swaino. Bring it up. Easy. Easy. Boss! Walk back on the recovery line. Swain, go take a look. What have you got, two dads? Boss? What's the lobster pot? He was weighted down. Now get it inside, unwrap it there. Swain, photograph everything for evidence. And NAVCOM want what photographs it? for identification purposes. Roger that, please. Nice and easy, two dads. We still need him in one piece. Did you get anything from Dutchie's man? No, no wallet, no paper, no ID. It's just... Arrow's trying to get something from his phone, but don't like his chances. Sounds like these guys were professional, though. And they had the chance to kill several Navy personnel, but didn't. They just did what they needed to do to get away. They probably killed this bloke, though. But why? X. You okay? Yeah. And no, about a few things. Well, we can talk later. Yeah. Sir, do you think that uh, Dutchie has got what it takes to be buffer of Hammersley? Of course. He came highly recommended. Yeah, well, I have my doubts. He overreacted in the heat of the moment, and I need to be able to trust him. Sir? I've got something for you. Sorry. Talk about this later. Yeah. So I've managed to retrieve about 90% of the phone's contents. That's good. Yeah, uh, it's the photos that are of concern. There's lots of photos of this ship. It's still in port. I checked. It's used to transport uranium out of Australia. Well, that's interesting. Mm. This is all at the same port. Photos here of these documents, they all relate to the ship. Shipping schedules, cargo manifests. There's also quite a few photos of this man here. Now, I don't know who he is, but they don't look like family snaps. It's great resolution, by the way. Good. New screens. Sharp. Judge, if you photograph that second body, I'll forward Navcom copies of... Mike, this is your new assignment. Mr. Tavori represents Elite Logistics. Yes, we are the company handling security arrangements for the uranium shipment on behalf of the Israeli government. Uh, very nice people to work for. They're the buyers for the uranium? Yes, so it's a particularly stressful time for me personally at the moment. Is the uh, air conditioning on? So it might be prudent to delay the shipment until the federal police are fully investigated? Uh, no, not possible. I suggest we bring the departure time forward, uh, change the route, etc. but the uranium must leave the port as per pre-existing contractual agreements. Otherwise, well, I'm not doing my job. M -m May I have some water? Help yourself. Thank you. So, Commander White, I must thank you for your generous offer to escort the ship in Australian waters. You're welcome. Now, that has been assigned to Hammersley. Ah, your ship. I feel safer already. <laughs> now, I do have some other information. The body they were dumping was a Ramon Mutakis. Now, he worked at the shipping office. He's been missing for two days, and the boat was stolen. Oh, this is disturbing. They're inside man, I presume. Perhaps the deal went sour. Nothing on the other body? No, he's prints aren't in any agency files, so we're checking that with Interpol. So Mike will need to discuss how we're going to handle this. Oh, oh, OK, OK, this is where I leave. Uh, the less I know about naval operations, the better. So, Commander, I thank you once again. I will be in touch concerning the security, and uh, I look forward to working with you. Thank you. I'll walk you out. Interesting guy. Yeah, it takes all kinds. So, we're shadowing a uranium shipment. Yeah, but while we have a moment, let's talk about Ryan. You're Ryan. I need a favour. Well, if it's for Ryan, consider it done. That's what Godfathers are for. I'm just saying think about it, Ryan. You want me to do a gap year on Hammersley? Well, you've finished high school now. 
I've got a good job down the docks. And I was just thinking, Ryan's the perfect candidate. My mum put you up to this? No. Well, not really. She might have had a word in my ear. I knew it. It's this docks thing. She thinks I'll be influenced by undesirables down the centre of town. Well, I'll tell you what. We've got a gap year recruiter board now. Bird. I'll hook you up. You can get the perspective from someone who's actually doing it. All the fun and adventure of the high sea. Mike, I think you've got to have the vibe for Navy, and I don't think that's me and no guy named Bird's going to change that. Fair enough. Sir, you wanted to see me? Yes, Bird. This is my godson, Ryan. Hi. Hi. Thanks for bringing him down, Dutchie. So you're Bird? Uh, yeah. Bird. Jessica Bird. And you're doing the gap thing? Uh-huh. Tell me about that. Uh, well, everything, because that'll take a while. Go for it, from the start. OK, well, um, I started a few months ago. Dutchie, can't get a word in edgewise. Well, that's not uncommon when birds are around. <laughs> we want food here. Dutchie. Definitely the bloke from the boat, the leader. And he got away? Yes, he got away. So he was watching the docks. They obviously haven't been scared off by us. I don't get the impression these guys scare at all. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. I'm just showing Mr. Tavori around. Welcome aboard, Mr. Tavori. Thank you. Uh, I've got to warn you, I'm not very good on boats. <laughs> <laughs> this is Petty Officer Boson, Dylan Mulholland. Uh, pleased to meet you, sir. I have to say I'm much more comfortable behind the desk, but hey, you've got to do what you've got to do. <laughs> <laughs> Bird, uh, perhaps you could take Mr. Devore and show him the bridge? Uh, the bridge? This is a Navy thing. <laughs> this is very exciting. <laughs> Thank you. You're a big one. Thank you. So pleased to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll explain later. Okay. The master of the vessel is given permission for Navy personnel to be stationed aboard. Doesn't Mr. Devore's company provide security detail for this type of thing? Uh, Australian maritime law prevents private armed guards on merchant ships. Your detail will remain on board until we leave Australian territorial waters, then transfer back to Hammersley. Roger that. Sir, with your permission, uh, can I include two dads in this party? I'm getting the impression he's the type to keep under my wing. You're a brave man. Of course they'll be armed. Listen, if that's an issue, just get your union reps to call me. Everything's in order? Our detail will get on board just before the ship sails. It's more of a visual deterrent than anything. Mum. Hey, sweetie. Mwah. Mike tells me he's almost got you doing a gap year on board Hammersley. Well, I need some more information. From Bird? Yeah. <laughs> Catching up for coffee. I need more details. It's positive. What are you guys doing down here? Oh, we just like boats.
Ogobama? Yes, ma'am. And the Duchy served on HMS Canberra. And? The CEO. He's a woman. I know. I read her recommendation for Duchy. She can't speak highly enough of him. Yeah, so I keep hearing. Everybody likes him. But he's got a problem with me. Oh, he's different, that's all. You need time to get used to it. So why do I get such a bad feeling? Well, maybe it's misplaced. Maybe it's really about Erin Tavori. Now, why is he aboard? <laughs> oh, apparently it was a direct request from the Israeli government. Navcom agreed. What can I do? What does he really expect to achieve here anyway? His company's handling security, so I guess he has to be seen to be getting his hands dirty. I don't think Mr Tavori has gotten his hands dirty in his entire life. <laughs> Hey, tremendous view from up here. <laughs> Tell me, the, uh, the Israeli warship I'm going to transfer to when we leave Australian water. Yes, Mr. Tavori. Do you think it will bounce around as much as this one? This is the area where they want us to be guarding from here to there and all the way across. I'll show you your patrol route. Dutch, is it okay to be walking around near this stuff? You're at the briefings, mate. So is it okay to be walking around near this stuff? Two dads, it's just background radiation here, mate. It's nothing to worry about. So this is you and a big loop. Right. Oh, hey, Dutch. For the record, man. I know the ex is all cranky about you pushing her out of the way, but you made a judgment call. You were in the moment. Probably saved her life. We're all on your side. There are no sides, two dads. We sorted it out. Right. Oh, hey, Dutch. I've been wanting to ask, in Iraq, how'd you get your medal? I caught Saddam. That was the Yanks, wasn't it? No, it's me, single-handed, unarmed, brought him in. Frustrated. Yeah, that's the word. So how long is this going on for? And you getting posted back onto Hammersley, that wasn't supposed to happen. That's the Navy for you. I'm trying to make this a short posting. I don't know how long I can stand this professional relationship stuff. Yeah, well, my deadline has already passed. Sir, uh, that storm front we're expecting is moving faster than we thought. Thanks, Rope. Bouncing around inside. Well, what's that supposed to mean? There are drums held in place by Kevlar webbing. I think one of them's broken free. We need to sort it out. What when you say sort it out? What, what? I mean we open it. I think one of the drums has come loose. We need to get this open. You got bolt cutters? Touch it. Ah. After you. Sorry? Bloody's first. You're not serious, are you? Yeah. Okay. Robert, we don't only do shiver in the passageway. Let's just both carry on, all right? After you. Robert! General feeling this is not a good idea, all right, guys? Listen to that. You want uranium dust floating around everywhere in here? Not a good idea. But it's radioactive, mate. I mean, I've been irradiated before, it's nasty. You get to get decontaminated and on it down. Two dads, you've got to pay more attention at the briefings. You're not going to get irradiated. A dust mask is all you need. Now, come on. Dads, we need to... Oh, 
I thought uranium would be more yellow. We uh, subsequently opened random drums from each one of the containers, and every single one of them contained common house bricks. Well, it, it, it's a crime scene. It must be... We sealed the containers again and told the crew not to touch anything. The ship's on its way back to port now with the federal police will take charge. Thank you, Dutchie. Well, I think the word disaster pretty much describes the situation. We need to establish exactly what's happened. Here. What's happened here is my company has been guarding house bricks for God knows how long. It is possible, Mr. Tavoy, that the uranium never made it to the docks. I am aware of that. Now, look, I will need radio access. I need to contact my people so they can follow the paper trail, the uh, shipping agents, dock workers, road transport, whatever it takes. Excellent, sure, Mr. Tavori has all the cooperation he needs. Yes, sir. Thank you, Captain. Uh, what's worse is you think the Israeli government will ever hire my company again? <laughs> I don't think so. This way, sir. Uh, sir, Commander White wants to talk to you. Mike. It's all hit the fan down here. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, the port's been sealed. No one in or out, and the federal police are interviewing everyone from the cleaners up, and I'm getting heat, of course. They can't blame us, surely. Finding a scapegoat is a national pastime, and I kept reminding them we wouldn't even know the uranium was missing if it wasn't for Navy, but ASIO still want updates every 10 minutes, and the brass is breathing down my neck. That can't be comfortable. It's all I can do to keep the press away from this, and so far, that's the only positive thing. Found anything? The transport company insists the uranium definitely reached the port. Federal police have now determined that it's not here now. Well, they think it's at sea. Yes. So I've just compiled a list of all ships that have left the port recently. We'll track them, check each one. You stay out there, I'll keep you informed. Thanks, Maxine. Six vessels left port within the time frame when the uranium could have been switched. Would they really be silly enough to be trying to smuggle it now? Possibly. When there's money to be made, it's amazing how desperate people are. And they wouldn't have expected their substitution plan to be uncovered this quickly. Thanks to Dutchie. Chances are the shipment is at sea somewhere. These guys move fast. They're not easily intimidated. So we're going to intercept all of these vessels? How long will that take? Not all, Mr. Tabori. They've assigned a patrol boat to each of these vessels. Excuse me, sir, just in from NAVCOM. We've been assigned a dredge, the Brisbane. It's the closest one to us. Thanks, Ro. Steer 190. Steer 190. SHD Brisbane, this is Australian warship Hammersley. We request that you stop or heave to and prepare to receive a boarding party. TSHT Brisbane, this is Australian warship Hammersley. Stop or heave to, we intend to board you. You see anything? If anything, she's increased her speed. Don't see anyone on the deck. Promise? Exo, take us alongside. 200 metres apart. Yes, sir. Pull ahead both engines, port 10. Sir. Both engines, port 10. Turn the port below, man. She's got a top speed of around 18 knots, so that means that right now, they're going flat chat. Could it be holding our uranium? Yeah. There's room for at least three containers worth down there. It's the size of this thing that's going to make it the field. Yeah. We're not going to get a boarding party on that thing easily. This is Australian warship Hammersley. Comply with our instructions to stop or heave to, or we will open fire on you. You think that vessel is suspicious? It's ignored our orders to stop, and it left port within the target period. It's so much bigger than this. That's true, but we've got something it doesn't. Dutchie. Sir. Three rounds across its bow. Yes, sir. Aim a target. Target aim. Roger. Engage. Didn't phase it, sir. She's not slowing. Charge. If we drop behind, do you think we could disable the engines without sinking the thing? Oh, yeah, we can stop them in the tracks. Isn't that a bit extreme? It's expedient. We can't put a boarding party on a vessel that size at these speeds. <laughs> 
I thought seasickness was going to be the worst thing, but this is one of those days when my desk is becoming more and more inviting. Slow to trial it, X. Sir, Revolutions 1200. Tell me about its propulsion system. It's a twin screw 1850 kilowatt diesel engine. Australian warship Hammersley, this is TSHD Brisbane. Acknowledge. This is the captain of Australian warship Hammersley. Who am I speaking to? Well, that's really not important. Very well. We request that you heave to. I'm going to have to deny that request, Captain, and in turn, I want you to grant us free passage. That's a negative, Brisbane. We have reason to believe you're carrying stolen goods. We're here to enforce Australian law in that regard. Mike, it's Ryan. They've got me hostage. They really want you to do what they say. Ryan? I don't know who these guys are, Mike, but... They're not messing around. I'm going to say this again, once. You will back off and give us free passage. Acknowledge. Help me, Mike. Please. We're currently trailing the ship at a distance of two nautical miles. We can't board her from the ribs while she's underway. She's too high. I'm awaiting your orders. It was definitely Ryan. I mean, you heard his voice. It was definitely Ryan Maxine, I'm sorry. How could they have known? I've obviously had the docks under surveillance for a long time. They know exactly who he is. They know he was the perfect insurance. This is a very sophisticated, very well organised. God. This is a nightmare. Listen, Maxine, as you said, they're very well organised. So Ryan's in no danger at present. They value him too much. Okay, I suppose the SAS. I mean, whatever we do, we're gonna need to get on board. Mike, it's Ryan. I know. I love him too, Maxine. Speak to the SAS and get back to me. In the meantime, we'll keep shadowing them. Over the horizon? Yes, over the horizon. So they think we've complied, but we'll shadow them until help arrives. Hang in there, Maxine. Sir, Commander White's communicated with the SAS, but we are already out of chopper range from the mainland. There's a hydrographic survey ship with a Sea King helicopter aboard. How far away? 350 nautical miles. Well, that'll take too long. There's nothing else. Sir, there's a private helo working out of an oil drilling platform. Australix 2, closer, 80 nautical miles. Private one? I don't know. Pilot's an old mate of mine, ex-army. He's good. It's an option. All right. Put the call through. We need a favour. Sir. Bird, we'll get Ryan back. Whatever it takes, don't worry. Excuse me, I, I don't mean to pry, but are you intending to insert a team onto that vessel? That's the plan, Mr Tavori. Is it possible? We have no option. An Australian national is being held hostage. Look, uh, we need to have a talk. Charging of the ship. My job is to ensure the uranium arrives in Israel. Now, I have a suggestion. Please, bear with me. These criminals have stolen the uranium either to sell to the highest bidder or for a specific client. Now, I have been instructed by the Israeli government to match whatever their asking price is. We could be dealing with terrorists here. We can't negotiate. I have been instructed to. And in order to do that effectively, I have to be put on the vessel. And I can't allow that Mark, either. Mark, I'm not trying to be a martyr here. My job is down the toilet if they get away with this. I'm an Israeli national. They take me, you get back the Aussie. I'm more value to them as a hostage, especially when we leave Australian waters. Sir, Mr. Tavori, with respect, we aren't permitted to do anything like this. Sir. Mike. Please. My priority and the priority of the Israeli government is to ensure the uranium doesn't end up in North Korea or Iran. I'm listening. We are prepared to match whatever price you expect, but I must negotiate the details with you personally, face to face. I'm not in the position to come visiting, Mr. Tavori. But I can come to you in exchange 
for the hostage, of course. So, what do you say? You're not going to let him do this, are you? You know what they say about extreme situations? Well, that is acceptable. Good. Dutchy, kid Mr. Tavoria. Sorry, sir. You'll be transferring him to the target vessel via Gila. I'm a classic medium build, if that uh, is of any help. This way. Sir, I... I know, I know. I have something else in mind. Don't worry. Oh, sir. Robert, I need to speak to NAVCOM now. Yes, sir. And then I'll need to speak to Brisbane again. Yes, sir. I just got word the helicopter will be here in 15 minutes. I'll get on to that for you. Good. So, you OK? There's just a couple of details I'm a little hazy on. Go ahead, ask. Uh, the, uh, the, the helicopter, where's it going to land? It doesn't. We're getting winched up. You're kidding. It's not as bad as it sounds. In, sir. I'd feed you. I don't know how long you're gonna be stuck here for. Margarine or butter? Straight cheese. No margarine, no butter. Thank you. Hey, uh, Bomber. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, me, I'm fine. I've already eaten. No, I don't mean about that. I'm just, uh, look, I know that this is a bit weird, but I just need what, you to hey, act I'm... normal. What, what do you mean? What's this? Okay, we'll talk about it later. Oh, Robert, you're officially a weirdo. You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Mr. Tavori, change of plan. You're not going. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what's happening? I went along with this because it gives us a window of opportunity. They're expecting you now? That's good. But we're not sending you over there. That's not how we operate. I'm going with my original plan. You, you don't understand. I am in the middle of a negotiated settlement over this issue. You can't just suddenly... Hey. Okay, go. Whoa. Go easy, go easy. Whoa, he's one of them. Drop him. Drop him! Are you right? Damn it! Do that! Back to... Sounded like gunshots. Get back! Whoa. <gasps> down! Get down! What Stay down! Doing? The worry to Brisbane, acknowledge. The worry to Brisbane, acknowledge. Acknowledge. Brisbane, can you hear? I am not on the helicopter. If it approaches, fire on it. Do you hear me? What? You. Drop the gun. Drop the gun, Tavori, now. Face down. Face down. Sir, we're just secured. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. I had my suspicions, Tavori. You were in on this from the start, weren't you? Dutchy, take him to Austere and lock him up. Brisbane, this is Hammersley. Acknowledge. Brisbane, go ahead. Mr. Devore is boarding the helicopter now. Very well. Let's just hope you don't try to pull one over us. For the kids' sake. You need to have the hostage ready for an immediate swap. The helo has limited fuel. It can't hover for long. Understood. Mr. Devore will be dressed in full Navy boarding gear. Don't be alarmed by this. Trust me, Captain, it takes a lot to alarm me. We'll be ready and we'll get this over with quickly. We're ready when you are. Sir, everything is set and ready to go. The pilot? Dead keen, sir. My godson means a lot to me. Sir. You do as I order. No more, no less. It's your command. I mean it. And I'm okay with that.
Sir, Commander White. Maxine, the insertion team will be in the air in three minutes. I'm trusting you, Mike. And I'm trusting my people, Maxine. That's all we can do. Brisbane, this is Hemsley. Brisbane here. ETA in five minutes. Copy that, Captain. the initiative. Back away. Drop your weapon. Or what? Your fire? There's only one simple option. Back off and I'll let this boy live. How do you propose to walk away from this? Think about it. I am thinking. I'm thinking of this boy's welfare. You should be too. Now move back. We are not going anywhere. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapon! Back off! Run! Run! Dutchie! 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 Maxine, Ryan's safe. The three prisoners have been taken into custody by the federal police. We're returning to port as we speak. Thank you, Mike. All right, Dutchie. You're clear of any contamination. I just need to make a final check of your injuries, mate. It won't be much longer. Oh, sorry. How is he, Swain? Well, I think all the Kevlar helped cushion his fall. He's got a few bruised ribs, slight concussion, but apart from that, he's pretty much still in one piece. He'll be all right. We should be back in port by the morning. Keep me posted. So later you might be feeling anxious. 
Do not get flashbacks. You worry too much, Mark. I'm fine. You think you're fine now, but later. I'm young. We're resilient. You're cocky. Ryan! I'm OK. I was telling Ryan we could arrange a council for him. That's a good idea. I don't need one of those. OK. Well, why don't you tell us what you do need? Well, I was thinking I might explore this gap year thing in the Navy. That's a hell of a lot more exciting than the docks. <laughs> Can you believe this? I'd like to talk about it more. Well, we, we can talk yeah. through the pros well, and cons. <laughs> with all respect, Mum, Mike, I kind of prefer to get a young person's opinion. You mean? Yeah. Couldn't hurt, could it? I'll see what we can do. You think Ryan's cute? <laughs> see you, girls. See ya. Take care of yourself. Come on, R and R? Yes, sir. Beer o'clock. You deserve it. Have a good time. Try and behave yourselves. So it seems you don't have to worry about Dutchie after all. You think? All well, the votes are all in. He's definitely got what it takes to be Hammersley's new buffer. You don't think so? I'm reserving my judgment. His actions were... Very appropriate under the circumstances. But he did show initiative beyond my orders. I'm just not sold on him. Well, maybe you're just a little bit too hard to please. And maybe I'm not prepared to settle for second best. The fuzzy navel. Uh, oh. <laughs> Sounds tempting. I reckon I'm going to get the double donkey. Yeah, I think you're looking in the wrong area. Mocktails are down the bottom. What? Come on, Robert, it's R&R. &R. Let me live a little. <laughs> no. Rose right, you're on our watch. I reckon the tickly nun sound... Boring. Refreshing. Yeah, you guys are no fun. You know that? You gonna order or what? I'm just gonna find out what Bomber wants. Hey. Hey. Oh. Sorry. Children. Robert, this is a family resort. Yeah, well, I was never allowed to behave like that when I was a child. That explains a lot. Oh, Mia, what'd you say? Can I have my ice cream back? No, you say I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's OK. Here, go, go, run. Oh, oh kids. You got me? No. Want one? You're going cheap. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm Fiona. Kate. Hi. It's fine, really. Is everything all right? Mia just dropped her ice cream on Kate. Sorry. My husband, Richard. Honestly, it is so fine. Yeah. It's just a bit of oh, ice cream. <laughs> I mean, don't fuss. I'm sure Kate just wants to relax. Oh, God, it'd be lovely to lie around and read a book. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. Bye. Have you ever thought about having kids? <laughs> Honestly? Yeah. Not really? You? Well, yeah, I've thought about it. Please help me! Mia! Mia! My daughter! 
daughter. They're taking my daughter. What is it? What's happened? They're taking my daughter. What's happened? Who's taken her? Who's taken her? What happened? It's me. Don't tell me who's Mia. taken her. Do you know? Mia. We need to get some help. Well, she's in the boat. Yeah. We've got a lot of contacts, but nothing that's moving away at speed. It's feasible they're already beyond our range. They could have cut their engines and be hiding amongst the pleasure craft. That's needle in a haystack. They could be anywhere. She is such a young girl. We have to do something. Well, the cops haven't had any luck. I'm open to any suggestions, X. We could launch the ribs, take a look around the harbour. OK. Let's give it a shot. I'll come with you, X. Bro, Don't give you... me NAVCOM. Sure thing. Away sea boats, away sea boats. Why would anyone take a little kid? Who knows there's some pretty screwed up people in the world. Ain't that the truth? Ribs are back. They find them? No. Be over a hundred boats anchored out there. Yeah, high season. We noticed. Soup and singers. Tough. X. You should eat something. Oh no, thanks. I'm not hungry. Thanks for your help, everyone. No problem. What? Nothing. What's with the grin? I'm sorry. Copper. Must have missed the bit where uh, they made a law against smiling. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, Bomber, but I'm having a rare moment of appreciation for your work. You know, <laughs> keeping us fed and watered. Even if the ex rejects your best efforts. Thought I might even give you a hand. You know, cleaning up or something. You give me a hand. Aren't you the laziest sailor on this boat? Laziest, yes, but also the most fun. I don't buy it. What's the catch? <clears throat> well... Ah, see? You You did look pretty hot in that bikini today, Bomber. Dude, that is so random. Wayne said I might find you in here. You all right? Just got a headache. <clears throat> Had a go at the mother. Having to tell her that we couldn't find her daughter was horrible. That'd be the worst thing about having children. The fear you could lose them. My mum lost me once. Really? <laughs> yeah. We were riding a city bus. Mum got off, turned around to get me, and the bus drove away. And what happened? Oh, the other passengers screamed at the bus driver. He pulled up at the next stop and waited for Mum. She only lost me for one stop. But I remember how hard she hugged me. But she got you back. Fiona Douglas is convinced the kidnapping was organised by the father, her ex-husband. His name's Santi Wantha. He's a Thai national with local business interests and Mrs Douglas was recently awarded full custody. Have the feds had a chat with Mr Wanta? They'd love to, but he's liquidated most of his assets and done a runner. That confirms the mother's suspicions. So where do we come in? 
Well, the feds have asked for our cooperation on this one. Coastwatch uh, spotted his cruise of the Silverado yesterday. We picked her up on satellite this morning. She's in your sector. Coordinates just coming in. Well, he's hardly going to hand the girl over without an argument. No one likes getting caught up in domestic disputes, especially where kids are involved. Just remember me as safety comes first. OK, you heard up. Let's move. Steer 149. Steering 149, man. Boss, a visual. Range six nautical miles. She's just starting her engines, trying to make a run for it. We'd still be below the horizon. Yeah, they must have pinned us on their radar. It's the Silverado. What's her top speed? 18, 20 knots. She's pretty, it's just not real fast. OK, X, let's show them who they're dealing with. Sir. Got hands to boarding three. stations, hands to boarding stations, hands Rain to boarding stations. stations. <laughs> Negative X. They're not slowing down either. OK, let's come alongside. Dutchie, with me, we'll contain Wantha and the crew. Swain, you take two days to find Mayor Douglas. Yes, ma'am. Get hey, off my Hey, 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 hey. calm down, sir. Right. You sit down. Sir, I'm Lieutenant McGregor from the Australian Navy. I don't give a hell who you are. We have reason to believe that you have a young girl aboard this vessel. What young girl? Your daughter. She has been taken unlawfully from the custody of her mother. Are you accusing me of taking my own daughter? Mr. Wantha, I... She... Hey, hey, hey. Do back. not touch me. You have no right to be here. Legally, sir, we do. Take it easy, Dutchie. X, no sign of the girl below. Where is she? I have no idea. Well, who is this? My wife. Mr. Wantha, why did you run when you saw us coming? Oh, you were pirates. Oh, do we look like pirates? After what your country is under me? Yes. Australia has no justice. You cannot take a man's child. Well, sir, maybe you can explain to us why you are out here. Fishing. I strongly advised him to accompany us back to base, and he refused. Should have pointed your feet at his head. Sorry, Ro. Well, ties believe that the head is holy the feet unholy, the worst thing you can do is point your feet at that. Thanks for that, bro. You're welcome, sir. Feet? Yes. Okay. Look, if he's arranged this kidnapping, she should have been on board by now. Time to handball this one back to the feds. Sir, Wanta is waiting out here for something. It has to be the girl. Well, maybe he spotted the Coast Watch plane and changed his plans. Maybe he's the decoy. Well, let's find out. We're out here. Let's shadow him. OK. We'll give it a shot for a few hours, see what develops. Thank you, sir. Movement at the station. Uh, sir, we have a radar contact leaving the Silverado. It's small, probably a Zodiac, and it could be going to collect Mayor Douglas. Or he might suspect we're still here and be trying to lure us away. Or he could be doing another run. We can go with the Zodiac or we'll stay on the Silverado. Your call, X. We wait here. OK. Ro, inform NAVCOM. They might be able to point nine in the sky in the direction of the Zodiac. Sir. Hey. XO. Do you want me to write up a report about the incident that happened on the Silverado? What incident? When I physically restrained that guy from getting too close, you clearly didn't approve. Well, it's not that I didn't approve. It's just that I'm not intimidated in situations like that and I can handle myself. Right. So I'll write it up in the report. No, no, no. I will write it up. It's no big deal. And you know what he really needed? A breath mint. Very good, ma'am. Excuse me. with that guy. I could have said, yeah, you acted like an ape. X. What? Guys like Dutchie. What? They're... They're more at ease at facing bullets than their own emotions. Meaning? He likes you. Are you kidding me? He hates me, clearly. X. He likes you. Trust me. I'm a guy. Guys know. Exo charge. Bridge. 
Steer 227. Steer 227. Sir, we're breaking off the surveillance. Coast Watch have spotted the Zodiac with a person in the water. Revolutions 2000. Revolutions 2000. Dead X. One on the head. So the Silverado crew member has been shot. He's dead. Can you identify this man, Mr. Wontha? You did this. No. Can you formally identify him as a member of your crew? His name is Jack Shepard. He's also my friend. Mr. Wantha, where was Mr. Shepard going? Who was he meeting? Was your friend going to get your daughter? I was desperate. You arranged to have your daughter kidnapped. Two men came to see me. They said they could get my beautiful girl back for a price. How much? Two hundred thousand dollars. Oh, and you trusted these men. We will need some identification for Mr. Shepard. A passport, if you have one. What is it? The price has gone up. Bird. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Sam. I've never seen a dead body until I came on this boat. Don't know if I'll ever get used to that. They're a bit creepy, but they can't hurt you. Come on. Speaker. Hello? Did you get our message? Yes. You know we mean business then. Where is my daughter? Safe, for now. I want to talk to my daughter. No, here's what's gonna happen. No, nothing's gonna happen unless I know she's alive. Do you hear me? Hello? Yeah? Hello? It's Daddy. Daddy. Everything's gonna be fine, honey. Everything's gonna be fine. You've got one chance of seeing her alive. Bring everything, and I mean everything. The jewels, the case, everything. Where? We'll send you the coordinates. Now you've got two hours. Bring it yourself this time. You try anything stupid, and she's dead. We must do as they say. What case is he talking about? I have money and title deeds in a secure case. Go and get them. Captain X. Kidnappers have made another ransom demand, sir. Apparently, Mr. Wantha has a substantial amount of cash and jewels on board. No surprise there. No. So the coordinates have just come through. Did they give a deadline? Two hours. Well, that's not enough time for the feds to do anything. No. Sir, we could shadow Mr. Wantha to the drop site, and when we see that Mia is safe, then we can go after them. Well, what's to say they won't kill him and Mia once they've handed over the money? Well, what alternative do we have, given the time frame? All right. Brief wanter. Make sure he understands that he's to make the exchange as quickly as possible. No arguing, no haggling, just... Get his daughter, hand over the money, and get her out of there. Sir? 
sir, I don't think he'll have a problem with that. He's desperate for the girl. Well, it's his desperation that got him into this mess in the first place. Bro, give me Commander White. I've spoken with my commanding officer and we both agree that the best course of action is for you to give them what they want. Yes. Our plan is to keep you under observation for the whole time. When you and Mia are both safe, only then will we go after the kidnappers. No, no, no. If they think it's a trap, they will kill my little girl. So they won't even know that we're watching them until you're both safe. You have my word. No tricks. We have no time. Give me your jewels. No! Give me your jewels! Mr. Wontha! Give me your jewels! Calm jewel. down. Calm down, Mr. Wontha. Calm down. Take your gun! Sir, hold up! Hey, Swain! Swain! He's taken a hit. He was awesome. Who was? Dutchie. Didn't hesitate for a second. Saw the gun, wham, took him out. Geez, you've changed your tune. I guess you have to see it. Well, pupils are equal and reactive. BP 120 over 80. All that means good, right? Two days. Do you mind? Yeah, no worries. You gonna bring him around so he can deliver the ransom? He won't be delivering anything today. Sandy Wanta has sustained facial injuries and is still unconscious. He was going for a gun, sir. You could have been a little less enthusiastic. X, he was emotionally unstable at the time, and going for a weapon, I made a judgment call. All right, that's enough. That girl's life is on the line. The clock's ticking, and we need to find a replacement for Wanta. I volunteer, sir. Good. We'll give you all the protection we can, but when you make that exchange, you're on your own. I understand that. I should be the one who is going, sir. I need you here, X. Sir, they requested Wantha when he doesn't turn up. They're going to be highly suspicious. X, you'd hardly pass for Mr. Wantha. No, sir, but a woman is going to be All right, that's enough. We're wasting time. Dutchie, get ready. Sir. May I have a word? When they see that it's not Wantha, chances are they're going to freak. Well, hopefully they'll be more interested in the jewels yeah, and the money. what if they're not? What if they start shooting? Exactly. This is a dangerous operation. That's why Dutchie... No, a woman is less likely to cause them any alarm. No. No? You really don't think so? All right, maybe. But there's no guarantee of that. We don't know who we're dealing with. The safety of Mia Douglas has to be our first priority here. <laughs> and what if something happens to you? Sarah's commanding officer. Kate. No, no, don't do this. You came back on the ship. It was your choice. Your choice to keep it professional. This can't get personal between us now. I can't just block out how I feel about you. I am the only logical choice for this operation, and you know that. All right. Dutchie goes with you. No, he is too much of a cowboy. He's the one man on this boat you want in a firefight. No. No. He goes with you, or you don't go at all. Dutchie? No cowboy heroics. Just bring the girl home safe, understood? Yes, boss. Are we all set? Just about. Now, we've set a clip just under the seat for your gun, just in case they search you, and there's two spare magazines there as well. We've got a radio, a GPS. Radio silence until the girl's secure. And we'll be eyeballing you the whole time on the ER. So, you know, don't do anything I wouldn't do. X. This is one thar's jewels. Oh. Tell you what, somebody who doesn't know how to speak much English, you know some choice swear words. Make the sailor blush, did she too, don't Just about. Stow this. Oh, no. Did you find a key for that? No. Nah. Wifey says she's got no idea, and Swain looked through the old man's pockets. Nada. Uh, it would be good to know what we're handing over. Enforce that, X. No, we haven't got time for that. We'll just take it as it is. OK, Dutchie? Yep. Go. Wish us luck. Just come home safe. Good luck. Let them out of your sight. No way, Right on time. Where are they? How long? It's 
coming up to 20 minutes. Maybe they're having second thoughts. Kidnappers not can't touch it. Thanks, Ra. Hopefully they're just being cautious. And the kidnappers, not Exile and Dutchie. Yes, the kidnappers. Can I ask you a personal question? Why, man? Seeing right here in the middle of nowhere facing God only knows what. I just thought it might be past the time. Okay. You in charge, you hit it off pretty well, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. He's not my type. Oh, no, no, I wasn't suggesting that you... Oh, that's a joke, right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> but you seem to hit it off with most of the crew. Yeah, they're a good group, man. Yeah, they are. The thing is, you don't seem to like me very much. And I don't know why. I don't usually have a problem with people. I think you're okay, ma'am. You do? Yeah. Well, I know that I can come across as a little unapproachable. I hadn't noticed that, ma'am. Well, I've noticed once or twice you looking at me. Are they? In what way, man? A little bit like you are now. Curious way. Sorry if I've offended you. No, 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 you haven't. You haven't at all. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm quite flattered. It's just that living and working together on a ship in close quarters, it, it Are can you sometimes... quoting from the non fraternisation guideline? Yes, I am. I am. In relation to you and me? Yes. Are you hitting on me, man? What? No, 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 no. I thought that you, you thought I was hitting on you. No, I thought that you might have had some feelings for me, and that. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, ma'am, but that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Well, how did you charge? Charge. Charge told me that that's how guys like you express their feelings, and I'm going to kill him. I'm going to torture him for a very long time first, and then I'm going to kill him. <laughs> they seem to be enjoying themselves. So I have a positive radar contact approaching the Zodiac, a bearing 270. How fast? Well, uh, looks like they're going very fast. I would guess 50 knots, sir. 50 knots? I've got a visual. broke his ankle, so he sent us. So we have everything that you've asked for. Where's the girl? Alive. We need to see her. You need to do as you're told. You shoot us and this goes straight to the bottom. Show us the girl. Get her. Me, it's okay, but he's going to be okay. Yeah, we'll see about that. Now give us his stuff. Come on. The key? We don't have a key. What? Wanda was in a lot of pain and time was running out. He just forgot to what give a it to us. Use the cutters. Too easy. This is a trick. You're dead. It's no trick. It's no trick. Now, you mongrel. Gotcha. Put it away. Let's see what a million bucks looks like. Ah! Now, make it down! No. 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 Drop your weapon! Me, I got down the side! Let's get there. Pull ahead both engines. Pull ahead both engines.
charge. We've lost visual contact, sir. We can't match his speed. Description fits a speedboat stolen from down south last week. Top speed 55 knots, range 200 miles. She can go wherever she wants. So we're approaching Dutchie in the water. You want to reduce speed to launch the rib? Sir. So I had both engines. So I had both engines. Prepare to recover Dutchie. Watch have directed an aircraft to that area. What about satellite? I've put in an urgent request. Maxine, my XO is on that boat with the girl. I'm aware of the situation, Mike. We are doing everything we can. Kate's an experienced and resourceful officer. Now she knows we'll be searching for her. Hopefully, she'll find a way to help herself. These men have already killed. As soon as I hear anything, Mike, you will be the first to know, okay? Too. Sweetheart, my friends are going to be looking for us. Okay? Don't cry. Don't cry. How long have I been here? I don't know. Not very long. Okay. Okay. Oh! Okay, now I need I need you to hold on, all right? On. I don't want to. Please put it on. Mia, just do it. Please, honey, just do it. Okay. You don't need to cry. What are you looking for? I really don't know. Bring my friends. I went for one of my weapons, but I was too slow. It's my fault things went bad, sir. Well, we saw what happened. It wasn't your fault. Sir, I... Carry on. I'm sorry, sir. Sir, Rescue Coordination Centre have picked up an EPIRB registered speedboat. Well, that must be the X. Steer 287, Revolutions 2000. Steering 287, Revolutions 2000. Bro, get me updates from Canberra every two minutes. I want to be able to plot their course. Sir. Can't catch them. We might be able to work out where they're headed. It's one of those emergency beacons. Yeah, I know what it is. We'll get rid of it. Get rid of her. Last words. The RCC just lost the signal, sir. What? Perb's gone dead. Okay. Input any positional data we have and try and estimate a course. Well, we wouldn't have much, sir. Just do it. Hey, long face. Caving all right there? Just can't stop thinking about that body in the garbage room. Now the X could be dead. Hey, there's no point imagining the worst, Bird. Your imagination will get the better of you every time. What do you suggest then? Because I'm just really scared right now. Well, I think you're better off concentrating on what you know, for one thing. 
What I know is that the ex is out there somewhere with a bunch of murderers and kidnappers and that we've lost all communication with her. Yes, but you also know that she's smart and tough and we're doing everything we can to search for her. You're a glass half full kind of person, aren't you, Dutchie? It's the only way to be. Where are you taking us? I'll move! Hey! Move! Move! Just wait. She's oh, gonna... Come on! Listen, she's gonna need food and water. Have you thought that through? You keep talking, girl. I'm gonna cut you in half. Now move! Eyes forward. Can we please slow down? No. Move. Give it to me. How much longer? Can't you see she needs to rest? We're here. Touching reunion. What is she doing here? Just relax, Dick, all right? It's all under control. So you're the what one is... behind all of this. She's your daughter. Stepdaughter. Wanta set us up. This isn't one of Wanta's people, you idiots. She's Navy. Satellite surveillance photos taken half an hour ago. It's Sharp Island. It's uninhabited. It's part of a national park. This time of the year, it's closed to visitors. Turtle breeding season. Only two. Mm. And it's got a forward cabin. That's where the girl was kept. That's where the ex will be. Let's set a course. No one was supposed to get hurt. Dick. A simple exchange. That's what it was supposed to be. You had the money. Why on earth did you? Listen, what has got millions? This is chicken feed. You work for me. No. Not anymore. What? Partners. You're an accessory to murder, dick. I had nothing to do with that. I'll tell to the judge. I think it's 25 to life. It isn't washing off. Oh, forget it. Listen, we need you to get the cops off our tail. And how do you suppose I do that? Go back to the wife, tell her you've got a message from us. All right, say that we're, I don't know, somewhere down south. No one's going to believe that, you moron. Besides, the Navy's involved. They've probably got a patrol boat looking for you and her. You probably let them here. No chance. Listen, the first thing we've got to do is get rid of Navy girl. No, no more killing. Uh, she's seen us. She can ID you, Dick. All right, she's got to go. No, no, look. You take the jewel and your share of the money and go. I'll wait here for them. I'll deal with the consequences. Consequences, Dick? What the hell are you talking? This has gone too far. I'm stopping it. I'm stopping it now. You understand me? It's over. Okay. It's over. Maybe if I use terms. Visual on that gunfire? Negative, sir. The canopy's too thick. Come on. Outside. Go, go, go! Which way? This way. Come on! Where's Daddy? He's coming later. Where are we going? We're going to the boat. Come on. Come on, Yes, you have to. You have to. And you can. Come on. Oh, my God. Come here. Come on. Come on. All right, come here.
нет. She's down below Miss Wayne. I didn't want her to see any of this. Just got a call from Maxine White. Mrs. Douglas is on her way. Feds are convinced she had no involvement. All her new husband's idea. People in love, they can make some bad choices, hey? Yes, they can. What else did uh, Knocker have to say? <laughs> about what? <gasps> about when we might be expecting a permanent CO. Nothing. Bird, can you do us a favour? Can you do your cash for us? Sure, thanks. That's all. I might just wait a bit. But until they've taken those bodies away. They've done that. They're all gone. Oh, cool. <laughs> Bomber, they've left one. Bomber? <laughs> gotcha! You know, you're a real sicko, you know that? Oh, the look at your face! It was... <laughs> Ow! Bit of respect for the dead, thanks. She's gonna be here. Soon. I wish we'd kept that leech so we could show her. <laughs> ah, here she is now. Come on. Where's that FFV, Swain? It has just looked over the line, ma'am. Must have seen us coming. They'll be back. Oh, this almost looks edible, Bomber. Move along, too, Dad. You're bad for morale. Uh, Bomber, can I get muesli with some hot milk on the side, please? Yeah, sure. In a glass? Yeah, a glass would be fine. Can you make it really hot? Really hot it is. You're really hot. Here you go, Robert. Ah! Ah! Oh, Ro, are you okay? Uh, yep, sorry. Um, did it burn? Uh, it's fine, it's fine. We're losing speed at a fairly rapid rate of knots. Charge. Engines are overheating, initiating Stop both engines. Shut down. Both engines. Charge. One minute, ma'am. What the hell was that? Oh, well, we're dead in the water, sir. The props have seized up. 
I've got Dutchie and two dads gearing up. They'll be ready to go in a couple of minutes. Good. Go on, ready. Yeah, it's a long line fishing there. We're fouled up. And no one saw it. Oh, there's no floats. It was lying just beneath the surface, and now it's got itself well and truly wrapped around the props. The bow thrusters are the only thing holding us in position, sir. Any damage? It'll be hard to assess until we cut it away. Yep. Managed to cut the bulk of it free, and I've attached a winch, so away you go. Oi! Easy does it! Keep it at that pace, because there's a lot of it. Stop! Oh, a bass! Body in the net! X. Sir, no wallet, no papers to identify him with. How long has he been in the water? It's hard to say, but well, certainly more than a couple of days. Well, NAFCOM haven't had any persons overboard reports in the last 12 days, so he's not making this easy for us. I'm so sorry, Robert. Really, the boat just no, moved okay, and I... It's OK, It was an accident. <sighs> Is it still stinging? <laughs> Quite a bit. Mm. Well, I think other than a shot of morphine, I don't think there's a lot else we can do. So... Wait. My mum always used to do this on burns. Better? Just relax. Mm. Don't try to move. You'll only get frustrated. Mm. Nothing worse than frustration. Sir. Robert, perfect timing. Upload these photos, forward them to NAVCOM with Swain's report. They can try and work out who he is. Uh, sir, um, there's something that I need to discuss with you. It's fairly urgent. Anything serious? It's about a breach of Navy regulations. I've been involved in non-regulation fraternisation. With Bomber. An unacceptable level of personal involvement is involved and it's becoming complicated. With Bomber? I'm pretty sure it's getting to a point where she's thinking of moving on away from Hammersley. Greener pastures. So you're aware of the regulations regarding... Oh yes, I'm well aware and that is why I'm bringing it to your attention at the earliest possible opportunity. Well, uh, I'll have a chat with the other party. Bomber. Yeah, Bomber. And we'll take it from there. Yes? Uh, sir, you're wanted on deck. Thank you. What's the hold up? Well, there's several hundred metres of it and we couldn't leave it there to endanger the shipping. But there's still quite a lot fouling up the props. That is going to be a big job getting that free. How long? We were doing 16 knots. That's 1,350 revs, and then it wraps itself around the shafts, gets up into the glands. Best guess? 24 hours. If we work around the clock. Well, let's try and get to the lee of the nearest island, at least. Well, we'll have to do it without engines. The ribs? Yeah. 
Lines are secure, Dutchie. Take up the slack. Copy that. Just keep her nice and steady. Tow lines appear to be holding X. If you're happy with the speed, we'll be there within an hour. Or whatever gets us there, Dutchie. Very philosophical, X. Always wanted to visit a deserted island. Now I can mark that off my things to do list. Speaking of which, can I have a word? Oh. He said what? He spoke of an unacceptable level of personal involvement. Now I have to ask, is there a relationship? A relationship. Is that what he's calling it? Of course not. I gave him a kiss on the cheek a while back. A thank you. It was nothing. Well, Robert seems to think there was something. It was nothing. Sir, why do I always attract the nutcases and then have to leave town? Leave this with me, OK? Thank you, sir. Oh, Bomber, I note that your naval employment contract's up in a couple of months. You going to sign on again? With respect, sir, that's my business. And events like this don't help me with deciding. Fair enough. You're not really thinking of leaving, are you? upset because there's a dead body on board? It's because of you, Robert. I do not appreciate you reporting a relationship between us that doesn't exist. Understand this. Even a decomposing body is more attractive than you. Get it? I'll get up for you. You really think it's deserted? Maybe. Let's get off this boat. Wouldn't it be great to explore? That'd be cool. But could we really do that? Oh, why not? Hammersley's not going anywhere. Let's do it. Just the girls. Just the girls. Excuse me, sir. Mission to requisition a rib. Oh, sorry. Join the queue. Uh, Dutchie's already requested one with Swain and two dads. We need the other one as a standby. Fishing expedition. Uh -huh. Who's going fishing? It's great Spanish mackerel waters around here, and mm -hmm. we must take advantage of these opportunities for team building and crew bonding. Good. You can drop the three of us off on that island then. Well, no, because where we're going is over the other side of. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. Let's go. Don't oh, mind your step, girls. I'll call you on the radio when we're ready to be picked up. Ma'am. Free at last. <laughs> at least for a while. Don't have too much fun. Let's go. Pull ahead. Just waiting. Well, it's quiet up here. Yes. Some of the crew are fishing. Ex bomber and bird are gone hiking on the island. Well, taking a radio, I hope. Yes. Uh, right. Just to let you know, I spoke to Bomber. She didn't corroborate your statement, so at this stage I'm taking no action. Oh. Robert, you've got to learn to read people better. You spend too much time in your head. Listen, connect more. Yes, sir. I'd like to get you both together for a face-to-face -face sometime. It's just a chat, OK? Haven't you always dreamed of this? What, hiking? Running away to a deserted island. Escaping. What do you think, Bomber? When I was younger, this would have been my perfect fantasy. These days, I don't think fantasies are too healthy. Oh, maybe, maybe not. But this place, it's almost too good to be true. It is beautiful. See you, Otacom, Sam. So I just got this in from Navcom. Federal police records identify the body as belonging to one Edward Pritchard, sometimes known as Teddy. Thanks, Ray. It's in the hands of the AFP now. I uh, should have brought my hiking boots. Still, it's a nice change from the boat. 
Enjoy it while you can, girls. I wonder how the boys are doing. Oh, I wouldn't worry, Bert. I'm sure we'll hear about it when we get back. Ah! Bummer! Bummer! Bummer, are you all right? I can't see her. She's just disappeared. Come on, let's find a way down there. Oh, we've covered both sides of the stream. Bomber! Bomber, call if you can hear us! Please! Nothing down there, Rex! Found something, X. Is it hers? Yeah, it's hers. There's a strong current down there, X. So I reckon there's only two places she could be. She's either further downstream. Or here. No way. She's. She's not in here. Don't even think it. We're going downstream. Someone's come out of the water here. Looks like Bomber made it this far. All right, let's keep looking. say. You must have hit your head pretty hard. Uh, I'm Sean. I'm Rebecca, right? Uh, here, drink this. I found you floating downstream from the lagoon. You're unconscious, so I carried you here. You carried me? <laughs> Welcome to paradise. OK, now I know I'm dreaming. No, no, it's real. It was called Paradise by the Founders. Well, fair enough. What else could you call it? Who were the founders? A group of people who wanted to build a, an eco-friendly, sustainable life. So, electricity? It's all solar. I thought this island was deserted. We're a non-polluting, carbon-neutral community. We like to live as close to nature as we can. I found out about this place when I was hiking in Vietnam. How did you hear about us? Me? Oh, no, I didn't. How did you get here? A uh, Navy ship, Hammersley. I'll be wondering where I am. Your Navy? Yeah, I, I was hiking, I fell. This is, they'll be really worried about me. Sean, as our guest. Uh, making a rapid recovery. Rebecca, this is Peter. Peter's father and a group of like-minded people founded the settlement. Hi. This place is amazing. You're all amazing. <laughs> well, we're no angels, but let's face it, if the world keeps going downhill, everyone's going to have to live this way. It's Rebecca, yeah? Uh, yeah, but most people call me Bomber. Because? Uh, in the Navy, if you have the surname Brown, you get tagged Bomber for some reason. Navy! Yeah, but uh, don't hold that against me. No, 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 it's just... Um... We've never had a visit from the Navy before. Well, most of us are OK, but, um... Bomber? Yeah, you'll find out soon enough. Bomber? I'm OK. Oh, my God, we thought we lost you. I'm so worried. Oh, Bomber, what the hell happened to you? Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? We can get Sway to check you over. Welcome. Welcome to paradise. So you own the island? Yes. Inherited from my father. Proceeds of another life. Most of us here had past lives. I myself was an architect, but, well, we wanted something better. It's 
tempting. <laughs> Commander, I must admit there's a, a request attached to our hospitality. If it's at all possible, could you not advertise our existence to the outside world? Uh, I know it's a big ask, but everyone here has earned the respect of everyone else. We're not a large group, as you can see, and I'd prefer not to be overrun, as a delicate balance needs to be maintained. It's exactly the same on the boat. I can relate. Thank you, sir. All those Navy rules and uniforms, I mean, don't you get sick of it? There was a time when I felt like I needed some discipline, so I joined the Navy. You still feel that way? Well, between you and me, there are times when you get the urge to break a few rules and jump ship. Hi. Hi. I'm Leo. I'm Brooke. You have beautiful eyes and your smile. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> OK, enough about you. So tell me, what do you think about me? Absolutely nothing. It's <laughs> a joke. You do have a beautiful smile, though. Brooke, I was kidding. Well, you're improving. <laughs> and they slap you before they walk away. I still think we had a genuine connection. Mm. Long distance. I wouldn't let it get to you, mate. I don't think these people live in the real world. Still, food's good. It's like. I seem to do things for a few years and then just move on. So we might see you back here. Maybe. I signed up to the Navy for three years, but my contract's up in a couple of months. Well, you'd make a great addition to our community. You're just saying that. <laughs> OK. I'd like to see more of you. complicated. You don't want to know. Come on, history's in the past. You're just perfect. Hey! Hey, is, is he bothering you? Well, who's this guy? A friend. A good friend who doesn't want to see you being taken advantage of. Uh, Robert, you're not a friend or a good one. Friends do good things. Come on, let's go. Trying to look after your interests. Mama. <coughs> Mama. Mama, are you here? Mama. Mama. Help here. Anyone? Help! Seems we're missing one of our crew. As soon as we've located him, we'll be out of your hair. Hey, guys. We just got word from Hammersley. The props have been cleared and we're moving out. Have you seen two dads anywhere? No. Sir, no one's seen him for a while. Ex. My well, locals just said they saw him leave the village this way a little while ago. Uh, he definitely didn't come our way, and that's a worry. Uh, one of those paths down there leads to the swamp. I'd better go check. Dutchie, go with him. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Mate, are you sure this is the right way? I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere here. Well, this is the only way he could have come. Who dads? Dutchie! Where are you? Over here! <coughs> oh. Take it 
Get your close. Uh, we need to reach him. Uh, a stick or something. Two dads, when you stuff up, mate. I know. I know. Can you hurry up? I'm still sick of you. Just relax, all right? Just try to stop struggling, yeah? Easy for you to say! Ah, oh, what sticks? And swamp gas. <coughs> it's lucky you happened here. The further you go into the swamp, the stronger and more dangerous it gets. Look, we've got to get him out. Yeah. Just try not to move at all. Your natural buoyancy will help you. That's it. Yep, yeah, fine. Here, here, here. Don't move. Grab it. <sighs> Grab it. Oh. Just, just stuff it. Just grab my leg. Yep. That's it. Grab my head. Grab my head. That's it. Hey, come on, mate. Come on, let go. Grab my head. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let go, mate. Come on. Thanks, guys. <coughs> oh. We could use this guy in the Navy. <laughs> a large portion of the island is swamp. We just stay away from it. But apart from the obvious dangers, getting lost in the mist, there's also the hydrogen sulfide. That's the rotten egg gas. Now, if you can smell it, it's probably not so bad. It means it's low concentration. But when it's stronger, well, after a minute or two, it can deaden the nasal glands. It's a nerve toxin. It can kill you. Oh, well, it's also highly flammable, isn't it? Oh, yes. I can see why you avoid it. Excuse me, sir. Uh, we're ready to push off. Thanks. Mm. Mm. Uh, I'll check out properly when we get back on the boat. Fair enough. Funny. Thought the water was warm. <laughs> Funny guy. Well, Peter, thank you very much for your hospitality. Well, it's our pleasure. Ray, let's go. Bomber, we're off. So... So... Thought we'd have longer. Yeah, that's a Navy for you. Reckon you'll come back? I mean, now that you know we're here, you might want to come in and check in now again. You know, I've been thinking... Maybe I do deserve a little bit of fantasy. Maybe we both do. say that I'm sorry. You say that, Robert, but you've got no idea why. Well, you're upset. Yeah, but you really don't get what's going on for me, do you? You just got this crap going on in your head and you don't quite see things from my point of view. I tell you a dozen times that there's nothing going on between us. And it makes no impression. I think you should just stay away from me. Do you understand? Else? Something's biting me in that mud. Uh, whinge, whinge, whinge. Hey, I reckon those leeches suck two litres of blood out of me. <laughs> well, actually, you're not going to need a transfusion. Are you going to put something in these bites, Swino? Yes, because I'm a carer and a giver. Well, look at that, in the black. Yeah, I was reading up on hydrogen sulphide. Turns copper black buttons. Am I going to have to buy a new set? Yeah, I'd say so. You've damaged Navy property. I thought this was just a black band. It's an arthritis bracelet. It's copper. So it's been exposed to hydrogen sulfide. Mm. There's a good chance this guy died in the swamp on the island. Right. We're going back. So none of you have seen Peter? Do you know this man? It's Teddy. Edward Pritchard? Yes. Sir. Okay. 
How do you know him? Where he and I are involved. When was the last time you saw him? About two weeks ago. He went to the mainland for family reasons and never returned. And that didn't raise alarm bells? Well, Peter told me that sometimes people have just had enough of the island. It doesn't suit everyone. Who do you think was the last person to see him? That would be Peter. Teddy left for the boat with Peter. I'm all right. Ex, have you seen Sean? Uh, no, I haven't seen him anywhere. He and Peter are the only ones unaccounted for. Peter was upset as I was when Teddy didn't return. They'd argued the day before. Well, they argued about what? I'm not sure. Something happened to Teddy? We found a body at sea. Teddy? He was found tangled in a fishing net about 15 nautical miles from this position. So he drowned? Uh, no. Well, we can't be certain without a post-mortem, but at this stage we think that he died in the swamp. What is it? Is Sean involved in any of this? Did Sean and Peter kill Teddy? If anyone has any information, you'd better tell me now. Sir, Peter was last seen taking Sean down that path towards the swamp. Charge, I want you, two dads and Roe to meet me at our location at the rush. Bring a full set of breathing apparatus for eight people. Over. <laughs> You're hiding something. Is that the way that Peter took Teddy? Is there any reason we should be worried about Sean's welfare? I mean, the interior is dangerous, isn't it? Why would Peter be taking Sean that way? Look, I don't know, I can't Bomber. say. All right, listen up. The federal police have been informed they're on their way. But in the meantime, our target is somewhere in that direction. Now, we need to question Peter. But we have no idea where he's taking Sean. When we reach the swamp, Let's split into pairs, that way we'll cover more territory. Call if you locate either of them. And don't forget, hydrogen sulfide gas. Highly flammable, i.e. don't fire any weapons in that swamp, understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's move. Gas. There's no gas here. Wow. Opium poppies. Yeah. And they've been lanced to harvest the resin. Oh, beautiful. Sir, Dutchy, I think we've hit the mother load. We're on the western edge of the swamp. Roger that, Dutchy. I see those packages are filled with dried opiate resin. Sean's up to his neck in this. Did you see Peter in there? No. Sir, we've located Sean and three armed hostiles exiting a drug shack approximately 500 metres east of the village. Over. <coughs> Roger that, Swain. Hello, Rebecca. Now tell me, how many are you? 
Put your mask on. Put it on. Stop struggling! I said stop! <laughs> Unfortunately, Rebecca, you've become more trouble than you're worth. You just couldn't leave us alone, could you? Goodbye, Rebecca. Looks like someone's been busy. Dutchie to CO. Go, Dutchie. We've just found a vat for drying opium resin. It looks like they pack it and sell it unrefined. Any sign of Swain, Bomber, or our targets? Well, someone's been here very recently. They're gone now. Everyone in the village is probably in on this. Over. I agree. And what's the bet they're wanting to get a long way away from here right now? They're on the way to your position. Over. Copy that. Out. Dutchie. Swain! What happened? Uh, I don't know. I got hit in the back of the head. Where's Mama? Right. She was here. She was hit. She was... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, buddy. Take some deep breaths here. Let's get this off. Robert, can you... Robert! Okay. Hold! Just our sex. Sorry, sir. Shed. That way? Yeah. Sir. Hey! Stop! I leave them. He'll lead us to Peter. Let's go. Converging on the area, you won't get away. There, it's Peter. Come on, get down. Busted. It's a slight smell, not too strong. Are you okay, Charge? My ears are still ringing. All right, the customers must have a boat waiting on the other side of the island. I'll bet that's where they'll head now. Thanks. Find our position at the rush.
ออกมาฮัลโหลชิบเป็นแบบนี้ No idea Robert carried her through the swamp like that He's breathing pretty normally now sir Okay can you hold that there Keep her head up Pulse is sweaty but it's there Come on Bob For me For anyone Tell her that Dutchy found a Dutchy carried her here. Okay. Why? Just. Can you do that? <laughs> Go ahead. The boat has been spotted arriving at the north end of the island. Copy that, sir. Yeah. Can we move her? We'll have to carry her. Right, X, you and Swain get them back to the ship. Right here. <laughs> Come on. You're on your own now. There's no way off the island. We have you surrounded. Put your weapon down and come forward with your hands raised. Secure, boss. Get up. Just give me a good excuse. Mind your step, sir. Straight up the gangway, please. Watch your step. He killed that man, Pritchard. Is that what they're saying? I didn't do that. Peter killed him. But you were there. He was going to the authorities. He had this attitude that the poppies compromised us. Everyone in Paradise knew about the poppies. So they all knew that Peter murdered one of their own. No. We didn't tell them. You make me sick. Get him out of here, t o d a t Sir, just for the record, I've decided to renew my contract for another three years. 
Glad to have you aboard, Bomber. <laughs> Something help you with that choice? I just like the idea that I have people all around looking out for me. Excuse me. Uh, oh, what was that for? <laughs> Two dads told me that you found me and carried me all that way. Thanks. No, that wasn't me. That was Ro. But uh, thanks anyway. Yeah. Sorry. Why? You told me to stay away. Well, thanks for ignoring that. Chances. He's a monster! Get the net! Look at the net, get the camera, Bob. Oh! <laughs> That's your monster? It's huge! Oh, mate, I don't think this thing's got a macro setting. Mate, it's bigger than the looks. Oh, I bet you say that to all the girls. <laughs> uh, how do I cast it? Okay, so, you want to put, take this off? Yep. Then you put your thumb on there. as good as his tools too, Dad. <laughs> Welcome, Captain Ahab. Are they, uh, trout flies on your hat? For decoration, Dutchie. It's all about the lure. Mate, I reckon that cost you a bomb. A oh, bloke at the tackle warehouse did a deal on the whole shebang. It's a smidge shy of a grand. Oh. <laughs> I still see him coming. <laughs> all right, well, why don't you guys just stay back when I land my first fish? <laughs> I just don't think it's my position to have to deal with that. It's your job. I think Stern, aircraft closing from Stern, line of sight one zero. Sea plank? No. Let's see what they've got to say for themselves. It's a small Cessna by the look of it. Cessna aircraft off my stern. This is Australia warship calling you on UHF-16. Come in. What's he doing? Buzzing the Navy for a lark. Wouldn't be the first time. Cessna aircraft off my stern. This is Australian warship. Hey, Judge. Seeing as how you're not doing too much, you might not get him in the net. Well, I've got what's that, you on? Yeah. Holy hell! Whoa. It's not a mackerel, it could be a dog tooth. It could be a marlin. You have reeled in a big game fish before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah well, I got a big flathead in the Marucci River once. Oh. Right. Oh. 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 No, 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 let him fight, let him fight. Oh. Ah. Hey, real, 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 real. Well, you got a fight on your hands, Judge. Say the word and I'll jump in. I'm all right, Gail. No, no. Hey. No, We've got a He's rather close. Thing I do. What's this guy up to? What the hell? In that case.
is only a Quebec. Sierra. I gotcha. Victor, Hotel India, Quebec, Sierra. Punch the tail number into the CASA website, registered to some cow cocky called Matheson in the territory. I say we give the feds a bell. I don't think we'll go that far, Charge. It was just some hotshot pilot trying to razz us up. That hotshot cost me an $800 rod, <laughs> sir, and a fair bit of pride. Charge, publicity only encourages idiots like that. And there's plenty of fish in the sea, Charge. Fish like that come along once in a lifetime, X. Charge, are you aware that Bird is on marine tech rotation? What? Might be nice of you to teach her a thing or two. <laughs> of course, sir. There's something in the water right ahead, range near. Stop both engines, port 30. Stop both engines, port 30. Midships, midships. Full astern, both engines. Full astern, both engines. We didn't see anything on the radar. If it's a boat, we haven't had any e-perbs. Or any maydays. And no recent storm activity to speak of. It's not just jettisoned debris. There is actually some structure there. X. It's not a boat. It's part of a wing off a plane. Let's get charge up here. Any sign of the main cabin, X? Negative. Looks like most of the central section has gone down. Sir? The RCC has detected the aircraft's emergency transmitter at our current coordinates, so that's it. What's the water depth here? Approximately 600 metres. Mark the position, right? Explains the erratic flight pattern. Must have been low on fuel or mechanical problems. Strange no maydays. They didn't respond to our transmissions. Puts the losses and fish and tackle into perspective. Sir? Something in the water of 200 metres. Red Sir, we've got someone in the water. Sir! Just come up this way a bit more. Stop! Two, three. Hey, he's got a pulse. He's alive. We need a stretcher on the quarter deck. Pupils are three to four. A bit sluggish. These burns to his face and hands appear pretty superficial. Uh, two dads, I need you to get me a bowl of water with lots of ice in it and plenty of face washes. Roger. Luckily, he doesn't look like he's got any inhalational burns. BP's 160 on 95. Okay. Spino. Uh, head injury, sir. His blood pressure's a bit high and his pulse is tacky. But we really won't know where we stand until we check his Glasgow coma scale. English fine. Need a medivac. RO's already put in a request. So what he's wearing is... Prison overalls. Commander White, Lieutenant Commander Flynn on the sat phone. Now, the Cessna's confirmed as belonging to a cattle property in the top end, Mike. I mean, details are still sketchy, but there was an incident involving an overturned prison bus about 200 k's out of Darwin. So we're talking escape prisoners? Three prisoners are unaccounted for, and it seems they hijacked the property owner, a Jim Matheson, and forced him to fly them out in his Cessna. Oh, heading for PNG, given the direction they were flying. And the prisoner number on those overalls identifies your injured man as Carl Butterworth. He's a convicted rapist and murderer. Now, I am waiting on information on this Butterworth from Northern Territory Prison Services, and I will email it to you as soon as it arrives. Thank you. And the medivac? I'm afraid I've got some more bad news for you. Our patient's name is Carl Butterworth, but we have a problem, Swain. Medivac's a no-go. Assets are tied up in the Team C. Best we can do is steam home at top speed. All right. So when are we getting underway, then? The ex is doing another sweep of the debris field. Two other prisoners and a pilot were on that Cessna. We have to be absolutely certain. So what's this man in prison for? He was convicted of rape and murder. But given his condition, I don't think he's a danger. Can you manage him until we reach port? I guess so. I'll check on the X's progress. Bomber? 
You stop breathing, grab the ambi bag. Bomber! Bomber! You right? That's three comprehensive sweeps. I'd say anyone else on that plane hasn't made it. OK, X. Head back to the ship and we'll get underway. Problem, boss. I'm running out of saline. Now, without an IV infusion, I don't think I can keep this man alive long enough to get back to port. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any other options, mate. We might. Tupara Island's four miles to the south of us. Now, there's a small Red Cross clinic in the village. Should have saline solution and other medical equipment that'll help me manage him better. OK. Contact the clinic, see if they can help out. This looks suspiciously like Tuesday night's fish casserole. Bomber's busy. If it wasn't that, it'd be last Sunday's lasagna. Yeah. It smells a bit pongy. Two days. If you don't like it, don't eat it. Have you got any muffins? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. In charge. Oh. Can you pass me the dead horse, please? Yeah, sure. Give me the muffin. Hmm? Give me the muffin. Do I look like a sap to you? Give me the muffin. Judge, you do look like a bit of a sap. You. Oh! Judge! I'm sorry to interrupt the fun and games. I've got a little job for you. Can't do anything on an empty stomach, ma'am. You won't be using your stomach. It's a simple pickup. Who am I picking up? Apart from two dads and dropping him on his head. Dr. Nadal. Swain spoke with him. He's over on to Power Island. Need to take it a shore party, pick him up and bring him back to Hammersley? Sure. Mm -hmm. Just one thing. Mm -hmm. I'm taking him. Absolutely. You can take Dutchie too. The village is just a short hike into the jungle. Good job, Robert. Take care, baby. Mm. You've uh, got your lunch on your chin, mate. Oh! It's a bit of overkill there, Dutchie. It's just a pickup, mate. Well, I've always said it's better to have a gun than need a gun, Charge. <laughs> Charge, I hear you guys are going to the island. Yeah. Well, I'm on marine tech rotation, so it's my job to shatter you, right? Go where you go. It's not a marine tech job, Bird. Please, 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 Charge. I won't be a problem. I promise, please. <laughs> hey, you're the boss. One condition. You stay with the rib. Anything to feel real sand beneath my feet. All right, go. Get special helmet. Go. Yep. Go. Sucker and a soft touch. <laughs> hey. Bert, keep one eye on this rib, one ear on that radio. And all this lovely sand between my toes. You just keep your boots on. Come on, let's go. Jeez. Simple pickup, she said. Short hike into the jungle, she said. Well, there'd better be an all-day breakfast here, I can tell you that for nothing. Hello? Anyone here? Looks like it's well past lunchtime. Char grilled, whatever the hell that is, anyone? Didn't know Bomber was cooking for the locals now. <laughs> Hello? You hear that? Nothing to hear. Exactly. Hello? Hello? Dr. Nadal! Hello! It's like somebody left in a hurry. Somebody? The whole village. Australian Navy, anyone here? <whistles> Dr. Nadal! Hello! Two dads, watch our backs for any movement.
throats have been cut, sir. It's the whole village, it's, it's deserted. It's like they've left in a real hurry. Over. So Boa Island's had its fair share of conflict in the past, sir. Rascals in the line. Charge, are you armed and in Kevlar vests? Negative, sir. Dutchie's got a pistol, but I, I didn't think it was necessary. Over. Sir, I told him that it was a straightforward pickup. OK, you can lead a second shore party. Bro, go with the X, fully armed with the extra plates. Charge, I'm sending over a second shore party. I want you three to head to the beach. They'll replace you and conduct a search. Over. Copy that, sir. Out. Excuse me, X. Yep. Hey, Ro, you want to go ahead and get the ribbon in the water? That's so I need you to search Red Cross Clinic, see if you can get what he needs. Yeah. He's made a list. Uh, saline solution, morphine, soggy gel, or melanin. That's a non-stick dressing. Bomber, why don't you join us and then you can just get this stuff yourself? I would, but Swain needs me here, man. Well, can't Bird assist him? Bird? Yeah. Sir? X, what's the hold-up? We've got a problem. Bird is on the island. What? According to Bomber, Charge let Bird join the shore party. OK, get over there as quick as you can. Charge, CO. Go ahead, sir. Charge, do you have Bird with you? Negative, sir. What do you mean, negative? I've just been told you let her join the shore party. I uh, left her mining the rib. Bird, this is Charge. Over. Bird, this is Charge. Over. Bird! Charge! Come in! Bird! <laughs> Okay. Yeah. What's this? A life raft. I've got a really bad feeling about this charge. That's the tail number from the crash Cessna. There's a pilot and two escapees unaccounted for, right? Both convicted murderers. Oh, great. I'm going to circle round to the west, try to flank him. You two keep his focus here. What? You want us to be sitting ducks? No. I want you to be decoys. He's got an automatic weapon. You've only got a 9mm. And we've got sweet F.A. You hesitate, you die. You may as well drop that gun of yours now. The place is going to be crawling with Navy in a minute. Yeah, and I won't be here. There's no way off this island, mate. You're not going to get far in that pretty little life raft of yours. I've got Matheson. Guys, he's holding the pilot hostage. I need one of you to create a distraction on his east flank. Try to help go. Crunch! I hope you got plenty of ammo. Is that little pop gun all you got? <laughs> Got your charges gone over. Back off! Back off or I shoot him in the head! Please, God, do what he says! I mean it! I got nothing to lose! I'll kill him! All right. All right, I'm backing off. God, you okay, Mr. Matheson? Yeah. He's dead. Pretty good shooting, Dutchie. It's a ballsy maneuver, Charge. Where's the other guy? I don't know. He took off a while back. But. Bird, 
Stay where you are. You got okay? Him? Yeah, I got him. Right. You're off. Did you hurt him? No. Face down. We made it in time, Charge. Just. You're okay. You showed some seriously poor judgment. You took a GX on a shore party without following proper procedure. Yes, sir. I just thought that because she was on my rotation... Bird is a gap it. recruit. She joins evolutions only with my express approval. Now, I'm not saying you could have anticipated what happened, but you should never have left her alone and in charge of minding that rib. That is a seaman's responsibility. It won't happen again, sir. No, it won't. You can go. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Dutchie, I want a full report on that shooting, and your divisional officer will organise counselling. I guess that's not optional, sir. Yes, sir. So I managed to get uh, solugel, non-stick dressing, saline solution. There's a few vials of morphine in there. Although, the guy the Dutchie shot had already pumped most of that into his leg. All right, thanks, Ron. You did well, mate. So is the rapist murderer going to live? Uh, just in here, Mr Matheson. Uh, Swain, yeah. this is Mr Matheson. He's got a few cuts and abrasions that need cleaning. Yeah, um, Omar, can you, um... Why don't you take him into the seniors' mess and treat him in there? Sure. Uh, sorry. Uh, Mr Matheson, just follow me. I think you need stitches. Butterfly clip should do the job. Mr Matheson, I'm Mike Flynn, commanding officer. You've been through quite an ordeal. Yes. Your Cessna, did it run out of fuel or...? Oh, I had to ditch it. It was a last resort, believe me. You're a hero, Mr Matheson. It's Jim. I'm no hero. I thought I was going to die today. More than once. Well, you're safe now. Carl Butterworth is no danger, and the other fella is under armed guard. The third SKP was killed, as you know. Well, that makes me a bit happier. I know someone else will be a lot happier, your wife. Navcom will be contacting her soon. I'll leave you to it. Very good. My watch. Is he okay? And he reckons he's got chronic asthma. Can't breathe. There's no air in here. I, maybe I busted a rib. Has Swain seen him? No, I just brought him straight down here. I'm telling you a thing that Swain should see him. At least give him a puff on some venom or something. It's pretty stuffy in here. All right, I'll tell him. Thank you. Sir, uh, some of the blisters have already burst. We're just applying solid gel and melanin dressing. Oh. Yeah, I've already got an IV set up running. Oh. Just a sec, sir. Oh. Mr. Butterworth. Mr. Butterworth, can you hear me? Swain, eh? You needed an austere, mate. Just a minute. Uh, sir, patient's semi conscious in an obvious pain. I'm going to need to give him some morphine. I just need your okay for that. Yep. Yeah, okay. Okay, all right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll call if there are any further developments. Yeah. The other con in Austere he reckons he's got asthma. Charge wants you to check him out. Uh, Bert, can you grab Bert, please? Oi! Chicken legs. Swain, watch him. Swain? Yeah, Bert. Uh, can you give Bomber a hand in here while I go down to Austere? Sure. Okay. Okay, Bomb. Fleet Medical's instruction. There's two milligrams of morphine every ten minutes. Gonna give him one dose here. Wait another ten minutes. If he's still in any pain, give him another two milligrams. I wasn't going to hurt her. She just she turned around and fell. I just wanted to... What? The keys to the inflatable. So you could continue your escape? So I could go home. Back to the mainland. Turn myself in. And why escape in the first place? 
I didn't want to get on that plane. I just, I don't know, got caught up in it all, I guess. The way I hear it, you fled from an overturned prison van. I figured if I could get free, I could prove my innocence. I didn't murder my wife. I was framed by the police. Right. Don't tell me. It was one armed man. It was my best mate. He was having an affair with her. Our prison's full of innocent men, eh? If you're so innocent, why'd you kill a doctor? I wasn't a part of that, I swear. As soon as we got to the island and took off, I'd never hurt anyone. I'm a pacifist. At the escape here in Osti. Yep. What you reading that for? I was actually looking up Butterworth, but this just came up. Thought I'd check it out. Says he's an innocent man. Yeah. And he was framed by police. Right. I thought I was the conspiracy nut. You are. Fake moon landings, alien abductions, those photographs of the four-breasted Estonian woman. That woman is documented fact. <sighs> All right. Who's he say murdered his wife? Best mate. <laughs> Motive? According to Mr. Logan, his best mate and his wife were having an affair. She was going to out them both if the best mate didn't get a divorce. Sounds vaguely plausible, but why would the police go to all the trouble of framing Logan? I don't get that. Why don't they just go after the real killer? I don't know. Why don't you go ask him? Mrs. Matheson? I've got your husband right here. Just be in the passage. Thanks, Captain. Hello? Mm, yeah. The throat. Yeah, bird. No, no, I'm OK. Really. <clears throat> I can't really talk. <clears throat> yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, I miss you too, darling. Love you, sweetheart. See you soon. Mama, I think he needs another shot of morphine. It's been over 10 minutes, Bomber. Look, it's nearly 15 minutes. Bomber, look at him. The man needs another shot of morphine. Swain said that I know what Swain said. Then why aren't you giving him the shot? Do you honestly think a man like this deserves pain relief? Are you serious? He raped and murdered three women, Bird. One of them was 16, a year younger than you. How do you know that? Made it my business to find out. OK. But he's still suffering. Not nearly as much as those women suffered. Look, if you don't give him the shot of morphine, I will. in here. Tell someone who cares. Hey. I thought you done your watch. Yeah, I just figured I'd let you off the hook. Well, shouldn't we stick to the X's roster? Do that. <coughs> I'm offering you the opportunity to skive off. Uh, this doesn't mean I owe you, yeah? You can't turn around tomorrow and call in a favour. Just go and watch a DVD.
saw some interesting news clippings about you on the net, Logan. Prosecution had a pretty solid case against you. Oh, yeah. What motive did I have? They said you found out about the affair. It's a crime of passion. Never had a clue. I thought we were happy. Makes me a gullible fool, not a murderer. A similar thing happened to my dad. My mum cheated on him with his best mate. But he said he always felt like killing his mate. Yeah. And not my mum. Exactly. If I'd known, I would have gone after Barry, not Rhonda. We'd been mates 20 years. Why would the police frame you? Why wouldn't they just try and prove the case against a real killer? Barry was a cop. They were looking after their own. I can't breathe. Logan? There's no air in here. This isn't working. You all right? Yeah. Come on, come on, wait. Come on, come on, get the hatch. That's it. Let's go straight out. Suck it in. Good, fresh sea air. Stay there. Mr. Matheson. Okay, um, I need you to go to the wardroom and get the swaying for me. Sorry, do you know where the wardroom is? Oh, is that where they're treating that uh, Butterworth guy? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I need you to ask the swaying to come out to the boat deck. Um, tell him Logan's having another asthma attack. Okay. Thanks, mate. Look, I can't give any more morphine for another five minutes, okay? Yeah. Looking for the swine? Yeah, it's me. I'm end up on deck. Uh, Logan's having an asthma attack. Okay, thank you. Morphine for five minutes, okay? Okay, cool. <gasps> Let go of me. That man, that. Let go of me, he's free! No, he's no, not. <coughs> Just breathe in and out, slowly as you can. How's the guy in the water? Yeah, I think he's gonna be okay. Suffering from a bit of concussion, but he's starting to come around a bit more. That's good. That's it, mate. Just breathe in and out. Well, his lungs sound clear. His breathing's back to normal. But just in case, hang on to that. Give me a call if he has another attack. Thanks, mate. Answer me something. If I could give you information that would save lives on this boat, what would it be worth? Would you let me escape? What sort of question is that? If I told you something that would save lives here, maybe even the lives of your shipmates, would you look the other way? Let me go. Staging C5 party, muster and investigate. Charge to the bridge and the rush. What's going on? Sir, can you make your way up to the top deck, please? Charge, Marine Link Quinsel. Oh, sir, what have we got? Fire or smoke? It's just smoke at the moment, but with a smoke. Yeah. Bridge. Charge, this is Dutchie. Go ahead, Dutchie. Yeah, it's a bogey, mate. There's no smoke in here at all. Right, eh? Do a thorough check of any adjacent compartments. Get two days to double check the smoke detector. See if it's faulty. Yep, copy that. Hey, do you want to go and check on the patient and make sure the alarm hasn't unsettled? Yeah, sure. You need to check that and make sure it's not faulty. We need to check the adjacent compartments. There's no fire or smoke in the laundry, sir. OK, everyone can relax. Looks like a false alarm.
Sid Ref Dutchy? Well, we're still clearing the upper deck, sir. No sign of him as yet. After we secure this area, we'll head to the lower decks. Roger. You OK? Yes, sir. Sir, this just in from NAVCOM, though they claim they sent it over an hour ago. Confirms what our patient seems to be saying. Well, he must have changed clothes with Jim Matheson at some point. Hmm. Dutchy CO. Go ahead, sir. I have confirmation the man we're searching for is Carl Butterworth. What's going on? I heard the alarms and I... Butterworth went for the pilot. Yeah. Did he kill him? No, but he... He almost killed young Bomber, but I got to her in time. I told you. <laughs> what happens now? Well, we're still looking for Butterworth. He got away. I'm not talking about Butterworth. What about me? We had a deal, right? I gave you information that saved lives on this boat. Stand by to dock home port. Special sea duty men and cable party close up. Yeah. Hey! Rep. Still no sign of him, boss. I'm checking up the decks. Two dads is heading aft. Nothing's coming up on the CCTV either. I want Butterworth under lock and key, Dutchy. Keep me informed. One secure. Two secure. swim for it. You're a man of your word, Charge, but there's an awful lot of federal coppers on that wharf. Yeah, and they've all got their eyes on the wharf, not the water. Look, if you're innocent, like you say, then I'm giving you a chance to prove yourself. Just let me check if the rope's secure. And an innocent man. I reckon I'm gonna need one of these to get me out of this pickle. Played you like a fiddle, Charge. <laughs> Guns out, you idiot! I gave you a chance to prove yourself. You failed. You think I'm a soft touch? You think again. I'll charge a 12-hour turnaround. Maybe time for a spot of fishing. Nah, I think I'm through with fish and eggs. Really? What about the one that got away? Plenty of fish in the sea. The one that got away oh. is... Is this about fish eggs or oh. is it a comment on my single status? I would not presume to advise anyone on their romantic life charge. Believe me, I was talking about fish. Nah, I think I just got my last one. Ma'am? What have you got there? Right, it was tied off the starboard waist. It was dangling in the water. I have no idea. Stumped. Sweeter, Ambos are on their way down. Just 
gonna go and see how they want to move you. Okay. Won't be long. Hi. I feel ashamed of what I said, how I treated you. I judged you without knowing all the facts. Not that that's an excuse. It, it wasn't my place to judge you anyway. I'm sorry. I understand. Eggs before you go? I know this situation is frustrating for both of us. Navcom is searching for a replacement CEO. Their wheels are just turning a bit slower than I'd expect. Well, let's hope they speed things up, because patience isn't one of my strongest virtues. No, it isn't. This is more like it. It's nice to have you back in the galley, Bomber. You have no idea how good it is to be back there, Charge. It's not to denigrate your culinary skills, Arrow. Even though they did suck to high heaven. Do I look like I care? Hey. Oh, I'll be my guest, Charge. No, you have it. No, no, you? no, I insist you're growing man. No, no, so I insist, man. You have it. Hey. Listen, you hesitate and you die. <laughs> is that a dolphin? Ah, Charjo. You might be the Prince of Pushovers, but I, for one, didn't come down in the last shower. Uh, I think it is. I think that's a dolphin. Keep moving, keep moving. You know what, two dads? I think you should be ashamed of yourself for giving Charge such a hard time. You guys, easy pickings. Why is that my fault for? Too bad, so sad. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Who took the muffin? Was me? Don't look at me. There was a muffin. <laughs> you took it, didn't you? Now give it back. Come on. Hey. Range six nautical miles and closing. I've got a visual, sir. She's a type three FFV. Oh, no, sir. It's Hannibal. Hannibal? Who's that? He's our biggest pain in the ass. Literally. <laughs> Last time we tried to board him, Ro got stabbed in the arse with one of his porcupine poles. Oh, <laughs> ouch. Did you get him? Oh, yes. He's been prosecuted and deported a number of times. And each time he comes back nastier than before. Vessel on my starboard bow. This is Australian warship Hammersley. You are to stop or heave to immediately. We're very busy. We go fishing. Boarding party close up. Here we go again. Hello, Mr. Dixon. How are your skinny ass? <laughs> Hands to boarding stations. Hands to boarding stations. Hands to boarding stations. I want in on the boarding. Race your demons. Good man. Troy, what are you doing? I said he could come now. Don't make this personal. Let's go. Mr. Hannibal, 
Let me get him up here. Get up. Make it up. Now, this is a map. I know that you can read maps. This is the line. You are in Australian waters. You are fishing illegally. Don't see any line. Oh, don't get smart. Hey, bro, you go below with two dads and search. Watch out for Charlie. He crazy. Stinks down here. Freaky too. Who's this Charlie? Uh, just ignore Hannibal's nonsense. You've heard it all before. He's just trying to spook you. Don't touch it. Ah, oh, look, it's broken the skin, but I think you're gonna live. You go for throat, not balls, you lucky. Permission to shoot the dog, X. The champion fighting hey. dog, undefeated, very valuable. Oh, no, he should be put down. Oh. Serve you right, I warn you. Mr. Hannibal, no one is going to shoot your dog. Now, there is no evidence here of an illegal catch, so you are free to go. Back across the line, understood? Hey, bomber, you gonna bring in the rib? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Mr. Dixon, you no catch me. I'm smarter than you. Bro. Right. Don't touch it. He's heading northeast, back across the line. There's a nice boat out there somewhere, X. I'll bet on it. Let's take a sweep to the northwest. If we can nail that ice boat, he won't have anywhere to unload. And then we take him? That's the plan. Port 10, steer 320. When was your last tetanus shot? It was three and a half years ago, March 16th. I have a morbid fear of needles. Right. Well, <clears throat> that's something you might have to address before we get home. We'll be getting rabies shots. Do you think the dog had rabies? No, it's a precautionary measure. I have a fever and a slight headache, and I feel fatigued. I feel very fatigued. We, it's not, I can the, see the that you're take laughing. weeks I, to show up, okay? yeah, which, even if you did have it. At what time? It's probably too late. Am I right? Would you relax? We'll get you the vaccine before then. I knew it. All patched up? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am, for what it's worth. R.O., can I see you for a minute? Sure. I just want to make sure that you're not developing some unhealthy attitudes to some aspects of your work. Specifically? Foreign fishermen. On that boarding this morning, I thought that you were a little well, overzealous. Well, I was enthusiastic about apprehending them, ma'am. I believe in the job that we do. Is that a bad mm -hmm. thing? So long as it doesn't become a personal vendetta. Right. Well, they're like any other criminal that breaks the law. I believe that they deserve to be punished. Right. Is the world really that black and white to you? I'm not a racist, if that's what you're implying. No, that's not what I meant. I'm sorry, I've been bitten by a mongrel dog. I'm concerned with my physical well-being at the moment. Hey, where are we headed anyway? We're searching for an ice boat. Don't you ever pay attention? Only when I'm forced to. I'll keep that in mind. No, that's disgusting. Did you look in the mirror, Ro? <laughs> no, well, um... No, I'm doing some research on rabies. You should see some of these symptoms. Acute pain, violent movements, uncontrolled excitements, depressions. How can we tell if you haven't? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I'm glad that you find my misfortune so amusing. Also known as hydrophobia. The fear of the water. I'd say you're in big trouble there, little buddy. We're surrounded by the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did they mention no sense of humour? My throat's tingling and I'm slightly nauseous if you're genuinely interested. What's that supposed no, to mean? No, about your food bomber. There's symptoms of rabies. It's all in your head, you're a total hypochondriac. Hydrophobia, fear of water. Bro, that's no way to test it. You gotta take a dip. Total immersion. It's the only way. Eat up, bird. You're on guts watch. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be snoozing like a bebe. Total immersion, bro. Confronting my mortality. I feel it is imperative to address the residual bad feeling between us. It's important for me to set everything right and to say how sorry I am. I know I can sleep. Um, um, go up the water and I'll take you up. Okay. Okay. Well, your blood pressure's fine, your temperature's fine, your heart rate is fine. You're just talking yourself into a fizz. Yes, I know I'm stressed out of my mind. I need to calm down, Swain. Right. Look, just um, take one of those. Okay, it should help you sleep. And Robert, Robert, just. Try and get a grip, eh? Easy for you to say. That's no way to test it. You gotta take a dip. 
Total immersion. It's the only way. Total immersion, Roy. Total immersion, Roy. You gotta take a dip. Total immersion. Total immersion. Total immersion, Roy. Total immersion, Roy. You gotta take a dip. You gotta take a dip. Total immersion, Roy. Total immersion. Sir. Some intel came through from Coast Watch early this morning. They've spotted another FFE in the area dropping its nets. Anything on radar? Nothing for the last few hours. There's no sign of an ice boat. Okay. I want Ro to get an update on these coordinates. Mm -hmm. Where is he? A uh, bird. You want to go give him a shake? What? Two dads, I need your help. Did Oscar get some sweet loving or what? Uh. Yeah, I'm not here for that. It, it may not be today or next week, but I will get you back when you least expect it. Now, where's Robert? The boss wants him on the bridge pronto. I don't know. Well, he's not in the mess or the Comsen or the galley either. Two dads, you have to help me look for him. Sound like a robot. He wouldn't usually leave this for my prying eyes. Two dads. I oh, don't know. So what are you saying, two dads? No one's seen him at all this morning, and I think he might have gone over sometime during the night, so, like, deliberately. What? Have you looked for him? Everywhere, sir. All right. We're abandoning the search for the ice boat. Starboard 30. Starboard 30. Dutchy, pipe leaving ship stations. Yes, boss. Well, leaving ship stations. It means we do a head count. Set up a search and rescue plan on the nav display system. Leaving ship stations. Leaving ship stations. Yes, leaving ship stations. So has the ship. Yes, ma'am. Who was the last person to see Robert? It's probably me, sir. He woke me up at 0300 for a sleeping tablet and I gave him some, but I assumed sir, he went back to his room. I saw him at about 4.15. I was just coming off Guts Watch and he was in the passageway outside the junior's cabins. What was he doing? Uh, we spoke briefly and then he walked off. Though in hindsight, he did seem in kind of a weird mood. Well, weirder than usual. Thanks, Bert. 
X, last known datum, 0415. Yes, sir. It could have been in the water for a maximum of two hours. Charge. Yes, After sir. leaving ship stations, muster all available hands on deck with binos. Yes, sir. Sir, I... Not now, Bomber. We have to find Roe. I'll advise NAVCOM. better if you quit blubbering. Charge, this is all my fault. How do you figure that? The letter he was writing? He killed himself because of me. It's nonsense. You guys are friends. Were. I've been avoiding him lately because he takes everything I say the wrong way. Look, we don't even know if it was deliberate. But if it was, that, uh, say it had more to do with the rabies. He would never have had rabies if he vaccinated. We know that. Maybe he convinced himself that he was going to die a horrible death. Maybe he thought drowning was a better option. Oh, poor Robert. Given the wind and the tidal stream in the direction and distance travelled from the last known datum, I have calculated the search area within these coordinates. Good work, X. I'll pass this on to NAVCOM so they can set up a coordinated search with Coastwatch. Mm. Why would Road do something like this? You know what a closed and strange person he is. Who really knows what's going on in his head? It's suicidal. Well, he's been deeply humiliated by Hannibal in the past, and maybe what happened yesterday just tipped him over the edge. And I should have overridden Dutchie's decision to let him go on the boarding. He's not aboard, sir. We've searched everywhere. So we are looking at a potential suicide. There is another possible explanation, sir. Spit it out, Swain. The sleeping pills I gave him, they were mild, but they can cause a reaction. What sort of reaction? In very rare cases, hallucinations, sleepwalking. Right. Dixon. Hannibal, I've got to use your radio to call my ship. You think I'm stupid? I have fists. You call Bowl Navy, come arrest me. I lose everything. No way. You don't understand. They don't know where I am. They'll be thinking I'm drowned. Maybe they throw a party. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just, just take me to the nearest port to go. Take me to go, and you can keep your damn fish. Mr. Dixon, you a very demanding individual. I picked you from Olsen. You know, say thank you. You say give radio. Take me to go. Kiss my backside. OK, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. So just let's work out a practical solution, OK? You pay debt. You go home. What? Very what practical. What debt? Navy chucked me in jail three times. I lose fish, boat, everything gone. No food for family. Navy cost me $10,000. No, you, you what? You steal our fish from our waters. You, you're nothing but a common thief. You want payback from me? No. I am Australian Navy. 
and I'm ordering you to take me to Gove now. Who is master of this vessel? You know this question. I am master of this vessel. Everybody here must face. Yes, you must also face. Fat chance. <laughs> ah, you now my prisoner. I own you. You fist, or I throw you back in ocean. Sure. A fish. His eyes were open, but, but if I'd just woken him up, then he wouldn't have walked Sir, up. Sir, yeah, yeah. we've backtracked as far as we've travelled since Bird last saw the RO, so we are at the furthest edge of our search area now. Starboard 30. Starboard 30. Let's make another pass through. X, Dutch, you get the ribs in the water. Increase our lateral search. Aye, yes, sir. boss. Hang in there. We're going to find him. Away, depot. Away, depot. Too slow, Mr. Dixon. You very lousy worker. Ah! Ah! Navy pig dogs should know how to piss. I can't do this. You want to eat? You learn. Oh. Not so difficult. Thanks for that. You have too easy life in Australia. Now you see fisherman life. I'm sorry. No eat? No, I don't want to eat. I give it to the dog. No eat? Find these on Rose's desk. Check it out. So they're the sleeping tablets Swain gave him. No wonder he was sleepwalking. The tosser took three of them. You're the tosser too, Dads. Instead of playing your stupid practical jokes, you should have been looking out for him. You did your best. Bomber, get these people some scram. Yes, boss. I've never lost a man, Kate. Not like this. Not in a situation where I feel something could have... should have been done. I oh, know. Everybody's blaming themselves. But it's my responsibility... as captain of this ship. fault that I let Robert go on that boarding. Well, I'm sorry, Dutchie. I, I should have taken responsibility and kicked him off. I knew he had issues yet. That's exactly why I made the call. I thought he should confront his demons. Well, is that what they told you in counselling?
my dog. Wait, I kill you. Dad, come up, Hannibal, put the knife down, please. I didn't kill your dog. Dad, he's dead. No. I know. He's not kill him. He's not dead, Hannibal. He's been growling all night. Please, just put the knife down, please. Move, move, move. Now you die. I did it! Kill the dog! Look! 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 The dog was sick. He had rabies. Look! Hannibal, please. Hannibal, I, I was bitten by the dog, which means I probably have the virus I need to get the ball. I need to get the ball for treatment, otherwise I'm going to die. Horribly. Please. You are not so valuable. Thanks for the heads up. We'll check it out. Ghost Watch have spotted an FFE in the search area. Let's take a look and hope they've picked up Ro. Captain has the ship. Starboard 15, altering 025. Starboard 15, altering 025. X, have the boarding party on standby. Yes, sir. Hands to boarding station. Hands to boarding station. Hands to boarding station. You've been looking into my personal affairs. That's your divisional officer I'm entitled to. You're not an easy person to get to know. Nobody else seems to have that problem. I'm aware of that. You reserve your cold shoulder for me. I went through a full debrief and routine counselling, just like anyone else who's seen active service in the Gulf. Yeah, and the brass's assessment is you're as good as gold. So what else do you want to know about me? Your file. It says that you came through the incident with flying colours. Yeah, and I bet you're just dying to hear the grisly details, huh? Now pull your head in. I don't like the way you make that sound. It was a routine boarding off Iraq. Went horribly wrong. Hostage situation. One of my crew died. We just heard about the FFV. Please, God, he's on it. We're all hoping that bomber. Get him! 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 Get him!
execute for it, X. So who's in charge of this vessel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, yeah. This is, yeah. <laughs> Wake up. Are you aware you've been fishing illegally in Australian waters? Uh, eight one two four nine zero three. Leading seaman Robert J. Dixon. How did you get your hands on these? <laughs> I'm the radio operator on HMAS Hammersley. Lost at sea. <coughs> OK, I'd like everyone to move over to the railing and sit down on the deck, please. Let's go, down on the deck. Thank you. Here he is. Hey! Grateful we are to have him back. <laughs> but the CEO thanks you for taking these guys to port. Lads, to continue our patrol. Good. No hard feelings, mate. But you really look the part. Yeah. Welcome home, right? Thank you, sir. Let's get you checked out, eh? Come on, mate. Hey, we told you you could stand up. Sit down, sir. Shoot me. Come on, sir. Shoot I'm not going to ask you again. Sit down on the deck now. Calm <laughs> down, sir. <laughs> hey, get out. Settle down, Settle down sir. Out. Settle down. What's going on? I don't know, sir. He just flipped out. You take my fish, burn my boat. I did that already. You now! Hey! Hey, come on! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Sir, 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 we also confirmed Hannibal's dog died of rabies, so we need to get the vaccine as soon as possible. Well, it's already been two days. Which is why I need to get the initial vaccine in the next 24 hours. Initial? Five doses given a week apart. Five needles. <laughs> Six, actually. There's an immune booster with the first shot as well. But I've already organised with Coast Watch to drop off the vaccine. I think it started out here. Not taking any chances. OK. That's, uh, that's good. Thank you, Swain. Hey, Robin. Um, I just wanted to say sorry about the sleeping pills and chance of reaction like that of one in a million. I oh, know, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Not mine. Here we go. And just try and relax, OK? Plastic off your ankles as well. Hey, what are you doing? Get off! What? Get off! Him. Whoa! What are you doing? Help me hold his legs you down. You can't just hog tie him. Why not? He's dangerous. He needs to be restrained. Get out. Get out now. Oh, robot becomes human. How touching. Fine, you deal with him. He's going, Hannibal. It's me, Hannibal. Listen, I've spoken to the boss and I have told him how you rescued me. I'm sure the judge will take that into consideration. I'm really sorry about your boat and the fish. I've got, I've got you. Um, I've got you. Something to drink. Come on, here. Showing all the symptoms, it's definitely rabies. Oh, we're gonna have to sedate him and try and stop him from hurting himself. Hannibal, mm. Hannibal, you're sick. We're gonna give you some medication that'll make you feel better. Just what do you want me to do? Just try and keep coming him down. Okay, just just can you breathe? Can you breathe for me? Taking a deep, mm. taking a deep mm. breath. All right, hold his arm. Is that right? Yes. Yep, yep. Alright, 
try and organise a medivac to get him airlifted to a hospital. I need to get Bomber to check the rest of the... Wait, when Coast Watch do the drop, give the vaccine to, to Hannibal. He obviously needs it more than me, and I've got, what, 24 hours before I need to take my dose? By the, by the time you start showing the symptoms, it's already too late. What? It's too no, late. no, that's crap. There's got to be something that Bobby. you can do. The best that we can do is just try and make him comfortable. We have a rib in the water standing by for pickup. Come on, let's get you prepped in the water and so you're ready to go when they get back. Yeah, I'll, I'll just got to do something first. Sick. Hey, you see? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Wayne sent me to tell you that Mr. Hannibal passed away. heaven and earth to give Hannibal the best possible chance. Okay, cardio pulmonary resuscitation. Now I know you all think you know CPR back to front. RPC. Take your charge. Uh, as with everything, if we don't use it, we lose it. Now, Bert has very kindly agreed to assist with today's exercise, so I'll be needing some volunteers. It's great to see they're all so keen. Uh, I hate to pull rank. Oh, Swaino. Lead from the front, boys. Lead from the front. Thank you, Charge. Um, I will be needing one more, though. Yes, yes. me. What do you think, Bert? Mm. Two dads. Yeah. All right, come on over. Now, in this drill, Charge, you've collapsed. And uh, two dads, you'll be performing CPR on him. Now, just a reminder that CPR begins with two emergency breaths of mouth to mouth before we begin chest compressions. Swain. Yeah, just a minute, guys. The resuscitator must firstly check that the airway is clear before he places his mouth tightly over the mouth of the patient. Swain. Yes. You said that Bird was going to assist. He did. We all heard you. Yes, she is. She's going to be timing your compressions. Guys, in the real world, we don't get a choice over whose life we're called upon to save. We have a responsibility to do everything we possibly can, no matter who the person is. But Swinner. It's charge. Every life is sacred. Hey, I'm not exactly jumping out of my skin, either. All right, enough. And don't you guys worry, you'll all be getting a turn at this later on. Judge, assume the position. Time to dance. Don't forget to check his airway. tongue and you are a dead man. Swain is making two dads do CPR practice on charge. Huh? <laughs> oh, good one, Swaino. Aren't there hygiene issues with that? <laughs> What's that? Huh? Right ahead, 200 yards. Starboard 30. Starboard 30. Pass along our 
outside turn. All clear. Whatever it is, it's a shipping hazard. We can't just leave it. Where should we sink it? Not when we don't know its contents. Just bring it down here, Simon. All right. That'll do. Drop it. Nice and slow. All right, all clear. We'll have a look inside, and with any luck, she's full of beer. Oh, that's oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. oh, all. All right, let's contain this mess. We're going to need a clean-up duty. Swine. <laughs> Sir, this isn't barbecue, mate. It's, it's, these are organs. They're, they're human organs. We're very interested in your recent gruesome finds. We're talking illegal organ trade? Oh, yeah, they think they're being imported from Asia. Well, heading where? Here, the US, Europe, Japan. Mm, it's horrible to think there are people poor and desperate enough to be selling their organs. Men wealthy and desperate enough to buy them. Yeah. Now, the feds think the freezer was in the water for about three weeks, probably lost in cycling to yoga off Papua. That was one hell of a storm. It's a sophisticated unit. They traced its purchase to this man, a Walter Berkman, an American citizen now. He has disappeared, along with his luxury cruiser, the Longview, usually moored out of cans. It's possible the Longview was lost and Mr Berkelman is sleeping with the fishes. Couldn't happen to a nicer bloke. But if he did survive, the feds think he's probably back in Asia organising another shipment. Now, they've just issued a keeper lookout for, but there's no firm until at this stage. Now, as far as finding a uh, permanent CEO for Hammersley, unfortunately, there are no suitably qualified, unassigned personnel available at the moment. So, as much as I would like to have you back in here, I'm sure you won't be too disappointed to remain CEO for the foreseeable future. She's right. You're not that disappointed, are you? Kate, it's not like she gave me a choice. How much people are prepared to pay for things like like a kidney or even like a few feet of bowel? Two dads. Thousands. And you don't even need half the stuff you've got. You can function perfectly with one lung, one kidney. Enough. That is off. Even human fat is worth big bucks to the cosmetics industry. You're a walking gold mine charge. Have you ever thought about selling your brain? It's not like it's been used. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, what's your next rotation? Uh, Bosun's duties with Dutchie. <laughs> he will keep you busy. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope this week hasn't been too dull for you. No, I've, I've really liked it. And, I mean, I, I love all of this. The medical part of your job. You know, when I leave, I'm hoping to study emergency health. Train as a paramedic. Didn't know that. Yeah, I haven't told many people. Why? It's a great thing to do. Yeah. Except... Except what? You know when we pulled that freezer out of the water? Yeah. It just made me feel sick to my stomach. Me too. I mean, the trade in human organs is just... No. I mean the smell. The smell just turned my stomach. It's, it's not a very good quality for a paramedic, is it? Well, there are a few hardened sailors with their heads hanging over the side.
Just admiring his form, X. Bomber, go get rid of the gash. Yes, ma'am. Bird? Bird. X, is there somewhere you should be right now? Swain told me to take five. I think that five's up. No, there's still a few more minutes. Go. Yes, X. Can I help you with something, X? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I was, um, I was just, um... You, you, carry on. Sir, Coast Watch has spotted a possible CF in our sector. Thanks, Ray. You look flushed, X. It's, uh, it's hot out there. The sun. It's a scorcher of a day, today. Yeah. Out there. Uh, RO, have you got those coordinates? Coming in now. Do you have a temperature? Oh, maybe. Uh, bearing 030, sir. They're only just on our side of the line. Then we intercept them ASAP and send them back home. Port 10, steer 030. Port 10, steer 030, sir. Business class, ma'am. Dutch, you two, Dutch, you secure the wheelhouse. We'll take any other crew. Copy that. Oi! You had trouble hearing or something? I asked you to stop your vessel. Why didn't you stop your vessel? We've opened the front of the boat. Are you, are you the master of this vessel? Hello? Does anyone here speak any English? Sit down. Hey, ma'am, come forward. Please sit down. We are refugees. We want asylum in Australia. Please help us. Here's the master of the vessel, X. Sir, your vessel is illegally in Australian waters. We go. Meraoke. Here in Jaya. Ah, Meraoke. Ma'am, the master says that this vessel is headed for Meraoke in Irian Jaya. No. We go to Australia. We all go to Australia. We are refugees. OK. Sir, you're according to your passengers, they say that you are heading for Australia. No, no. We go. Matter OK. I'm going to hold him here. You stay seated. Sit down, sir. Hey, Swain, Sit. what's the food and water situation on board? It's not very much. Maybe enough for another day, Tops. Please, help us. OK, now, does anybody here need medical treatment? Um, is, is anyone here sick? No. No. Actually, ma'am, they all look in pretty good health. What's your situation, X? Uh, sir, uh, the crew and the passengers all appear to be in good health. They are critically short on food and water, though, sir. There's also some debate as to where they're heading. What sort of debate? Well, the master says they're heading for Meraki. One of the passengers says they're bound for Australia. Is she seaworthy? Yes, sir, the vessel is seaworthy. Then we have no option. Let's get them resupplied and escort them back into international waters. OK, copy that, sir. X? Yeah. I found this hidden in the wheelhouse along with the master's personal position. Oh, hey, 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 settle down, pal. We'll be out of here in a minute. Hey, Swain, what do you make of this? Circle. How it reacts gives you the blood type. Takes about five minutes. There is a card in that box for every passenger on that ship, and this is Rehypnol. It's a date rape drug, yeah? When I realised, yes, I went him. I mean, this little girl couldn't be more than five years old. Swain, that is no excuse for assault. When you realise what, Swain? So these people aren't refugees, they're human cattle. What? They're all in good health. They've all been tissue matched. There's probably a buyer already waiting for a kidney or God knows what else. Well, you think they're going to sell their organs? No, I think someone intends to steal them. Why would you need Rehypnol if you're a willing participant? And you can't tell me that this little girl gave her consent to be butchered. All right. Ro, you speak some Malay and Bahasa. You in charge, go and talk with them, see what else you can find out. Yes, sir. Carry on, Swain. Yes, sir. It 
is possible that they entered Australian waters unintentionally. What, on their way to Meraki? Without enough food and water, I suspect Meraki's just a cover. Have another chat with the ship's master. Let him know it's in his best interest to cooperate. Yes, sir. So you did me, mummy. He says he doesn't understand. Well, he understood well enough on the Siev. Who are you working for? Sayatida so Amemami. What was your destination? Sayatida so Amemami. So perhaps what you don't understand is how much trouble you're in. I'm going to ask you again, what is your destination? Meroke. <laughs> Without any food or water? I don't think so. This man. He's lying, X. Well, that's pretty obvious. You never play poker sport. Say, Tida, my mommy. Oh, you don't understand. Dutchie! Dutchie! Just give me five minutes. No! You don't understand that, don't you, stunt Get your hands off him, that's an order. Don't hurt me, I'm able to tell you. I thought you might. Too far. I don't think they're in league with the master. They all swear they're refugees, they're just looking for a better life in Australia. Is that your take on it too? Yes, sir. What'd they say about the blood test? Condition of getting on the boat. Yeah, and they got pretty upset when Roe told them that someone had dibs on their kidneys. <laughs> they wouldn't. Explain yourself. He was being a smart ass, and all I did was ruffle his shirt. No, so... Is that what you call it? And if he didn't talk, what then? Oh, I guess we'll never know, will we? Hey, I've told you before. Better get these coordinates to the boss. I think it went over their head. Never mind. Sir? Sir, the CF, it wasn't heading for land. It was going to rendezvous with another vessel. Berkelman? Yes. And we found the coordinates. Good work. Ro, get me NAVCOM? Sir. I take it there's no one on this CF capable of navigating it safely back to their home port? No, sir. Not a chance. All right. They might get their chance to claim asylum after all. Swain, you'll lead the stemming party. Who do you want with you? So Bird's got one day left on her rotation with me. Swain, she hasn't had enough experience. Might be a good way for her to get some. Rowan Charge seemed to think that the refugees pose no threat, and there are young women and children on board, so... A female might be helpful. Mm. Get it restocked and refueled ASAP. Yes, sir. I want to keep this rendezvous with Mr Berkelman. Well, I actually come from Melbourne, which is way down, like, the bottom of Australia. Are you married? Um, no, I'm not married. I just finished school. <laughs> Are you married? Oh, no. I found a husband in Australia. All oh, right. Good luck. <laughs> OK. I should get you fed and water till down. Thank you. Hey, babe. Enjoy the cruise? I will. Okay. Hey, happy hunting. Yeah, fingers crossed. Ciao, amigos. See you back at home, yeah? Look, Harvey. Is there ETA to those coordinates? At this rate, sir, we should be there in just under two hours. Very good. Sir, we will be there well ahead of the CF's rendezvous time with the long view. It'll give us the advantage. We'll sit below the horizon and wait for Mr. Berkelman. Sir, I was thinking that if the long view was damaged in Cyclone Tiago, Berkelman might have a new boat. I agree. Did the master of the Siev give you the vessel's name? No, I think we were lucky to even get the coordinates. Come what may, we'll be ready for it. Sorry I couldn't eat dinner. Too seasick. Looks good, but. That was Bird, just after she came on board. I think she thought the comment book was compulsory paperwork. So do you ever take these suggestions on board? Nope. Only one chef on this boat. Comment book really just makes them feel like they're having an input. Hey, that sounds really bad. Do not tell anyone I said that. What's it worth to you? So I was thinking about going for my hook. Leading seaman, that's a good idea. Yeah, I figure if you can get it, how hard can it be? I won't buy it and offer to help you prepare for it if you want. Really? You do that for me? Yeah. Maybe next time we get shore leave together, we can spend some time and really go at it, hammer and tongs. 
the study and, you know, getting up to speed. Yeah, that sounds really good. <clears throat> Vessel off my starboard quarter. This is an Australian Navy vessel. Please identify yourself and state your business. Over. Why isn't it responding? Don't know. Vessel off my starboard quarter. This is the Australian Navy. He looks friendly enough. Ahoy, Navy! This is the Nicolinda. We need your help. We've lost our radio. We request permission to come alongside. I would explain it. Sir, boarding parties aren't in standing by. As soon as we detect Berkelman's vessel, we move. It won't take him long to realise what's going on. Hammersley, over. Uh, Hammersley, we have a vessel on approach, the Kalinda, requesting radio assistance. Over. Roger that, Swain. Over. Swain out. They're just coming on board to use our radio. And there's nothing to worry about. Oh, what a stroke of luck. Australian Navy be the last people we'd expect to find on a bottle like this. We saw you from a distance. Sergio Marelli. Sergio. G'day, mate. It's just like... <laughs> What are you doing on my boat? Are they going to kill us? No. No, no, no. Look, they wouldn't risk it. We'll, we'll be fine, right? Then what are they doing? We took the cards with the blood types. They're just redoing the test, that's all. Up. It takes as long as it takes. Nobody move! Nobody! Uh, I can't stop the bleeding! Get some trauma pad from below. Move! Anybody, by anything stupid, and they'll end up like him. Remember, honey? Understand? Sergio? I am trying, I don't know. I think I've stopped it. Hey, with those pants! You're gonna kill him like that, you know? Are you a doctor? Me? No, no. Just the ship's medic. With a neck wound like that, you need to apply enough pressure to stop the bleeding, but too much like he's doing now. To stop the blood getting to the brain, you'll kill him anyway. Take over. I told you, I'm not a doctor. I, I'm just a medic. Or I'll hurt her. <laughs> Right. Uh, on my three, you need to remove pressure, all right? One, two, three. OK, you need to get on the radio, organise a medivac. No. Look, either this guy gets to a hospital or he dies. Hospital treatment we can do. What are you talking about? On my boat. Get a stretcher. A one false move, and I will kill you. By my calculations, if we hadn't intercepted the CF, she'd be at the RV point now. So where's Berkelman? It's unlikely for him to be a no-show. It is human cargo to collect. Agreed. Maybe he's had mechanical problems. Maybe. Receive his life. I told you I'm not a doctor. I don't have the skill for this. I don't care. Just do it. Sergio, get us out of here. And tell Warlow to come down as soon as he's finished loading the cargo. Well, what are you waiting for? Look, I need another pair of hands. Okay, I'll need hers. I'll take it. 
take the pressure off your heel blade out in a minute. I know what you're thinking. As soon as you're both unfettered, you'll take a chance and try something. Now, you saw what a shotgun can do at close range. Be stupid, and you will die. Man, let me listen carefully. I need you to find some fluids, okay? Some, some blood serum or some almonds. I need you to set up a drip and I need you to cannulate him. I'll, I'll talk you through it, all right? You'll be fine. It's gonna be okay. Swain, this is Hammers, Lee, sit rep over. Swain, this is Hammers, Lee, sit rep over. Swain, this is Hammersley, sit rep over. Sir, I'm having trouble reaching Swain and Bird for their scheduled check-in. When did they last check in? It was about an hour ago, 13.15. They were offering assistance to a passing vessel that Kalinda was having radio problems. I'll plot a course to their estimated position, sir. Good, X. Nothing's happening here. The coordinates must have been bogus. Bro, keep trying to contact Swain. Sir. And find out anything you can on this Kalinda. Sir. Is there any Hartmans? No. The man's blood pressure is dropping. He needs fluids. I just pay for the stuff. I don't stock the cupboard. No blood serum, no fluids, little in the way of resuscitation equipment. I haven't seen any anaesthetic. It's more like an abattoir than a hospital. And what do you do? Just drug them, kill them, and then harvest their organs? There's a guy in Tokyo in the final stages of renal failure. He probably has a few days to live. There's a little girl in Tel Aviv, her parents sitting by her bedside, watching her slowly die. There's a guy in New York, the head of a major financial institution. You're a despicable human being. Now, you may see me as an angel of death, but others see me as a life giver. The truth is, I am just a businessman, supply and demand. If people weren't prepared to pay, we wouldn't be here. But plenty of people are prepared to pay. Now, the brutal reality is not all men are created equal. Not all lives are worth the same. Yeah, well, none of that is going to save him. Now, you've got all this set up. There must be someone on board with medical training. Of course. Where the hell is he? Now, Dr. Sangster is a valued employee. So keep him alive. Swain. Okay, he's crushing. Uh, I need you to put pressure on his neck. Where am I? Okay, count three. One, two, three. Not too hard. second that I'm going to help you in this. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I am already behind schedule because of a lost shipment. How many innocent people died for that? Listen, some of my customers can wait until we find somebody to take his place, but one can't. The guy in Tokyo is a powerful Yakuza boss. Now, there is already a plane on its way to collect a matching kidney. If that kidney is not delivered on time, the consequences do not bear thinking about. So if you and your little bird Want to stay alive? You gotta do what I say. Killing us is not gonna solve your problem, is it? True. So, uh, I'll just kill her. Slowly and painfully in front of you. Swain, this is Hammersley. Sit rep over. Hammersley, Mike Flynn. 
Mike, Max, we've just had some intel on Berkelman. The Longview was badly damaged in Cyclone Tiago, but he has acquired and refurbished a new vessel, an old wooden cruiser. The Kalinda. How did you know? I was hoping I was wrong. He somehow managed to locate and intercept the CF. I'm missing two crew members who were on board. We're heading for their last known position now. Okay, send us those coordinates. We'll use everything we have here. Keep me informed. I attached the photos. Good. Well, it seems we're in luck. Looks like Dr. Sanks had completed one task before his demise. One of the cargo is a compatible B-negative donor. Well, it seems your moral dilemma is solved, my friend. No one else needs to die today. Go fetch the body. And you better scrub up. You don't want to contaminate the product. Sir, there's uh, evidence here of gunfire. And there's a lot of blood on the deck. Someone's put up a fight here. Hicks. So we've got some dog tags here. They're birds. They're birds. Must have had a tracking device on board. Should have known. Well, don't blame yourself. Let's just find our sailors. Hicks, is there any indication on board as to where the Kalinda might have gone? Over. And that's a negative, sir. Ma'am, there should be a tracking device on board. Uh, it'll be about the size of a mobile phone and it'll be high up on the canopy somewhere. Over. You lied to us. Big mistake. Sit. Sit down. Mr. Putra, I'm going to update you on your situation. Please stop me at any time if you don't understand. And before, we only had circumstantial evidence linking you to the illegal organ trade. Then, as I have no doubt you were aware, the most likely outcome would be you being charged with some immigration offences, spending a short time in prison, and then being deported to your country of residence. Sir, that has changed. This transmitter was found on your vessel. So we now have hard evidence of your involvement. So unless you cooperate fully and tell us where Mr. Berkemon is heading, you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Your wife and children. You'll never see them again. Your children will grow up not knowing their father. So you will be a forgotten man. Will be like you never existed. I don't know, wait a minute. I swear I don't. That is a real shame. Thought you had him. Wait! I will tell you. Please. Why would Berkman go to all the trouble of putting them onto a sieve, then onto his own boat, then a seaplane? But he doesn't. Only the organs go onto the plane. They're harvested on his boat. He's got it all set up. And then the bodies are weighted down and disposed of at sea. Oh, they're butchers. It's horrible. We need to get to that position fast. Tell Ro to get me Navcon. Yes, sir. And Kate. Well done. Okay, let's get started. Oh, I just want to say one more time, okay? I don't have the training for this. Well, then maybe I should just kill you both and hack it out with a chainsaw. Wayne. Are you prepared to give it a go? Sure. Good. Okay. It's not gonna work. Wrong answer. No, 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 they're not viable. The, the kidneys aren't viable. Why? They're not viable. The shotgun blast ended at the back under the rib and spread. They're damaged. They're both damaged. They're not viable. 
I think that's the doctor. Wait, it's no match. Where are they? What? Dog tags. I don't know why. Blood type. Test her. What? Blood type. Do you? No. B negative isn't very common, is it? No. So chances are that I won't. You be. won't be a match. You should talk it too much. This one, yeah. Then what happens? I don't know. If he doesn't need us, why will he keep us alive? No, please don't tell me it's going to be okay. They'll be looking for us. It's just a matter of time. We're running out of time. Basta, basta! Enough talk. Sit down. Quick! Sit down. It's time. O negative. Okay, so that rules me out. What? Tell her. A negative is the only blood type that's compatible with all the others. Universal donor. You're a match. Now, this is where you get to say, not in a million years will you operate on your pretty young friend, and where I once again point out the obvious. You have no choice if you want to live. Put her on the tape. This is insane, okay? This is not an operating theater. There is no anesthetic, there is no ventilator. I am not a doctor. I don't know what I'm doing. There are Wait. books. Books. Sangster was nothing more than a talented GP. These patients were dead. You're getting hung up on the details. As for anesthetic, there's chloroform. Sorry. Será, señorina, para ser. Your choice, sweet dreams. Get an ETA on the plane. Capitano! Not now. It's the plane. The pilot wants to talk to you. You can tell him it's not, it's not a good time. I did, but he insisted. One false move, kill him, but under no circumstances damage her. You're doing very well, my friend. I'll see you in a minute. Please. No. I can't do anything until it's sorted out. What? Her, her bra strap, it's, it's pulling her skin too tight, and, and uh, I need one of you to remove it. <laughs> you remove it. Okay. Time is an issue. Just scrubbing all over again. All right, all right, stop. Stop, I do it. One handed, no problem.
aircraft bearing 190, range 10 nautical miles. It's avoiding its approach, it's turning away. Looks like Berkelman just lost his ride. Get down, get down, face down on the wheel! Get down! Hands behind your back. Look after this. Jessica, Jess, Jess, wake up. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, hey. No, 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 it's not your blood. It's not your blood. It's not your blood. It's OK. It's all right. So Berkelman and his crew are under guard down in Austere and the refugees are being tended to on the boat deck. Very good. And Bird? She's resting comfortably. Swain's going to keep her in the wardroom overnight for observation. I'll stop by and see her in a minute. I'm impressed. She handled the situation very well. Hmm. Anything else? OK. No, that's all. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Good night. Oh, ma'am. Just wanted to say what a good job Abel Seaman Brown's been doing. Just thought as her divisional officer, you should know. Thank you, two dads. Good night. Good night. She asleep? available to the refugees. And, uh, and for you? Yeah, I'm fine. It's her. I'm worried about Swain. I'm fine. Thank you, but I'm fine. OK. If you change your mind. Hammersley will hug the coastline out of visual. Out. Copy that, sir. We're approaching from the east using the morning sun for cover. Thunder out. Australian Navy. Stay seated, thank you, gentlemen. Down, please, sir. Stay seated, please, sir. Australian Navy, you the master of the vessel, sir. Oi, what the hell's going on? Be the master of the vessel, sir. What are you doing on my boat? X. I don't think they're foreign fishing. So what are you doing in these waters? No, I'm just fishing. Which one's that across? Hey, stay back, please, sir. Stand over there, please. Yeah, right. Four deck clear, man. Captain X, over. Go ahead, X. It looks like Coast Watch's intel is incorrect, sir. The craft of interest is not an FFE. So what is she? Australian flagged vessel, the Breakaway 3, with four POB. They claim to be fishing. Over. OK. I'll inform Coast Watch. Apologise for any inconvenience and head back to the ship. Hammersley out. Copy that. They're not fishing. Well, why do you say that? There's no nets, no bait, no blood and guts on the deck. No fish. So you won't mind if we have a look over your vessel? Well, yeah, I do, as a matter Swain. of fact. Excuse me, sir. Look, what are you doing? You've got no right it's to just search routine, my boat. mate. Calm down. X! OK, two dads, Roy, you stay up on deck. Dutchie with me. Excuse me. Stay right there. Come on, it smells pretty rank down here. <gasps> They're grub running. By the looks of it. What do you think it is? Whiskey. Cheap Asian stuff. Do you want to head up top and see if they've got some paperwork for this stuff? Sure. Oh, Swain, get Roy to come down with a video. Yes, ma'am. Once we've got some footage of this stuff, we'll lock the hold down and question the men separately. What is that noise? Rats. Go, do you want to get some footage? No, ma'am. 
Here, let me get this tarp out of the way. Don't! Don't! Drop it. Drop the gun or I'll cut us for it! Drop it. Drop it. Shitty. Drop your guns or I'll slit our throat, I swear I will! Drop them! Put down your gun, right? Dutchie, what are you I doing? I said put it down. Okay. Okay, mate. Open the guns. <laughs> hey, 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 just take it easy. Out of here. Grab the keys to the inflatable. Under this hammer thing, over. Listen to me, Quinn. We can't take it with us. Under this hammer thing. Dump her in the lid with the rest of them. Look, we're holding on to her. Insurance. She's baggage we don't need. We're dead in the water anyway. Just let her go. We can't follow you. Shut up. Get us out of here now. Thunder, this is Hammersley. Radio check. What now, sir? We've got to get around that headlamp bomber. Flat strap. Port 15, Revolutions 2000. See you, boys. Motorola radios. All I can say is there better be a damn good reason for such an almighty stuff up. Um, Sir Tidads and I were up on deck. They just took us by surprise. Not that it's an excuse. You got that right. What happened in the hold? Sir, it I. It was my fault. I let my guard down and he had a machete at my throat before anyone could react. Uh, video's ready, sir. This is their cargo, sir. Whiskey. We suspect they're grog running. Where's the rest of it? Uh, there may be a fault with the equipment. I may have knocked the wire when I went from... Oh, this just gets better and better. One stuff up after another. He had a machete, you both had pistols. Why did you give up your advantage? That was my call, sir. He was threatening to cut the ex's throat. In my judgment, he was prepared to carry it out. I still don't understand how one man with a machete overpowered the three of you. All right. What a bloody mess. I'll contact Navcom, give them the great news. You better hope we get this boat and get our pistols back for all our sakes. Dutchie, why didn't you say anything in there? 
I did. I told the CEO what happened. The guy with the machete didn't see you in that hold. You had the perfect opportunity to take him out. What are you trying to say, Robert? Well, I'm saying that you froze. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, guys, who froze? What? What is going on? Nothing. It's a misunderstanding. Once it's got nothing to do with me, ex. Right, 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 right. No way Dutchy froze. The guy is a war hero. He's got a medal for gallantry, remember? See, Dads, you weren't in the hold. Could just be a campaign medal. Is there a problem, X? I don't know, Dutchie. You tell me. Nara's full of it. He's just trying to take the heat off himself because he stuffed up the video. Yeah, we all stuffed up. And what do you think of my call and that standoff? You think it was right, us laying down our weapons? Dear this, Captain speaking. Based on the grog runners bearing while under our surveillance, we've plotted their prospective course to nearby Port Johnson. Therefore, special sea duty men and cable party close up. Oh, Check out the control state through the condition void. Been a while since Navy's paid us a visit. Good to see you sailors are finally getting better looking. We're looking for a vessel called Breakaway 3. Yeah, she would have docked sometime in the last two hours. Breakaway 3? Nah, haven't seen her. Why the interest? We suspect she's involved in grog run. Port Johnson is a dry community, Captain. There's no alcohol here. As harbour master, I know everything that comes in and out of this port. Excuse me. Oi! You can't bird there! Yeah, right-o. Take Swain and check out the marina. I'll contact local police, and I'll send a group into town on some R&R. &R to suss the place out. For now, let's keep the issue of the stolen weapons to ourselves. This coffee's good. A town with no beer and one of them is spectacular. That's a nice top bomber. Thank you, Tudor. We are meant to be eyeing off the locals, not each other. Judge. Hey, Dutch. Well, I thought you'd like to know I took care of that thing with Bro. Want to. You misunderstand? On the boarding. Look, we all feel lousy about what happened. Rose's way of dealing with it is by shifting the blame to others, so... If it was me, I'd take that medal for gallantry of yours and shove it in his face. I'd like to see him win one of those, eh? Tell me that's ever gonna happen. Let's fix up the bill. Hey, what's the damage? Uh, it's 27.80. Steady. Yes. Ah, that's all right. Keep the chain. I reckon we split up. We'll cover more of the town that way, yeah? Yeah, sounds like a plan if we see a familiar face. Yeah, I'll take the south. I'll head north. Uh, waters to the east, that leaves the west. We can team up if you like. Yeah, sure. Uh, what? Four eyes are better than two, aren't they? Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Checking in, Charge. Excellent. You find any evidence of those grog runners? Nothing. No. Well, where's Dutchie? Can he come back with you guys? No. Probably still searching the town. At night. Alone. There, Shani. Oh, no, Lock him up with guns, Dad. You're a drunken idiot. Yeah, I'll take Come care on. of him until he sobers up. He'll be crawling back to you in the morning, though. Begging you to forgive him, won't you, Sunbeam? Thought this was a dry town. Yeah, who are you? I'm with the Navy. Right. Well, the reality is there's always one or two around here that like a bit of homebrew, you know what I mean? Hey, need a 
drink? Latte, cappuccino, macchiato. Whiskey. Mate, this is a dry community. There's no whiskey here. I'll see what I can do. I'll just be a minute. I'm going to the shops. Be home in bed, Navy boy. Be quick about it, Taylor. We haven't got all night. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Problem, then? I'm just trying to finish this report on today's boarding. Well, I've already given you my account. It was pretty dark in that whole row. I'm surprised that your account is so vivid. What was that? Dutchie. Looks like someone found the home brew the CO was talking about. Okay, go grab charge, get him back on board ASAP. Ma'am. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Turn around. That's it. <sighs> Don't think home brew had anything to do with this. stitches, but these bruises are concerning. How are the ribs? Oh, fine. What was your plan? Take these guys on single-handed? Uh, I didn't expect to hit Paydad, boss. I was, thought I could follow the cafe owner and he'd lead me to a middleman that I could press for information. According to charge, you were meant to phone it in if you discovered anything related to these grog runners. I'll call the local cop, Sergeant Booker. No sign of a grog shop. No one in the area has seen or heard anything. What about this cafe owner? He reckons the young man here was after a prostitute. You tell him to get lost. It's a load of rubbish. <laughs> I'm not saying I believe him, but your word against his. We need to find the men responsible, Sergeant. Yeah, I want to find him too, Captain. Sly grog's a big problem around here. It's not just about the sly grog. These men have also stolen weapons. What do you mean? What kind of weapons? Where'd they get them from? From us. Five nine millimeter Brownings. Why didn't you tell me this yesterday? I was hoping we could take care of it ourselves. It's not really something I want made public. Five loaded handguns, not really something I want in my town. I understand and I apologise. I should have been up front with you. But now you realise how important it is that we find these grog runners. Well, I'll do what I can. You say you got a video that can identify him? Dutch, you'll bring it back for you.
Dutchy, last night, were you trying to redeem yourself or were you genuinely looking for a drink? Huh? I watched the tape of the boarding again. Something was going on with you. What was it? I don't know what you're talking about. Aro was right. You had a chance to take the guy with the machete out and that is an opportunity you would normally not pass up. Oh, what are you trying to say, X? Did I let him attack you? No. I know that your boarding officer was killed in the Gulf. What does that have to do with anything? If you have any residual issues from that incident... I was counselled You need that. to get some help. No! I have been passed fully fit for duty. Now, if you've got a problem with that, write it up in a report. Excuse me. Need to speak with the owner. Are you around? Terry? Uh, no, he went to Darwin this morning. Darwin? Yeah. For a holiday? Crick my neck. You're lucky I didn't break it. So how do I really know you're an undercover fed? Well, if I wasn't, you'd be dead. Mate, you got off lightly last night. I pulled all my punches. Really? Didn't feel like it. Well, how come you got away so easily? I distracted him, not you. Just like I made sure that officer chick of yours didn't get dragged into it on the boat. So where's all this stuff headed? Around these islands or what? No, the island trade's chicken feed. This operation is worth millions. It's got links to organised crime here and in Southeast Asia. Most of this stuff is headed south, Sydney, Melbourne. Well, you got the grog, you got the players, why not pounce? <laughs> we don't have all the players. Quinn and the boys are working for someone this end, but I don't know who, and we don't have all the Asian connections yet. So what's the next move? <laughs> for you to stay the hell out of the way. No. I'm sorry, mate, I can't do that. I've got to get our guns back. Get your guns. I am this close to smashing an international racket in black market booze. The last thing I need is Navy sticking their big ships in. Quinn! Hey, what are you doing? Dutchie, Sueno? Clean linen. I was just um, delivering your linen, so I know and I, uh, I was busting to go, so. You finished? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you going to flush? No. Nah, there's water restrictions, so If it's yellow, let it mellow. Make our own water, you goose. <laughs> hey, uh, by the way, Charles wants you to check those fuses up on one deck if you can. Thank you. 
Good luck, boss. Been around every one of these boats. They're all happy for us to come on board for a look. Yeah, there's no case of legal alcohol on any of these vessels. Or our guns and radios. What do we do now? Not much we can do. We return to base, face the music. Sir, I need to speak with you. What is it? Excuse me, Captain. Got some uh, news on that breakaway three you're all looking for. You found her? Nah, but old Gus who runs a port up in Narambi reckons he's just spotted her heading out to sea. OK, Maxine, thank you. Now, Navcom will speak to the federal police, see if they can confirm an agent on this case. He said he was close to making arrest, boss. And what about our guns? He said to forget about the guns. He doesn't want the Navy getting involved. No way. Until we confirm this Fed, we stay on the breakaway three. Retrieving our weapons is just as important as stopping an illegal grog trade. And this gung-ho act's not going to wash Petty Officer Mulholland. Going off without telling me or the ex or anyone else on board the ship, Two breaches of procedure in two days. Is this going to become a recurring problem? No, sir. Happens the third time, you'll be up before a captain's table on charges. Understood? Yes, sir. That's all. Excuse me, sir. Um, Coast Watcher spotted a vessel matching the description of the Grog Runners boat. Thank you. Set course for it, X? Yes, sir. Above decks, we're going below. Copy that, X. Use caution now. Okay, bomber, two days you stay up here. Head below. Okay, you be alert. Let's go. It smells even worse down here. Abandoned. When did you speak to him? This morning. Any witnesses to this? No, but uh, the main guy, Quinn, showed up, but I'm sure he didn't see me. Well, the warehouse is empty. Looks like they used the breakaway three to draw you out of port while they cleared it. Why weren't the feds watching it? Don't know. Wasn't informed about this operation myself until last night. Seems this fed was trying to ID the boss of the grog syndicate before he called his buddies in. I did get a quick look at the body, though. Shot once to the chest. Small caliber weapon. You carry nine millimeters on board? Why? You say you wrestled this guy? Before I knew he was a fed, yeah. He's saying I shot him. I'm saying you're pretty angry about copping a beating. <laughs> OK. Just can't discount the possibility that he was shot with one of your stolen weapons. Not planning on steaming home any time soon, are you, Captain? We'll be here as long as we need to be, Sergeant. Well, this is all we need. If that fed was shot with one of our guns, we can kiss all our careers goodbye. Thank you. How'd you get it? That you linked it to me? Yeah, well, it doesn't prove anything. Oh, this is a medal for gallantry. It's not some campaign medal. Yeah, I know. I looked up his citation on the internet yesterday. Medal or not, it doesn't change the fact that he hung the X out to dry. Oh, whatever. I didn't steal it, I swear. 
Good luck. I was just trying to prove to Roe that you're not a coward. I don't know what's going on with you, but you just left the boat again without asking permission. What's it to you? I'm your divisional officer. It's my job to know what's going on with my sailors. Look, I'm just trying to understand you. I'm not big a mystery, am I? You are overprotective of me, and you have been on boardings ever since you stepped foot on Hammersley, but in day-to-day -day running at the ship, you avoid me like the plague. I don't get that. There's nothing to get. Do you really hate me that much? No. You've just, you got it all wrong, OK? Oh, have I? What do you want me to say to you, Vex, that I'm sorry? No, I don't want your apology. Well, what do you want? I want you to trust me. It's not you I don't trust, OK? Well, why don't you trust yourself? It's a truck. It's a truck. It's a crock runner's truck. Damn it. doing? It's going to be gone in 10 seconds. Well, call the police. There's no time for that. Dutchie, you heard the CEO. If you go off again, he's going to have you up on charges. What are we going to do? Just let him get away? I'm just going to call the ship. Damn it, there's no signal. Look, we know the boat's here. Let's just ride back to the harbour and get some backup. No, she's going to sail. Dutchie! Do you want to see the CO kicked out of the Navy? No. Because that's what's going to happen if we don't get our guns back. It's all my fault, but he's the one that's going to pay the ultimate price. Oh, what are you going to do? Just disable the engine. You might be able to do me a favour. I'll double it. You know the big Navy ship in the marina? Yeah. I need you to go there and find the captain. You tell him that Kate has found the boat that we're looking for on this side of the inlet. Yeah, the boat's name is the Mercure. It's really important. Do you think you can remember all of that? Yeah. OK, yeah. go, go. Kids, sir, they saw the boat leave about 20 minutes ago heading north. One of them saw the blonde lady being taken on board. Swain, pursue them and keep me posted. Over. Copy that, boss. Bird, maintain radar watch. The McCure's out there, just waiting for us to grab her. Port 15, revolutions 2000. dragged you into this. It's not your fault. I made my own choice. Yeah. So trust me. I tried to keep you safe. 
I just didn't do a very good job of it. If I was quicker, I was smarter, if I anticipated the danger. You couldn't have anticipated this. Instead, the border gets his throat cut. Bleeds out in a stinking, rat-infested hull. We're talking about the golf. And I score a medal for it. Bloody ironic is that. I've read the report. You were saving the lives of six sailors. The boarding officer's death, it wasn't your fault. I was his buffer. Second in command. I should have been by his side protecting him. Is that why you're always protecting me? And why you can hardly talk to me? Have you been that petrified of it happening again? It did happen again. I froze. It almost cost you your life. Duchy, it was a split second, that is all. Sir, contact on the radar. What are its coordinates? On a bearing of 355, range 13 miles. Try and raise them on VHF, Ro. Sir. Swain, we have an unidentified vessel bearing 355, range 13 miles. Intercept and report back. Over. Copy that, boss. Let's close the distance. Port 15, steer 355, revolutions 2000. Vessel in position, 11 degrees south, 134 degrees east. This is Australian warship calling you on VHF channel 16. Request you identify yourself, over. Keep trying, Ro. Boss, we've just arrived at an estuary called Edwards Cove. Uh, suspect vessel still not sighted, over. Copy that, Swain. Vessel in position 11 degrees south, 134 degrees east. This is Australian warship calling you on VHF 16. Stop or heave to, we intend to board you. Over. Thunder, this is Hammersley. How close are you? Over. 500 yards, sir. I can make out the ship's name. Confirm it's the Mercure. Snatch border, Swain. Down. Drop your weapon! Down. Drop, your weapon. Down. Drop your weapon! Down on the ground! Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! Put it down! Look to the back of the boat! Mama! Check the hole! Look yep. to the back of the boat! Hands in the head! Get down now! Hands to the head! All right, mate, you're going. Strong sport, mate. Try rugby. Drop it. Drop it now! Come here. No one below decks, and the hold's full of whiskey. No sign of the eggs or duchy. Now it's something that belongs to us. Swain, this is Hammersley. Any sign of the eggs or duchy? Hey, boss, they're not on board. We have found our Brownings and radios. The grog runners say they don't know anything about where duchy and Kate are, but they also claim not to have been involved in the Fed's murder. And the only weapons we've found are three shotguns and our Brownings. Ammo's accounted for. They're not missing any ammo. Well, at least they weren't used in killing the Fed. So where are they? Feel something. What? It's like a kink in the rope. Can you just bend your wrist back a bit further? <sighs> Sorry, I know it hurts. Just if you get. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's it. That's it. Just a bit more. Oh. 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 Got it. <sighs> you okay? Are you okay? a couple of miles. We might as well be a hundred. There's no way that I can swim that. Well, we can't just sit here and wait for them to pick us off. Dutchie, I won't make it. 
All right. As soon as I reach land, I'll raise the alarm. Swimming for land. How long ago? Well, not long. We can pick him up on the way back in. I don't need him. Just one of you'll do. What are you doing? Get in the boat. I said get in the boat. No, it all makes sense now. You're part of this. You're the head of the syndicate. Just get in the boat. No. You know, you're making a mistake, Sergeant, because of Hammersley know about the McCure. Yeah, I know. My boys radioed me before they got boarded. Now, you're going to radio your captain, and we're going to negotiate a little trade. Oh, well, he won't go for it. I think he will, if he wants you alive. Now, for the last time, get in the boat. You murdered the federal police officer, didn't you? Yeah, you said that you heard about the operation the night before he was murdered. Just shut up. Is it really worth killing people over some grog? Grog's just the tip of the iceberg, sweetheart. Let's get in the boat. No, I'm not getting in the boat, and I will not. Oh. No? Well, then maybe I'll just shoot you now and then go and fish your mate out, hey? Booker! Dutchie! Dutchie! Adrian Twain. Nothing yet, boss. We'll be running out of coastline too. Hang on. Yeah, boss, we've sighted them. Well done, Swain. Dutchie. Right, Sergeant. Okay? Yep, all good here. How's he? Oh, he'll live. You need to sign down here. Down here. Feeling better, X? Uh, quite possibly the best hot shower I've ever had, thanks, Bird. <laughs> I hear we had a win all round. We caught up with the grog runners, but more importantly, we got our guns and radios back. And Swain said that all of the ammo's been accounted for. Yeah. Where's Dutchie? Uh, writing his report, I think. X? We're going to have to organise a captain's table. I meant what I said. The fact that he drew you into this situation only made it worse. Pursuing the truck was my call, not his. Will you let me handle Dutchie? I honestly don't believe that charges are warranted in this instance or in anyone's best interests. Okay. You're his divisional officer. Thank you. Got something to say, Robert? No, ma'am. Good. <laughs> Dutchie, you weren't responsible for what happened in the Gulf. You saved the lives of six sailors on that boarding. I know that. And yesterday you saved my life. I made two dads go for a swim. You earned that. Never forget it. So now maybe you'll talk to me a bit more every now and then, eh? X. Thanks. All right, everyone, we're about 20 minutes behind schedule. Let's go. Row, don't go aboard empty handed. There's plenty of supplies that need to be loaded on. What is all of this? We've been deployed to the Gulf of Carpentaria to assist with the floods up there. Floods? Yeah, it's all over the news. Road and rail have been knocked out and some areas are only accessible by sea. Do you not watch TV? No. Mind rotting nonsense. All right. I'll grab a load. So they tell him to leave and it ends up being just me and these three gorgeous women. As if to that. Hey, Robert. How was your show leave? 
We've just been hearing all about two dads' adventures. I spend my time reading. That sounds like an absolute cracker, Ro. Uh, at least I wasn't hallucinating. <laughs> Oi, you blokes, snap yak. Come on, help me with the Jenny. You can do that too, dads. I've got to get to comp sent. Lazy slacker. Yeah, pop needs a kettle. Okay, so what I said about that. Sir. X. How's Jarvis Bay? Well, the course went well. Oh, anyone interesting in the group? A couple of bright up and comers. Oh, I'm sure they appreciated your wealth of knowledge, sir. Well, I've just come from Commander White's office. We're to steam through the night for Corumba. Very good. Thank you. Salary, probably. Right, it's Port 10. Port 10? Steer 175. Steer 175. We're making reasonable speed. We should be in Kurumba by. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is motor vessel Takula in position 16 decimal. 31 south, 130 decimal, 50 east. MV Takula, this is Australian warship Hammersley. What is the nature of your Mayday over? What is it? Uh, Mayday, sir. Brief me while I get dressed. There's a motor vessel carrying evacuees from the flood region. They've been rammed by another vessel and they're going down fast. There's uh, ten people on board and uh, we are the closest asset. OK. Set course to intercept. Top speed. What's our ETA? First light. Not much time, then. Vessel has gone down. We have ten people in the water. Recovery party to boat deck. Stand by, bomber and two dads in swimmer recovery. <laughs> How you going there, bomber? Good to go here. Okay, stand by. Heave in on the recovery line. Hand over hand. Put your back into it, rope. Where are your gloves? Uh... Okay, here we go, bomber. Stand by to bring him on board, charge. Roger. Yeah! Watch yeah! out, bomber. Yeah! When did their vessel go down? About an hour after the skipper made aid. Any idea who rammed him? Well, he said it was a boatload of cows. Cows? Yeah, apparently they heard mooing. The vessel's name was Olympus. Could have been a cattle barge. Well, that's a common practice up here in the wet. 
They often can't move the cattle by road, so they use barges to do it. But they're not designed to use at night. They must have realised that they'd hit another vessel. Why didn't they stop and help? I'll let NAVCOM know, see if they can shed some light. Bro, a word in my cabin, now! You let the team down this morning, I want an explanation. Yes, sir. I had my appendix out when I was on shore leave. The doctor said that I shouldn't do any heavy lifting for four to six weeks. Well, as it turns out, she was absolutely right. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, ma'am, I made the decision to keep it to myself because I didn't want to get left behind. You put yourself above the needs of the crew. You're not a team player, right? Sir, with respect, I strongly disagree. I believe I'm the ultimate team player. By isolating yourself from your colleagues and not letting anyone know of your situation, you put a man's life at risk. If it wasn't for Dutchie, the guy would have drowned. Not to mention Bomber. I just wanted to do my job, sir. Well, from now, you're on light duties. And be thankful you're not off the ship. Dismissed. You sure you weren't a little hard on him, then? No, he has to learn to be a team player. He just wants to be here. It's amazing what people will give up to be on this ship. Ara thinks that he's indispensable. Not unlike you. CO request to bridge. Sorry, you were saying? It's Commander White for you, boss. Maxine, thanks for getting back to me. Mike, we've traced your hit-and-run vessel. The Olympus is a cattle barge, all right? However... It was reported hijacked yesterday. Cattle rustlers on the sea. That's right. Tough times correlate with an increase in theft. Although it seems these cowboys are rustling the cattle to sell the beef. Well, do you want us to try and track them down? Yeah, Coastwatch reported the barge ashore, so I've sent a signal through to your RO with a coordinate. So I just want you to check it out before you drop off supplies. OK, we're plotting a course now. I'll keep you informed. Ro, back off. Ro! Who oh, left no. a brew on the console? I am so sorry, Charge. It was you mine. You never leave a brew on the Marine Link console. What have we got, Charge? Well, there's a couple of systems shorted, sir. Two dads bridge, two dads bridge. You are going to have to do tech rounds until two dads can fix it. Oh, what are tech rounds? You go through the ship at the end of every watch and manually check and record all the gauges. OK, it's the least I can do. Where are the gauges? Go and find them. Come on, hurry up, Bomber. Some of us missed breakfast and we're starving. And whose fault was that, Robert? Is everything my fault now, is it? Wasn't it your fault the Marine Link shorted out? Even though I heard that you let young Bird here cop the flag Excuse for it. me? You bumped into me and you didn't even realise. Welcome to Planet Robert, Bird. And what are you insinuating? Shore party closed up. We've spotted the hijacked barge abandoned on the tidal flats. Shore party closed up. That's toasty. Where are you going? I'm on shore party. Oh, you're on light duties, right? We need a team player. Bird, do you want on? Yes. Well, go get the OK from the boss first, and then meet us in the boarding party room. Get up. Sweet. Did you see that? I'm being ostracised. Well, maybe if you were less self-absorbed and thought more about others, it wouldn't happen. What do you mean? Well, be more like Dutchie. See how he looks out for Bird? It's not all about you. Thanks. We're offloaded here for sure. And then herded that way, probably onto a road transport. Yeah, Swain and I'll check out the barge. Dutchie, take two dads and bird. I reckon the direction of those tracks. Ma'am. Stink. Australian Navy! Hello! Hey, ma'am, what's your. Oh. Come, Pat. It's wet, it's fresh. Australian Navy! Hello! Hey, 
coming! Oh! <laughs> yeah, you're funny. <laughs> Good reflexes, Bird. We'll make a Navy chick out of you yet. Two dads. You peg anything at anyone again, you'll regret it. Well, I gave a fair warning. Get up in front where I can see you. Come on, we're on patrol, mate. We need to stay focused. Long gone. Dutchie? Dutchie! Someone's there. Because you got no idea how to move a cow, you sick slicker. But there's an act to it. It sure is. Come here. <laughs> Two dads, meet us back at the rib. What about the rustlers? No, he found tire tracks up ahead. They're long gone. The crew of the Olympus were unhurt and they've been able to give us a good description of the rustlers. The local police will follow it up. Our orders are to move on to Karumba. I'll call ahead to the Harbour Master and update him with our ETA. Two, three, four, and I've performed an intricate hucker's blocking manoeuvre. Boom! So, Dutchie, if you're not a city slicker, where are you from? Ah, I grew up in a cattle farm, Hunter Valley. That's why he's got so much horse sense. <laughs> He's full of it. Right. We're getting serious here. Ooh. Heads up. All right, so your parents are wealthy property owners? Uh, they were until the business went under. What happened? Well, drought set in. We had to sell up. Oh, oh no! That's the yeah. Yeah. You are a cut! Oh. Put him yeah. there! Yeah. Mate, you're a class act. You may have lost your inheritance, but you want to get all back here tonight. Wait, now, may I remind you that no game is over until it's over. That's yeah. right. It can all change with a roll of a dice. That's so... right. And I happen to be on record for making remarkable comebacks against all odds, yeah? I'll give it your best shot, buddy. How about you, Dutchie? Sounds to me like a pair of losers to me. Come on. Come on. Ah! Oh! <laughs> it rail fell off the table. Oh! <laughs> Let's roll it again. <laughs> Did you just defecate? No. So who won? Well, if you'd stuck around, you could have found out. Or maybe even taken on the champion. Yeah, well, the only board game worth playing is chess. Mm. And I bet you play against the computer, huh, Ro? <gasps> oh, gross. Is that a cow, Pat? Bird. Food stuff, they can go straight up to area A. And row, you could probably give her a hand. Most of it's fairly light. Like your duty slacker. Huh. Two dads. You're on the Jenny. Area C. Get moving. Hey Bird. Uh, about that Marine Link incident yesterday. I, I really didn't realise that that was my fault, so I'll make it up to you. I could I could do your tech runs if you want. Don't sweat it, Row. It's an opportunity for me to learn. Jess! How the hell are you? I've been looking all over Melbourne for you, and here you are. Can you keep moving, please? I can't hold this all day, bird. No, I, I can't go up there. What? I can't go up Jess. there. It's me, Daryl. What's going on? I can't go up there. OK. Leave it with me. I'll sort him out. No. Can no. I help you? It's just a new boyfriend. No, it doesn't matter who I am. You back off, or I'm going to have to back you off. Are you kidding? I'm getting serious here. Heads up. Ow! Ah! Oh. Mm. Ah. Oh. What do you think you're doing? 
Did uh, I ask you to get involved? Oh, I'm glad I didn't tell him to give it his best shot. Ow! No, this is uh, none of your business. You've just made everything worse. Yeah? Sir, they've uh, finished unloading the stores. Great, thanks. Now, tomorrow we need to set up housing. I was going to suggest that we give the crew a night ashore. Good idea. Make it so. And I'll organise a duty watch. I think you and I should go out for a drink. We need to talk. OK. I know a quiet bar. Uh, they're playing the guitar. <laughs> hey! Hey! Come and join us. Best bar in Karumba. Can we make an excuse? I don't think we have a choice. Do you prefer a wine X? Uh, why would it be good? Thanks, Bomber. There you go. Love you. Thank you, Dutchy. Bro, why are you being all weird over here by yourself? What happened to your nose? Just trying to be more like Dutchy. It didn't work. I know that I'm emotionally deficient, that I'm an outsider. Or... What am I supposed to do? Bro, you've completely misinterpreted what I said. You don't have to be dutchy, just be yourself. Well, you know, a more people-friendly version of yourself. <laughs> Come on, no more aloof. Thanks. Come join the party. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Sorry, Serena, I'm just a bit jumpy. Why? Tired. I get jumpy when I'm tired. Well, it's gone 2300. Why don't you turn it? Is Bomber back? Uh, no. no, it's still ashore. Must be having a good time. Yeah, I've still got to do tech rounds before I can hit the rack. It's too late still not fix those fuses. Too big on. Be happy to know that two dads is going to be okay. I'm, I'm so sorry, X. I, I didn't mean to injure him, honestly. Oh, so you hit him with a torch? I didn't know that it was him. Okay, Bird. I am curious. Who did you intend to beat senseless then? I thought it was Daryl. Daryl. My ex-boyfriend. I, I saw him on the dock today, and I thought he'd come aboard and was stalking me. Um, and why would he do that? After we started going out, he um, got into ice. You know, drugs. It really messed him up. He became violent and unpredictable. I couldn't handle it, so I told him that it was over, but he, he, he wouldn't accept it. He wouldn't leave me alone. That's why I joined the Gap Year. To get away from him. And 
Now he's found me. Okay. You know what? Nobody's gonna hurt you, so you don't have to worry. If he bothers you again, you tell him that the relationship is over and that you will take action if he doesn't stop harassing you, okay? What if he doesn't take no for an answer? Oh, you don't let him control the situation. You tell him how it's going to be. Yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah, you can. I can come with you if you like. No. Thank you, but um, I can handle it. Good. Right, you let me know what happens? Yeah. Thank you. Two dads has got a hard head, apparently. Mm, seems that way. Maybe he'll think twice before he plays any more of his stupid practical jokes. Oh, happens on every ship, ma'am. Sailors love practical jokes. Maybe, but I don't intend to indulge them. And listen, I was wondering if you could do me a favour. Keep an eye on Bert. Yeah, there's a problem with an ex-boyfriend here in Corumba. Mm, I figured as much. Yeah, I think it's important that she deals with it herself. OK, I won't intervene unless necessary. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I mean, a super-sized brewer is going everywhere, ma'am. How's your head? Not too bad. Well, that's good. When you're finished there, I'll get you to mop out the laundry in each of the messes, and then you can report to Dutch here on the boat deck for flood relief detail. I guess I deserved it, ma'am. Be grateful that I didn't cancel your leave. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Two dads. You are an adult and a skilled professional. Try to behave like one in the future and give an example to our gap girl, huh? I will, ma'am. Good. Okay. We're going to be allocating people to various aid task groups today, so listen up. Swain, Bomber, you're assisting with the medical inoculations against dengue fever in Area B. Two dads. You're going to help charge rig the generators, Area C. Oh, Dutch, are these generators stable to my butt? They can be if you don't move it. Bird? You're on rebuilding and sandbagging detail with me. Judgey, um, you haven't assigned me a detail. You're on light duties, bro. Hydration detail. Ah! <laughs> what a boy! <laughs> Shouldn't be too long, and once we're finished, you'll be out of your hair. No worries, thanks for all your help, eh? You've been great. Thank you. All sorted. Harbour Master's happy for us to remain alongside until we've finished our details. Very good. Might be an opportunity for us to grab a coffee. No, thanks. Is there a problem? You know there is. Can't we just have a coffee? I know what I want. Do you know what you want? Yes. Coffee. Mike, I'm 35 years old. I want to resolve the direction of my life. I, I need to decide whether I'm going to move forward with my career and push to become a CEO, or whether I'm going for marriage and children and a short posting. Either way, it's decision time. Well, it's a weird time to spring this. Well, you said the situation is only going to last for a few weeks. It's been months, and there's no sign of anything changing. They haven't found a replacement. I know that you want to stay on as CEO of Hammersley, and that is perfectly understandable. I just wanted you to know how I feel. Enjoy your coffee. This relationship is over. I don't want to see you or speak to you ever again. I've really missed you, you know. Are you even listening to me? Just because you found me, it doesn't mean I'm going to change my mind, OK? You need to leave me alone or I'll get a restraining order. You don't need to threaten me, sweetie. But you think I followed you up here? I happen to spot you by pure chance. I'm up here on business. It's very lucrative and I'd like you to be part of it. What kind of business would you be involved in? Something dodgy. Yes. Water? Thanks, Ro. 
Is that Daryl? Yep. Doesn't matter. I'm not interested. And nothing you say or do can change that. I've been watching you. I've been close enough to touch you and you didn't even know it. You need protecting from this water bottle. No, I don't. Bird doesn't want us to get involved. Let go of me. Let go of me. Let go of me. Back off. Back off and walk away. See you, Jess. I'll be thinking of you. We'll talk. You're right. Thanks. Come give me a hand. Oh, uh, X. Have you got a minute? Yeah. And Dutch, you said you spoke to Daryl. How'd you go? Yeah, I said what I wanted to say. Good. X, there's something else. I think Daryl might be involved in the cattle rustling. Now, what makes you think that? It's just he said that he'd been watching me. I know this might sound paranoid, but, but back when we rescued that calf, I had this feeling like someone was there. Bert, I'm not doubting what you're saying, but unfortunately, a feeling, that's not evidence of something. He had mud in his boots, like the mud from the tidal flats. But we're in a flood region and practically everybody has mud on their boots. Yeah, right. It's just obvious that Daryl is still using drugs and he's got to be getting the money from somewhere. Does he have a regular job? No, he's too erratic to hold down a real job. Okay. I'm going to pass his name on to the local police. In the meantime, some homework. X, NAVCOM have tasked us to track down those rustlers. Would you plot us a search area within a 50 mile radius of Karumba, please? Of course, sir. Marine Link up and running, Charge? Working perfectly, sir. Good work, Tudas. No more tech rounds. Yes, because no more bruise on the Marine Link. Actually, uh, uh, that was my fault. Don't mumble, Robert. You're saying it was your fault. Too little, too late, I'm afraid. Sir, can I have a word with you, please? What is it, bro? I've been thinking about what you said about being a team player. Sometimes I find it difficult to anticipate what people might be feeling and thinking. Well, you're not alone there, right? Believe me, we're all guilty of that at some time or other. My point is that I would like an opportunity to prove that I'm doing my best. I'm glad to hear that. We'll see. How's the stomach? Yeah, it's much better. Great. Oh, still a little tender. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is motor vessel Malu Trojan in position 16 decimal 25 south, 23 decimal 49 east. It's got to be just north of us, X. Have it on radar here, sir. Malu Trojan, this is Australian warship Hammersley. What's the nature of your mayday? Over. We are under attack. A group of hostiles in a runabout. They're armed and calling on us to heave to, or they'll fire upon us. What cargo are you carrying? Over. We have a full load of cattle. Steer three five five. Revolutions two zero 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 five. Revolutions two zero zero zero. Malu Trojan, this is Australian warship Hammersley. We're on our way. Sir, we've got visual. I'm betting once they spot us, they'll turn tail and run. X, let's get a rib in the water ready for pursuit. Boarding pilots, close up. Hands to boarding stations, hands. Mission to be part of the rib crew, sir. How's he nice? Uh, yeah, it's, it's much better. Pete. OK. Bowman only. Thank you, sir. Sir, I think they've seen us. Maintain present course and speed. Follow them, Chad? Yep. X, the runabout is headed northeast in towards the shore. We'll try and track them on radar and vector you onto their position. Over.
X, we tracked them to about half a mile north of your position. Then they disappeared, over. Well, they may have gone ashore, so we'll keep looking for them. Search the area and see if we can locate them. Roger that, X. Take care. OK, everyone, I want you to spread out, but stay in visual contact with each other. Ro, stay with the rib. Let's go. Broken rank sex. Just shut up and give me a hand, will you? Right away, ma'am. What are you doing? Hold still. Ah! 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 Is that really necessary? Sorry. You put me down. It's the only way to deal with a situation like this. Put me down. You're welcome. Okay. The wrestlers are that way. What the hell is R.O. doing? Stand by a minute, X. Ro, why are you returning to the ship? Over. You better have a damn good reason. Ro, why have you left the shore party? Over. He's indicating that he's got radio problems, sir. Radio problems? What the...? All right, send Bird down to the boat deck with a replacement and tell him to get over there as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Bird! Take this. Give it to Robert at the moment. X, are you able to safely take these rustlers? I think we can, sir. Bogged up to their armpits. OK, do it. Be careful. Copy that. Let's go. Get 
you love me, don't you? I've come to get you. No. You've always belonged to me. Daryl, you were tragically deluded. I, I've told you I'm not interested. No, 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 no. No, no, you're just brainwashed by this Navy crap. You'll get over it. Daryl! Let go of me! Why? Wanna be with me? I'll get clean. <laughs> Sir, we've got a problem. What is it, Chuck? Well, if that's RO now, then who the hell came aboard before from the rib? Get Bird on the radio. Find out what's going on. Bird Bridge, over. Bird Bridge, over. on his way in the second rib to pick you up. Over. Roger that, sir. Selflessness and concern for a team member. Well done. Thanks, sir. Awesome effort, Ro. You're a hero, Ro. <laughs> Robert, thank you for what you did today. You're amazing. Uh, look, I'm glad I could be of assistance. Uh, Daryl won't be bothering you. Have a good time. Come back refreshed. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> 
The guy's the salesman. Rose seems to have made some friends. Team player after all. Kate. Yeah? I've thought about what you said. I guess Rose might be the only one who's been a bit self-absorbed. I know that you're not ready to give up Hammersley just yet, and I can see how important it is to you. So what do we do? Be professional, as always. And marriage? Kids? Well, it does take two, you know. You enjoy your shore leave. Jeez, I said. See ya. See ya. X. There's this cool bar up over the marina. I was gonna go grab a drink. Oh. Right, come on. Absolutely. Bigger boat. Oh, no, no, no. The small operations are the best. You get personalised attention, it's going to be ace. Yeah. Good dog. Hello. <laughs> Swedish. You booked this boat because it's popular with Swedish backpackers. Mate, do you really think I'd be that shallow? Oh, please, ask me a hard one. Uh, Cost of Meyer and Thorpe, right? <laughs> yep. G'day, I'm Harry. I'm the skipper here at the Blue Edge Dive. This is Jack. He'll be your dive master today. I'll get things underway. Thanks, Harry. Uh, certified divers? Yep, yep, yep. Big buddy here just got his ticket. It's gonna be his first reef dive. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Uh, truth is, um, I'm not feeling too good. What, since when? Since I got up this morning. What's wrong with you? I think... I think I'm getting a cold. Mate, come on. You look fine. This is what you did the course for. Yeah, I know, but I can't help it if I'm crook, hey? You can't equalise, you can't dive. That's right, can't equalise. Judge, can't come dive. On. We're diving buddies, oh, we're a team. Sorry, but I, I don't think I can do this. All right, well, we've got a few uh, singles left I can pair you up with. Anderson? Yeah? Found your buddy? <laughs> yeah. You're right, Judge. If you're feeling a bit crook, then you better play it safe. Yeah. You have a good time. Yeah. I'll try to do my best. We'll meet you here when you get back. Hi, uh, uh, Leo. I'm Leo. Elke. Uh, Elke? Mm, yeah. Uh, Sveria? Uh, Jag är Sveria. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Good fun diving, yeah? Yeah? It's going to be How Aren't you going scuba diving with two dads? Yeah, but I had to pull out because I've got a cold. Oh, oh that's such a shame. You've been so looking forward to that. Yeah, but <laughs> got a cold. Yeah. Poor Chad. Hey, you are you're back already. He's sick. What's wrong? I have got a cold. Okay, that's all. Can't dive when you got a cold. They're heading spots. I refuse. Oh, that, that is a man cold. <laughs> What's a man cold? Sometimes when the male of the species hasn't had enough attention. <sighs> just went back to the boat. Yeah, just went back to the boat. It just went back to the boat. Bit of, a bit of a lie down. Yeah. Yeah, feeling a lot better. Feeling a lot better. Can't tell you how disappointed I am. Time to go and hear about the wonders of the deep. See you later. Wait. See ya. Have a good evening. Excuse me, fellas. Where's my mate? Leo Kossov Meyer? Oh, you must have missed him. No, I've been here since your dog. You sure? Of course I'm sure. Now, where is he? Hey, there. That's his bag.
You've left him out there. Sir, I didn't stop to think that we'd be crash sailed. I understand, Charge. We'll pick you up at the search area in a little over an hour. Sir, we've alerted the water police and the uh, local dive operators in the, the vicinity, but we haven't heard anything. No, nothing our end either. We're coordinating this operation with Coast Watch. They should have a plane in the area about now. <sighs> should have been with him. Don't go there, Charge. We'll find him. Keep in touch. Sir. This thing go any faster? No, we're flat chat. What about the, uh, what about his diving buddy, the girl? Anderson. I don't remember seeing her get off. You, you forget her too? She's marked off. So was my mate. Look, we call everyone's name. If someone answers, they get ticked off. Yeah, probably not a great system when your passengers don't speak English. Charge to Hammersley, over. Go ahead, Charge. It's possible we're searching for two divers left at the site. Your dad's diving buddy was a Swedish girl named Elke Anderson. Over. Roger that charge. We'll inform Coast Watch and the relevant authorities. Hammersley out. They left two divers. These guys should not be allowed on the water. Got your boat too? Yep. You call someone. Get it out of here. No, she's in for repairs. Look, she'll be out as soon as she's ready to go. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to find him. Well, we won't be going back until we do. standing right here this morning, laughing and joking. Bird. You know, it's like one of his practical jokes gone wrong. Bird. You know, I even made a comment in your comment book. Look, Stop it. Up. But what? there's nothing to worry about. There isn't? No. It's a popular dive site. Coast Watcher on the case. We're on our way. He's wearing scuba gear. Bomber's right, Bird. Two dads will be fine. He's got a BCD. And an FSB. I well, know a BCD is a buoyancy control device. What's an FSB? A female, Swedish. Backpack arm. Bingo. <laughs> Ten bucks says Coach Watch will find him hitting on her and he'll blame us for cramping his style. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, I know so. Oh, sir, we're approaching the search area now. Given the wind, tide and current, they should be somewhere between here and Norman Reef. Not a huge area. Coast Watch should have spotted them. Oh, there are three other dive charter vessels in the vicinity who've offered to help. Oh, that's good of them. How do you just forget two divers? And the alarm was only raised because Charge turned up at the jetty. Sloppy management and lazy crew. Speaking of which, when do we rendezvous with Blue Edge One? Fifteen minutes. Roger. They're expanding the search area to the north and east. The thinking is that two dads and his companion might have tried to swim to land. Then why don't we have more assets, more planes, more boats? That's not our call. We all know that time is critical. Every hour, every minute that they spend in the ocean decreases their chances. But we're in the middle of the barrier reef charge. As you know, navigation's a real issue. Then why don't we have more aircraft? Coast Watch is sending an additional helicopter. Everything that can be done is being done. Charge, we all want to find him. Yes, ma'am. You know what I still don't understand is how does anyone overlook two dads? That just doesn't make sense. 
They obviously stuffed up. Get changed and report for duty. Yes, sir. Hey, Charge, how's your cold? What? Well, your cold, isn't that why you couldn't go diving? Yeah. You don't sound that congested. Cleared up. Mm, couldn't have been a cold then. What? Maybe it was hay fever. Oh, it could have been sinusitis. Yeah. Maybe an allergy. Whatever. Sir, I've got a foreign flag trader who's offering to help in the search for two dads. Uh, they're in the shipping lane, southernmost edge of our search area. They've reduced their speed and they've doubled their watch. They got a name? Yeah, the Rosalind Bay. They're sailing under the Tuvalu flag. That'd be her. Thank them for us, Ro, and tell them uh, their efforts are greatly appreciated. Sir? Brotherhood of the Sea. Yeah. This is HMAS Hammersley. Could you repeat that last message? Oh, no. Bro? One of the boats has just recovered some human remains. Swain. Severed leg. It's still wearing wetsuit and fin, so we're about to make a positive ID. Let's do it. Okay, uh, roll the tape. Bomber. Sorry. Rolling. Okay. Remove the fin. All right, well, there looks to be evidence of nail polish in an ankle bracelet, so we're fairly safe to assume it's a female. Elky Anderson. So can you identify these, Mr. Edwards? This is the equipment that we use. Have you recovered any more? No. This is terrible. Yes, it is. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm just I'm so sorry. Uh, we're still searching for the other diver, Mr. Evans. Well, a, but a shark you took her. You know, your mate might still be alive. Hang on, you said there were no sharks in these waters. Yeah, but it's something safe for the tourists. No, normally it's very safe. I mean, what else could do this? Look, these two, they were just unlucky. They weren't unlucky, they were left behind. That's negligence. And that's something that I have to live with. Now, I'm heading back to port in the face of consequences. The police want to talk to me. Sir, we need every boat we've got out here searching for two dads, sir. He can't leave. I understand how you feel, OK? But we're running low on fuel, and my boat's not equipped for a night search. I'll inform authorities to expect your return. I don't know. Or tear marks, there'd be something. I, I'm not an expert. I mean, that leg's been in the water a while. We're, we're expected to believe that at one of the safest dive sites on the planet, sharks gobbled them up but conveniently just left a leg for us to find. Charge. I mean, it I... just doesn't stack up. Wait, if not a shark attack, then what? What if she was murdered? By who? I don't know. Wait, murder usually involves a motive. What possible no, motive could don't. anyone have? No. I'll be on the lights. Oh, Charge, don't... He's not being rational. He feels guilty. He feels like he's the one who left him. Hey. Thought you were going to bed? Couldn't sleep. Is there any sign? No, not yet. Oh. I'll go back up in a sec. You always use an extra set of eyes, even red ones. Charge. Do 
you know how many recreational divers have been attacked on that reef in the last 50 years? No. One. So, what are the odds of another attack happening, tripling that number? It's still bad to Astronomical. have Astronomical. He's out there, Paul, and he's still alive. And we're not going to give up hope. Not many stayed out. Not many are equipped for nighttime searching. Coastwatch aircraft will be out again, first light. Roslyn Bay's hung around longer than most of the locals. Puts them to shame. So I've got my doubts about this shark attack theory. I know. The ex mentioned it to me. Well, the odds of an attack. Church. But... What you're feeling now? I am fine. You mentioned it to me on the phone. You believe you should have been out there with him? I should have been. Oh, listen to me. If you'd been out on that dive, there's every chance we'd be looking for you right now as well. Besides, he was sick. He had no choice. He wasn't fit to dive. Harry Edwards and his dive master are solely to blame for this. I'm getting some rest. Well, you don't cook, you joint things all the time. Charge. Bone's a bone. It looks cut to me. Just, just look. Stop it now. This is disrespectful. This was someone's daughter. Imagine how you'd feel. I need to know the truth. Judge, have you had any sleep? No. <sighs> so we're receiving a mayday from Blue Edge One. That's the dive boat. Put on speaker. Sir. They're supposed to be back in Cairns. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is Blue Edge One. We're holding taking water. Our pump can't cope. Our position is 16.5, 1 degree south, 146.2, 1 degrees east. Sir, that is well south of the search area, down near Pello Reef. Sounds like they're on Pillow Reef. And we're the nearest asset. What about two dads? We've got no option. It's a mayday. Plot of course. Sir. Blue Edge One, this is Hammersley. We're changing course. Hey, why are we changing course? Uh, have they found him? He's been spotted? No such luck, mate. Apparently Blue Edge One's in trouble and we're gonna help. What? Boss said to prep some pumping gear. She's holed on a reef. I'm not sure how bad. So we're leaving the search to go and help the guys who caused all this? That's the story. But the, the last night they said they were heading back to port. Well, they must have changed their minds because they're about 40 miles south. Come on, Charge. Let's get the gear ready. First in the bulkhead and Jack went down the stairs. Yeah, you better let me take a look at that. Mate, yeah. head below and check out the damage. See what we can do. What are you doing here? Said you were heading in to face the music. No, we were too tired to make the trip in, so we decided to clear the search area and just anchor overnight. Well, you weren't doing a runner by any chance, were you? No. So how does an experienced operator hit a reef the size of Tasmania? Well, these difficult waters, I thought I had enough clearance. Stuffed up. 
Oh, mate, that's not my problem. Gretchen, get off! 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 Get Mr. Edwards, I apologize for the behavior of my chief petty officer, over. That's all right, Captain. Everyone's upset, over. We're returning to the search area. Your vessel is watertight and assistance is on its way, over. Yeah, thanks. Look, your guys did a good job. Uh, our other boat should be here within the hour, so they'll nurse us home. Good luck. Out. Find charge and give him a boot up the bum. Yes, sir. And tell him he's an idiot. This way, let me know when we're back in the search area. Sir. Bro, get the latest update from Coast Watch and get me a nav comp. Sir. Mate, there is no conspiracy. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. Yeah. Or a goose. No, geese honk. I know, you love your conspiracy I'm theory. not a nutter. Who killed JFK? It was the mob or the CIA. No, Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah, right, with a magic bullet. Hey, I just want the truth, Dutch. Come on, Charge. This isn't the X-Files, mate. And the truth is, it's not your fault either. It's just a stupid, senseless tragedy. Two kids are gone. No, I refuse to believe that. Charge a word. Thanks, Dutchie. You were extremely lucky that Harry Edwards didn't press assault charges. Shut up. Thuggish behaviour will not be tolerated. And you disgrace that uniform. You disgrace all of us. And you know that. As for Mr Edwards, he will be dealt with by the proper authorities in due course. Yes, ma'am. Is that the Roslyn Bay? What? It is. Charge. Well, something strange is going on, Ed. Last night they were steaming slowly south, and then a few hours ago they weren't far from where Blue Edge One went aground. They didn't lift a finger to help, and now they're steaming north again at normal speed. Did you hear a word that I just said to you? Yes, but X. What Charge, I'm you are is... pushing yourself, and you're exhausted. You go down to your rack and you get some rest. X. That is an order. Today's muffins are just like Mum used to make. She worked in a cannonball factory. <laughs> Only kidding, Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, I'm sure whatever was written in there was meant as constructive criticism. You know, we all know that you do your best. Oh, I'm fine. What do you want? A brew. Oh, I can make it. Good. I need to get some air. Sure. been in the water too long. What? To still be alive, he's been in the water too long. She's North Korean. What? Rosalind Bay. She's North Korean. So? We all know that the Tuvalu flag is a flag of convenience, and we just assume she was Chinese or Taiwanese. She's North Korean. So? So? The North Koreans have a culture of kidnapping. It's a well-documented fact. Another conspiracy theory. Do you know how crazy this sounds? It might sound crazy, man, but what if I'm right? It might be a one in a million shot, but where's the harm in having a look? X, prepare a boarding party. Sir? Two dads has been missing for almost 24 hours. If he hasn't been taken by a shark... Sure he wasn't taken by a shark, You sir. quit while you're ahead. Yes, sir. If he wasn't taken by a shark, where is he? He was wearing a wetsuit, a buoyancy device. There's been an exhaustive search of the area. Where is he? The shark attack's looking most likely. Oh, NAVCOM believe that too, and that's why they're scaling down the search. We are fast approaching miracle time, so where's the harm in looking? Thank you, sir. Request permission to be part of the boarding party. 
on condition that you follow X's instructions to the letter. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Row, contact the Roslyn Bay. Let them know we intend to board them in accordance with Australian Customs Regulations. Sir, Roslyn Bay, this is Australia Warship. Boarding station, 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 boarding station, 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 boarding station. station. Australian Navy, we're here to inspect your vessel. This is North Korean territory. Leave now. Well, technically, sir, it's Tuvaluan territory. OK, Dutchie, you take your team. You know what to do. Copy. X. OK, charge to the wheelhouse with me. We'll inspect the paperwork. X. Charge with me now. You've been up on the chest, Ro. Oh, defeat was inevitable, so I resigned. Sometimes you have to make the hard decisions. Right. This all seems to be in order. X, hit ramp over. Sir, all their paperwork appears to be in order. They're heading for Cairns with a shipment of farming equipment. And as I suspected, the captain altered course to assist us with our search. There's no one below decks, X. You sure? Apart from Harold Holt and Osama bin Laden. Yeah, I'm sure. Sir, there's nothing out of order below decks either. All right. We knew it was a long shot. Thank the captain for his cooperation and return to the ship. Over. Aye, sir. All right, everyone, let's go. Sir, thank you. X, that's from Blue Edge One. What? The Esky, I know it is. I saw it on the dive boat. Charge, that is a red Esky. There must be hundreds of those all. I know what I saw was that one. Charge. That is private property. That is private property. Do not touch. It's fish. Can we go now? No one makes a fuss about fish. Get it! What's that? Commander One, Lieutenant Commander Flynn on the sat phone. You took it upon yourself to board a North Korean vessel without running it past me. It didn't occur to you that this could be politically sensitive? Time was an issue, I made a judgment call. A bad one. Maxine. We found a large quantity of US banknotes. I believe I owe you an apology. Now, that in itself is a serious violation of customs regulations. You're missing the big picture, Mike. What do you mean? Never mind. What's done is done. Where are the Korean crew? Uh, we're holding them in austere. Put a steaming party on the Roslyn Bay and get it back here now. Will do. And the search for leading seaman of Meyer? If he's not found by the end of the day, the situation will be reassessed. I have to tell you. This stunt could have very serious repercussions. Trouble? Nah, super duper. Sir, the North Koreans are obviously involved with Harry Edwards, and my theory is that they either ran him onto that reef or he ran aground trying to get away from them. Then they boarded him, they gave him a good thumping, and they took the money. But charge, why? I don't know but I reckon it's got something to do with two dads. And if you just give me five minutes alone with them, I will find out. You'll be heading the steaming party. All under control here, sir. Please keep us informed on the search for two dads. Over. Copy that charge. Out. It's all connected somehow. I just know it is. Anything I can do to help? Why did you volunteer for this detail? I didn't want to be there when they caught off the search. So is there anything I can do to help? No. You just stay in the shipping lane. The monkey could do this. Remember when he brought that monkey on board? Idiot. This is the Coast Watch announcement. Attention all shipping in the vicinity of the Sudbury K. A person has been spotted by civilian aircraft on the K in need of assistance. There are no further details at this time. 
Any vessel in the area, please respond. Subway K. Charge, it's way south of the search area. Couldn't be him. Why not? Well, not if he was diving up here at Saxon Reef. It's against a wind direction current. It's impossible. But what if he wasn't at Saxon Reef? What? What if they were diving off Pello Reef? What if Harry Edwards created a fake search area to the north so that he could try and find two dads by himself? That's why he didn't go back to port. And what about that poor girl's leg? They planted it. Why? I don't know why, but I'm going to go take a look. Ghost watch, this is Blue Edge 2. We're not far from Sudbury. We'll take a look. Over. Copy that, Blue Edge 2. Thanks for the assistance. Over and out. No way. You steer the ship. I'll take care of the engines. Is that possible that Blue Edge 2 could have finished repairs on Blue Edge 1 and be that far south? It's not likely. But now they've responded. No one will investigate. Sir, there's every chance that Charge also would have heard that on the Roslyn Bay. Engine shut down. Ready to drop anchor and launch the tender. So, let's go. Charge, this is Hammersley. Charge, respond. Over. Charge, this is Hammersley. Charge, respond. Over. If he's done anything stupid, so help me. Hammersley, this is Charge. Over. Charge, sit rep, over. Sir, I was just about to call in. We've got a problem. The engine's running dangerously hot, so I'm shutting it down to let it cool off. So we'll be delayed here for a little while. Over. Charge, do not take that vessel anywhere near Sudbury K. Is that understood? Over. Uh, sorry, what was that about Sudbury K, sir? Over. You know those waters are notorious. If you hit a reef and spill oil, you'll create an environmental disaster. Don't go anywhere near it. Is that understood? Over. Understood, sir. Over. Let me know the minute you're underway. Over. Yes, sir. Out. So? So, I have no intention of taking this ship anywhere near Subway K. The ones who left it behind. They killed Elkie. And they tried to kill me. Why? Drugs. I buried the drugs here. In case anyone else found me. And then at a bargaining chip. You did a good job of burying it. Sweat it. The Koreans did the job. The Esky was the payment. What Koreans? What Esky? We've got come me. It's the blue edge too. We gotta move. Come on. I could be silky to dive away from the group with us. You were diving off Pelo Reef, right? Yeah, we knew it. Edwards created a fake search zone. That's why it's taken us so long to find you. What happened to Elkie? She found the boy. I dived under and I found that. I didn't know what was in it, but I figured it was us, so I brought it up. That's when we saw Jack in the tinny. He wasn't coming for us. He was coming at us. I dived under in time. Elkie didn't. There's so much blood charge. So I swam with it underwater until my air ran out. Then I dumped my tank away and my weight built, and it kept swimming onto the surface. I found the cages before dark. They know I can figure them for murder, and they want their drugs. Our only chance is to get back to the Roslyn Bay, and then we'll have to hold them off until the Hammersley arrives. Are you sure it's drugs, too, Dads? It's smack, Charge. Trust me. Get 
the anchor up, bust out the engines. We'll be out of the board underway. And then meet me on the starboard base. Get to the radio. <laughs> and hide the drugs. Tell Hammersley to redline it here now. Give you a go. Be careful! I'll try to hold them off! We're on our way. Over. Big, big buddy. You too. Mama? Gotta go. Where? Out of here. Oh, whatever happens, just stay down and stay quiet. Go. Go! Pull back to that. and I don't believe you now. Give up! 
little skag this time. Tell me, Jack, what makes this come back like you? Give up the reef for peddling smack. Money? That would have been my guess, yeah. Drop it. Don't even think about it. Nice time you big buddy. Where's your boss? I'm waiting to cut you to ribbons the moment you step foot on that deck. The other guy's getting away with the drugs. Quick! Move! Wait till Roy leaves. He gets distressed at the way I pack. <laughs> hey, um, I was thinking, with two weeks up our sleeves, <clears throat> maybe you and I can hang out sometime, work on your leading Siemens application. Uh, I'm going home to see my mom. <laughs> Just a thought. Yeah. Mm? Have fun. Yeah, I will. You too. Hey, my muffins are nothing like cannonballs, you know. <laughs> I didn't say just kidding, Mama. Enjoy your leave. Yeah, you too. Gave you a drubbing. Gave me the old no cowboys on this boat speech. <laughs> I didn't have a cold. Yeah, I know that. Since when? Since you did the worst cold acting ever. Well, I let you down, man. I'm sorry. Mate. You didn't show up. We're square. Yeah. If there's anything else I can do, if you ever want to go on another dive trip, I will do it. I will make myself do it. I don't think I'll be doing that for a while. There is one thing I've always wanted to do. What is it? Just never found anyone to do it with. Hey, I'm there. I'm your guy. Name it. Skydiving. What's our ETA at Vatnay Island, X? 30 minutes. Good. Dutchie, have the medical supplies loaded into the rib. Swain and the remote area nurses think of that now, so I'll check out her going. I'll lead this shore party, X. We've got a tight turnaround.
Thank you again, Commander. Yeah. Always a pleasure. We like to honour our international welfare obligations. Well, medical supplies are one thing, but you weren't obligated to give me a lift. Thank you for that. From memory, your clinic's a bit of a trek. Yeah, it is, sorry. We're walking all the way. No, El Monero will be around in a minute to pick us up. See, nothing's changed since we were last here. What? It's always been this flash. I volunteered, so I'm not complaining. I love it here. Very hands-on. I like that. Hey! No, 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 get rid of that! It's a grenade! Throw it! on that spot. Sir, so, you have to lose the shirt. There's trauma to the head and torso, multiple lacerations, microparticles, shrapnel. We have blood plasma in the new supplies, right? Yeah. We're going to need all of it. You've got a steady hand for this stuff. I'll have to, won't I? Why are kids playing with a live grenade? He would have thought it was inactive. The island is full of old weapons. All the men here are heavily armed. Tika! Saul, I'm sorry. What they did? No one saw. Your son was playing with a hand grenade. This is no one's fault. Listen, we have work to do now, OK? Everything's going to be all right. Sir, you have to let them help your son. You keep pressure on that. I'll grab a sailing bag. Sir? Sir, come check this out. What's going on here? No idea, but they got guns. Sir. You men. My name is Commander Mike Flynn, Royal Australian Navy. I don't know what it is you want, but we have an injured boy inside. The boy will die. Not if we can help it. And what do you want? No! Oh, All right, pull back, pull back. I can't say that anything's actually penetrated the skull. Yeah, he's lucky. But his eyes. Uh, hopefully, it's just dust impact, but it did have a lot of force. <laughs> Back off! Drop your weapons! Let me handle this. Two dads? Just, let's call this right now. Listen. There's no need for weapons, okay? Let's just talk about this. Sort it out.
up there. Things seem to be quietening down. How's the boy? Still alive. Any closer to that grenade and we wouldn't be saying that. Not sure about his eyes. Corneas might be scarred. Keep doing what you can. So what happened to your son was an accident. It was no one's fault. Still, your son is alive. What's the issue here? Ifo is young and has no respect. Ifo, there'll be no more of this. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Go. Tell your friends not to come back here. And you can't give me an exact ETA? Not at this stage. Uh, yeah, no, I understand. Roger that. Out. So local medivac. And it's the only one. Can't give me an exact ETA, but it's going to be several hours. Roger. That was Efo and a group of younger men? Yes. They're the young bucks. Any opportunity to stir things up? Why? They want a new chief. And Sewell is the chief? Yeah. The older men want certainty, the young want change. Sometimes guns get waved around. No one really gets hurt. And you keep coming back to this? I'm the only medical help for hundreds of miles. I'm safe. Swain, you and Dutchie will stay, supervise the medical evacuation, and keep an eye on Sarah. She seems to think there's nothing to worry about. I wish I had her confidence. Things do seem to have settled down, but we've got three islands to drop supplies to, so... We'll be right, boss. Chopper from Port Moresby should be here in a few hours. We'll be back in six. Keep the sat phone, Rove. Yes, sir. Sailing. Hey, how is he? His pulse is still irregular, but his blood pressure is getting closer to normal. You think he's made it through the worst? Looks like it. Thanks for helping. Hey, well done, you won. You were terrific. <laughs> you know, terrific really means to fill with terror. Yep. Yeah, that's what I miss. <laughs> Listen, you should probably go and get some sleep or something. Dutch and I can keep an eye on him. Are you kidding? I've got all these supplies to unpack. Okay. Party close up boat deck for medical supply drop on Catton Island. There you go, mate. Oh. <laughs> gonna have to do something about those two left feet, bird. You okay? <laughs> Did you want to go back to the rib? Roger. You uh, need to get out of those wet things. Bird? Are you okay? What's wrong? I feel like I've been run over. Can I get you some water or...? I'll be fine, I just need some air. Or maybe you can give me something. No, it's Swain's gig, he'd need to authorise it. Uh... Huh? Uh... What's wrong? I feel like something's stabbing me. She's been vomiting. Uh... Huh? What did cause this? I... Oh, I've got oh. an idea. I feel tingly all over it.
and she has severe stomach cramps. Uh huh. And what's the temperature? Forty-two. Uh, okay. Um, look, give her a hundred milligrams of paracetamol. You've got to keep her hydrated. But look, she really needs uh, proper medical attention. Can we divert the medic back here, That's coming here. Uh, see what I can do, Swanky. Hold on a sec. Swain, it's the CEO. Bad news. The Medivac Hilo. It's not coming. What? Not at all? No, we're not at home now. We work with what we've got. HMAS Newcastle is about 10 hours away from our position. They have a doctor, full medical setup. Our priority will be to get Bert there. How are things at your end? Oh, yeah, the boy's holding his own. He's unconscious, but his vitals are improving. Look, Swain, this means we won't be able to get back to you until early tomorrow morning. Then we'll evacuate your patient by sea. Yeah, understood, sir. It should be fine. The situation here hasn't changed. Right. Well, we'll keep in contact hourly, sir. Is there a problem? Medivac Hilo's not coming. A bird's sick. I know it's selfish, but I'm glad you were forced to stay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Do you want me to open that for you? Oh, that's good. Okay. I must get lonely out here sometimes. Particularly being the only, um... Whitey? I was going to say medical person, but, yeah. You're very brave doing what you do out here. Does your partner ever visit? Partners aren't exactly compatible with this lifestyle. It's hardly the Maldives. Yeah, I'm artist. Yet here you are, eh? Do you ever wish you weren't married? Yeah, sometimes. Hmm. Sir? I, I just heard about Bertie. No, I just need to know what happened on the island. Did she eat anything? Um, no, I didn't think... No, she didn't. Drink anything? Only from her canteen. Are that, you that... sure? Po positive. Okay, thanks. Sir, how serious is it? I really don't know. Pulse is getting stronger by the minute. You can almost say that he's stabilised. Thank God. What about his eyes? I'll have to wait until they recover from the shock, but his corneas are probably going to be scraped and scarred. So will he see? We won't know until we change the bandages. Don't overreact! We have to be patient with these people. Understood. I don't know that you do. The only way I can do good here is if I remain completely neutral. I get it. I'll... Swain, he's been shot. What happened here, Swain? What have you done? They're coming. They find me. They kill me. Uh, pressure bandage. Look, it's only torn through skin and muscle. Jeez, you're lucky. He's still bleeding. Yeah, we need to get it closed up. Touchy, can you get me a fresh dressing? Yeah. You clean, I sir? Sound like a good team. We're getting way too much practice. Come on. I don't understand. Do you want something? Point to it. Bird, can you feel that? What is it? Paralysis. Is there anything I can do? Anything you need? Uh, no, two days, there's nothing. I've done everything Swain told me to. Are you sure you have no idea what happened to her on the island? Sorry, no. Okay, we have the sat phone bomber. You don't have to do this on your own. I'll call Newcastle's medical officer.
drinking from it while the ex in charge were walking to the village. Uh, then she threw some at me. Um, that water came from on board. It's not contaminated. Yeah, no, no, no but, one else is ill. But it's full now, see? What if she filled it up on the island? Bird, did you drink water from that island? X, I think we've got something. So it looks like the water on the island might be contaminated. Without analysing it, wait, on the boat deck. There are still some medical supplies we haven't delivered yet. Chances are there are water testing kits. Right, sir, I'm onto that. Has Bird responded in any way to what we've been giving her? I don't know, sir. But, sir, I'm not seems out of her depth. Thanks, Ryan. If my son dies, I think they can take over. We've got visitors. Give us the old man. You know I can't do that. You should leave. He shot at me. He is old and stupid. You're not taking him. He is my patient. And you're not coming in. We want to win. Hey, back off. Back off. Now. Leave. All of you, leave! You shouldn't have done that. What choice did I have? I might have been able to talk him around. Well, it didn't look like that was worth it. But now you've gone and drawn a gun on him! To him and his friends, we've taken sides. We're not neutral anymore. We've used a total water quality test kit and so far we have had negative readings on lead, copper, zinc, sulphates, pesticides and nitrates. Uh, the bacteria test won't show us conclusive results for at least another 10 hours, but so far it's showing us nothing. So we, we don't understand it. We've followed the instructions to the letter. She's getting worse. Guns. Yeah, well, that explains why they're so cocksure of themselves. They're like young lion saints, and the old bull is weak enough to be challenged. People are leaving the village. We have to head to the beach. No, they'll be expecting that. Uh, there's got to be somewhere else that we can rendezvous with Hammersley. Well, there's only one other beach on the other side of the island, around 12 miles. That's going to have to do. So, we have to head off now. No, I've killed my son. He's still unconscious. Sully so may be unconscious for hours yet. My cousins are nearby. They can help to carry him. We'll need extra pain medication for Tegan. It'll be hard when he wakes. Go get your cousins now. I don't think we have much time. I hope we're on the right side. Heading where? That depends. What's your ETA? We're still en route to HMAS Newcastle. Still two hours away from that rendezvous point. Is it possible to return to us directly? First condition has deteriorated, so that's not an option. Need to find a safe place to spend the night or rendezvous in the morning. Copy that. We're crossing to a beach on the opposite side of the island now. Keep us posted of any developments, Dutchie. We'll do the same. Understood. Out. See if there's any way Newcastle can make their way towards us to save time. Yes, sir.
Strong. Let's move. Okay, we have to go now. Our medic will examine the patient and make an evaluation. Over. We'd appreciate that. Is he ready to come across now? Affirmative. Stand by to receive. useless. We're doing everything we can. Just hang in there, bird. It's not long now. Bird? Bird. She's unconscious. I'm way out of my depth now. Uh, Bombers, this is Lieutenant Rogers. Oh, this is the MO from Newcastle. She Man. just lost consciousness. Her pulse is 120 and her BP is 80 over 55. Okay, you've given her fluids? Yep, but I don't know how much she's retained and she keeps vomiting. She's in respiratory distress. Grab the oxygen. We'll do with this quickly. And then we'll get her out of here, okay? Yeah. Keep it moving, every second counts. That's it. Okay, let's go. Move. Move. You did well. We've done all we can here. Signal here. The hills must be too high. Satellite signal too low. Need to get higher. Uh, must wait. No, I don't want you to lose any time. We're right behind you. Transferred bird to HMS Newcastle, and we're on our way back now. How is she? She's still serious, but she's getting the best attention. What's your situation? Well, we haven't seen any hostiles in the last hour. We're making our way across the island. OK. I estimate a rendezvous at map reference Alpha Echo 35 at around 0900. Keep a low profile until then. Will do. Out. the island. My head hurts. We'll rest soon, Tekin. Right now we have to keep moving, OK? Well, we'll push on until we're up this hill. And then we can... Swim. Grab his hand. 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 Gr
You then? Yeah, I grew up on a farm. I'm Sarah Denton. I just want to talk to you. We have no problem with you. Oh, look, I can see. Uh. Hello. Hey, look. <laughs> oh. It's Pedro. So it's Pedro. So is this, uh, friends or family? I don't know. I've never seen these men before. Well, you just approach them anyway. Yes. <laughs> OK. Dutchie. There you go. You all right? says he's sorry he didn't hit you that hard. Oh, hard enough. I must go with them. I'll take Tekin. No, so I'm sorry. You're not taking Tekin. He's my son. So Tekin needs to be in a hospital. His eyes are going to need surgery. Father. Dick, I'll go with my brothers. We will lead the others away from you. Be brave. I'll take care of him. Be careful, Saul. Keep your wounds clean. Use clean bandages, OK? Watch out for her. She talks too much. Sachin, you must stay with me. Look after my son. See you, Pato? Yeah, thanks, Pato. Right. We're not going anywhere in a hurry. No. It gets dark quickly here. All right, let's look around for a spot to set up camp. Rehydrated her, we've given her antipyretics and lots of antibiotics, but it doesn't seem to be a bacterial infection. What does that mean? Well, it means it's very hard to treat an illness when we don't know what's actually causing it. Oh. Look, she's holding her own, but it could still go either way. Well, thanks for the update. Let us know if there's any change. Yeah, we'll do either. So we've been trying to raise Dutchie on the sat phone. There's no response. Right, let's just hope it's a technical glitch. Keep trying. When we get within range, use the radio. Sir, that'll be nine hours and 13 minutes. Thank you, Robert. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. We're just going to quickly check your eyes, OK? Let's have a quick look. OK. Relax. OK. You open your eyes very slowly. Just. Everything's dark. Yeah, it's, it's night time, Matt. It's OK. Just keep your eyes a minute to adjust. <laughs> you can see us? It's good. It's good. All right, mate. That's enough for now. Your eyes need to rest. Just shut them again. Okay, Close them up again. Bandages, OK?
Oi. You have a nice beauty sleep, Twinkle Toes? Yep. Where you been? Scouting. There's nothing out there. You should still be taking it easy. Well, what are the odds of that? We've still got six miles to travel. We're, um, ready to move out when you are. Move out in ten minutes, eh? Anything happened between you two last night? <laughs> Just asking. She's nice. And I'm married. Okay, let's assume they're still heading to that beach as per our last call. Ro, ETA to radio range. Uh, possibly hour and a half. Good. Uh, depends on their location. If they're in a valley, it might be a bit, a bit longer. And if they're up a hill, a bit, a bit shorter. You sleep last night? Bit. But it's going to be okay, too, Dad. You've got to keep believing that. I'm trying. Come on, mate. I know she's got two left feet, but she's got thick skin. She's tough. Oh. 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 All right. You've got to do something about those two left feet, bird. Yeah. Judge, you're a genius. She fell. I need to speak to that medical officer on HMAS Newcastle. Yes, well, that request will have to go through the CEO. No, 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 there's no time. I have some information that might make a difference. What kind of information? The kind that medical officer needs to hear. Now, come on. Newcastle, this is Hammersley. I need to speak to the medical officer, over. She fell. Uh, yeah, she fell into the water, uh, into a salt water creek on the island. Um... One of her knees hit something just below the surface. I think it was the right one. Uh, it's just she reacted to something, like a sharp pain. Yeah, there's some information here. Yeah? It looks like a tiny bite mark. Thanks for that. I'll get back to you. Are you receiving? Heard of cone shell poison? That's the report that I got from HMAS Newcastle. It's a marine snail. Yeah, Very I know poisonous. what they are. Highly venomous. How do they work out it was a conefish? They got additional information from two dads. Hammersley to shore party. Are you receiving? Hammersley, are you receiving? We're under enemy fire. Repeat. Under enemy Charge. fire. Charge. Radio, radio. Right. Dutchie, can you hear me? Receiving you, Hammersley. Uh, what's your position, Dutchie? I estimate we're approximately 500 metres west of the beach. We're being pursued by hostiles who have fired on us. We have wounded. Okay, Dutchie, we're nearly there. We'll make it quick. Get those ribs in the water, Ed. Sir. Away landing party, away landing party.
Please, yeah. move! Once he gets to the hospital and has an operation. So I should heal in time, mate. How about you? You all right? No, not really. Sarah's been three years of her life on that place. I'm trying to help these people. Now they're just going to end up hacking each other to death. And it's just such a... such a waste. No, Sarah's life wasn't a waste, mate. You know it. This boy wouldn't even be alive if it wasn't for her. And whatever she meant to you, it's a gift. wants a chat. Ah, uh, you wanted to see me, sir? Two that. You did very well. I know you don't take compliments well. And let's face it, sometimes you don't do much to deserve them. But this time, you did a great job. My two favourite people are here. Favourite? Because I brought you flowers. <gasps> no, because apparently I have you both to thank for getting me back on my feet. <sighs> hey, it's good to see you looking so good. Let's step it up, please. We're going to be off this dock by 0900. Two dads. Ray wants a word. Would you bet it's a full sentence? Or five? That's a no-brainer. Get out of here before I put you to work. Oh, Ro, don't you said you wanted to see me about something? Yes, my able assistant has fallen ill whilst on shore leave. I suspect he's finally succumbed to the Tamain takeaway at Maharaja's. Yeah, I've warned him about the hygiene in that place several times to no avail. Hopefully this time he learns his lesson. However, because communications are so vitally important, a replacement has been crash posted. That's five full sentences. And your point is? He says he knows you. Who? Leo Cosimaya. Hello, buddy. 
What are you doing here? Don't tell me you followed me to the Navy as well. <laughs> I'll oh. leave the two of you to pat a cake. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Good to see you, man. It's good to see you. But you're what? a leading seaman already. Oh, well, they must have been desperate for electronics. <laughs> then again, your RO's a bit. Yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's cool. Eccentric, but cool. Well, that's good to know, since I'll be locked up with him for the whole patrol. Wow, good to have you on board, man. Thanks, buddy. Should be fun. Oh, Aro said that you two knew each other. You could say we share a colourful history, Charge. Yeah, he used to get himself into a bunch of sticky situations. Mate. I used to get him out. That's one way of looking at it. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. It's Mayday at these coordinates, sir. She's a cruiser, Ruthless 2. Two persons aboard. Claim she's been attacked. Sir, we are the closest asset, although we're three hours steaming away. Tell them we're responding. Hi, sir. Starboard 20, Revolution 2000. Made a vessel, Ruthless 2. This is Australian warship Hammersley responding to your Mayday on VHF Channel 16. Over. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Swain, are you prepped to treat any injured on board? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Swain, it looks like you got a patient. Yeah, copy that. Sir, Australian Navy. Stay still, someone will tend to your injuries. Fraser. Get this too. Right, I'm done here, mate. Down below. Sit, Rebecca. The couple are quite distressed, sir. They say that a speedboat just turned up out of the blue and attacked them. They stripped the boat of its electronics, including an expensive new autopilot system and some other valuables, and then they just took off. Did they get a description of this speedboat or the attackers? They think that it was a black Chaos Cat High performance boat with four POB. White Australian males, possibly late 20s, all wearing bandanas. Any injuries, X? Uh, the skipper was assaulted when he tried to resist. He sustained a minor injury, which Swain's taking a look at now. OK, X, get a full list of the items stolen. I'll pass it on to Navcom. They can give it to the feds. Fraser, make sure you get all the damage on video. Yes, ma'am. I think that I'd be live. The wires must have been damaged. Because the short sec. Hey. Good. <laughs> Just like old times, eh? That's another one, Amy Leo. <laughs> Unfortunately, this attack you described conforms with a series of piracy acts in Torres Strait. Rascals from New Guinea? No, a bunch of cowboys in a hot speed boat playing on soft targets. You know, yachts, pleasure boats. They basically steal all their electronic equipment and anything else of value and hightail it before help arrives. They've been lucky, choosing targets well out of range of other vessels. Now, I want you to work with Coastwatch on this one. Let's put these people out of action quickly. We'll do our best, Maxine. Oh, try and do it by next week. We have a dinner date, remember? Wouldn't miss it for the world. So, I give you the hundred and... How did you do that? There were five notes there. Trade secret. 
Oh, he could tell you, but he'd have to kill you. <laughs> Where did you learn to palm notes? They also cheats at poker. Uh, excuse me. No, 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 no. I do not cheat. Thank you very much, Fraser. Fraser's the past master of that. I'm just creative. Creative. So you guys are like best friends. Like brothers. The brothers. <laughs> How'd you lose contact then? Uh, it was, it was complicated. <clears throat> Yeah, I joined the Navy to get away from bad influences. I had no idea this dude had done the same thing. Ah, both escaping dodgy paths, hey? Yeah, let's just say he skirted the fringes of the law and I used to pluck him out of trouble. What? Whatever. <laughs> but we've changed, haven't we? Yes, Leo, we're changed men. Where's my $60? What 60 bucks? Two dads. There you go, mate. Thank you. Your shout, Leo. I'm off to Point Percy. Where's my money, dude? Hey, I don't think I... Oh! That joke in memory? <laughs> that little poke again, that's right. We're getting a bit impatient. Look, I don't have it right now. Oh! Oh! <laughs> But I will. I will just... Give me a couple of extra days, OK? Or maybe we'll just work it out now. <laughs> hey, fella. Why don't you take a hike, eh? We'll pay you when he's got it. And we do know where to find you. I'll be waiting. I'm sure you will. Leo, come on, mate. All right? Need to find a new game, buddy. You're not wrong then. Special sea duty men and cable party close up. Assume damage control state three condition voyage. Oh, that is unpleasant. Too bad. We'll stop your whole head from swelling up. More than it already is. You're all right, Bomber. Just hold it there for a few minutes. What happened to you? Bomber slugged me. Some jerk beat him up because he owes money from a poker game. How much? A grand. I've only got 400 to my name. That's harsh. Big buddy, judge. Um. If you could help me out, <laughs> just with a loan, just until <laughs> no, he's bailed. No. Well, chance. However, there is another option. Uh-oh. I bought this place. I'm renovating. You could earn the money helping me paint it. Uh, yeah, well, see, I knew there was going to be a catch. It's a great offer, two dads. I'll take it if you don't. Here's the incentive. I'll sign up when you've done the job. Man, you're my Obi-Wan Kenobi charge. You keep me on the straight and narrow. That's the deal. Slave labour. What, you want to spend your entire leave up a ladder? Either that or... <laughs> Righto. Yeah, take it. Take it. You sure? Yeah, I'll give you the rest later if you need it. Do that. Yes, sir. Aren't you supposed to be on the bridge? Uh, on my way now, sir. <laughs> Coastwatch Victor Hotel 460 calling you on security channel. Do you read? Over. Coastwatch, this is Hammersley. Go ahead, over. Hammersley, we've had a distress call from an adjacent sector. Another vessel attack. We've located the attacking vessel as it's made its escape. Heading for your sector. Over. What's their position, over? 10 degrees, 32.3 south. 142 degrees, 41.1 east. Can you confirm those last two numbers, RO? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Ma'am, coordinates from RO. Ten degrees, thirty-two point one south, one hundred and forty-three degrees, twelve point one east, three five zero. On that bearing, they should be on the radar about here. There's nothing. Nothing. Or maybe they spotted the Coast Watch plane and changed course. Oh, there is another contact slightly east of that position. It's the only vessel in the vicinity. 
A lot of course to intercept, Dex. I have a visual. Range three nautical miles. Tell them we intend to board them. Hi, sir. Vessel on our port bow. This is Australian warship Hammersley. Prepare to stop or heave to. We intend to board you. Doesn't look like she's moving, sir. Hands to boarding station, Zex. Annex stock now. The price is trending up. Wait till it hits 20. Then start nibbling. And by the way, why didn't I get a fill on that order? Straight right? Navy, oh, sir. Hands what? up. What? Is this your boat? Y yes, it is. Yes. Just the two of you on board? Yes, there's just the two of us. You excuse me, please? Hello. Hello. Are you still on the line? Mate, you won't believe it. Captain X. Go ahead, X. Uh, sir, there are two people on board, but they're definitely not pirates. Stand by, X. Hand me those coordinates. Aye. Hey. XO, this is not the vessel of interest. You've transposed the number while inputting the data, over. Sir, I am... I'm very sorry. Apologise for the inconvenience. Return to the ship, over. Yeah, mate, museum's open all weekend. Two dinosaurs and lots of artefacts on display. I'll text the address. Yep, yeah, talk soon. What are you doing? Was that a scam? What? You were talking code just then, like we used to in the old days. Oh, Leo, some of us have grown up, mate. What was all that about a museum then? Just got a mate visiting Sydney. Started about the museum and college street. I, um, I'll see you in a bit, all right? So those fluoros you asked me to replace, I can fix them now. Really? Do they fix themselves or what? So how's my boy Fraser doing? Well, he's the best assistant I've ever had. He's across all the equipment, he's adept at identifying and tracking vessels, he's reliable. Can't believe he's your friend, actually. Fair go, I'm here, aren't I? Maybe. Have a look at his notes. They're beautiful. Hey, what's that? That is Coast Watch security frequencies, not your eyes. Fraser's got access to it all. How does that work? I outrank him. Well, that's because Fraser has a higher security clearance than you. <clears throat> yeah. Funny that. Hey, everyone. What are you up to? I'm in love. Huh? I've just met the girl of my dreams on Lovelink. You're kidding. Louise has just sent me a photo to dance. Romance is blossoming. I think I can feel it. Judge, I don't reckon that's romance you're feeling. She is hot. <laughs> yeah, and very Ouch. intelligent, too. Send her a photo of yourself? Yes. She's responding. <laughs> I did tell her that I am earning 200 grand a year. Oh, Judge, good to know you're starting out the relationship with Navy values like, you know, honesty, integrity. Yes, yes, all is fair in love and war, young Skywalker. You should try telling that to the old couple we just bought it by mistake. Oh, well, the old fossils should know better than to be sailing around by themselves. Fossils? Pirate activity in the area. It's like saying dinosaurs, right? Yeah, whatever. The two dinosaurs, that's the old couple, the museum full of artifacts. That's the boat. If you say so. I think you know somebody, but you really don't. Ah, well, that is true. 
Can't know everything about everyone. You, for example, had no idea that I am a very sexy man. Ah, uh, Leo, I'm gonna grab some lunch. Wanna join me? I know you're a perfect good place to feed info to the pirates. What? They're your friends, aren't they? Why aren't you harassing the XO? I mean, she's the one that stuffed up the coordinates and helped him get away, remember? Yeah, and I bet you're behind that as well. You transposed those coordinates deliberately and you let the X cop the blame for it, didn't you? <laughs> didn't you? Listen, idiot. If you're accusing me of something, Where's your proof? I don't have any. Yet. I'll tell you what. You keep going with this, you will regret it. Hey! What is going on here? Just mucking around. Nothing, ma'am. I hope not. <laughs> ma'am. Boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Oh, I was just doing something. Oh, well, whatever it is can wait. We're responding to a mayday. Uh, it's important. Move it. Bring it around. Quickly, we have to help my husband. The men who attacked our boat knocked him back into the water and he's still down there. Right, how long has he been in the water for? I don't know, but he's wearing scuba gear. Ma'am, do you have any dive gear on this boat that we can use? Yeah, it's down below. Two dads, you go with Swain? Yes, ma'am. I'm Kate McGregor, I'm the executive officer aboard HMS Hammersley. What's your name? Eliza, Eliza Lang. Okay, Eliza, are you going to try and tell us what happened? We were diving, my husband and I, and I was running low on air, so I decided to surface. Okay, you came back on board the boat? Yes, and then I saw this boat coming towards us, and they were on top of us before I realised that they were the pirates that we heard about on Coast right, Watch Radio. Try to calm down, just calm down. There were three of them, and yep. they just started ransacking our stuff, and they pulled out the GPS and anything they could get their hands All right, now, on. your husband, he tried to intervene? Well, he surfaced after me, and they knocked him back into the water, and he just sank. Okay, all right, did you try to assist him when he went back in the water? By the time that I left, it was too late. Okay. Ma'am, ma'am, I'm Dylan Mulholland. Can I ask you a couple of questions as well? Can you describe the vessel at all? Uh, it was a big speedboat. I didn't see any name. Okay, and what about the men you saw? Is there anything particular you remember about them? I couldn't see their faces. They were wearing balaclavas. Right, ma'am, we're good to go. Okay, Swain. sign of any injury to the skull at all, no cuts, no contusions, certainly no broken neck. 
If he received a blow sufficient enough to knock him unconscious, though, you think there'd be at least a lump? Yeah. And why would he sink so fast? When he surfaced his buoyancy vest, it would have been semi-inflated, right? Exactly. So even if he was unconscious when he fell back in the water, he would have floated. It would have to be deflated for him to sink. Maybe it had a slow leak. All right, let's go check the gear. I'll inform the boss. Steaming party to Muscat 7. Prepare to take vessel under tow. Ma'am, our chef thought you might like something to eat. Thank you. I'm not really very hungry. Well, I'll leave it on the table just in case you change your mind. Thank you, Bird. Mrs Lang, we've arranged to rendezvous with the Federal Police who will be taking over the investigation into your husband's death. We're very sorry. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. <laughs> you just sank so fast at me. <laughs> You set up that target for the pirates, didn't you? No. You've been feeding him Navy intel and alerting him to soft targets, huh? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Either you go to the boss now, fess up, give up all your mates, or I will. And where's your proof? Huh? Found that in your jacket. Anyone could have written that. Just leave it alone, all right? A man died because of what you did. No matter how much you deny it, I know. You're implicated in a murder! No, I had nothing to do with it. Those guys must have found this boat by themselves. Nothing to do with me. Who are they? Who are they, Fraze? A bunch of mates from Sydney. Look, they're just out to make a quick buck. They're hardly pirates. Yeah, just accidental killers, yeah? I never intended anyone to get hurt. You can't say anything to anyone, all right? Please, mate. You're putting me in an impossible situation here. This is my life. Are you owe me, Leo. What? All the times I've saved your ass, mate. Look, I will quit the scam. I promise. No, it's not good enough, man. All right, you keep your mouth shut, I'll cut you in. That'll solve all your financial problems permanently. Forget it. Either you go to the boss now, or I will. And I'll have no other option but to drag you down with me. What are you talking about? You're implicated too. I the exo saw us arguing. They asked me what that was about. I will just tell them you wanted a bigger cut. That's lame. They won't believe it. No? Think about it. The boss saw cash exchanging hands. But you got a dodgy past. It's in your file. And according to the RO, you've done absolutely nothing to make people believe that you've changed. So you'd screw me as well, huh? You're a victim of your own making, mate. What about the dead guy? Oh, look, you blow the whistle on me, I'll tell them you had information and you did nothing. You are fatally compromised, my friend. The BCD, the tanks, the hoses, there's nothing wrong with any of it. It's all working perfectly. And don't you think that it's strange that she didn't go to his assistance when there were spare tanks available? So what are you saying? She contributed to his death in some way? Well, she certainly did nothing to prevent it. And she said a couple of things about the pirates that don't add up with the other victims' reports. Well, she mentioned three, not four. And Balaclava's not Ben Dennis. We still have her boat under tow. Search it thoroughly, see what you can find. Yes, sir. In the meantime, keep this to ourselves. GPS is missing, but that correlates with what Eliza said. And they left the radio. 
Although that's not new. You know, I'm beginning to doubt that they were ever attacked at all. Well, she said she heard about the pirates on the coast watch of that. She could have taken the details from there. What, you think insurance fraud gone wrong? Could be. Whoa! Hello. Pretty sloppy thieves to have overlooked this. Let's have a look, eh? It's an insurance folder right on the desktop here. Open it. <laughs> Seems Mr. Lang recently upgraded his insurance policy to a cool six million. We're sorry, Mrs. Lang, but there are certain inconsistencies in your story and we think that you're holding something back. My husband is dead. What more do you want from me? The truth. What really happened out there? I told you! Pirates attacked us and my husband died! Okay, Mrs. Lang, we won't bother you anymore. You can make a full statement to the federal police when they rendezvous with us. <laughs> Is there anything you need? No. Thank you. I'll have Bird bring you in some dinner. You may be onto something. But we're not cops, so if she doesn't want to talk to us, we can't force her. Still sticking to the pirate story? When do we rendezvous with the feds? By 900. Bert, would you take a meal into Mrs. Lang in the wardroom, please? Yes, sir. Jack, you. Oh, thanks. No, no, no. What? Just the salad, thanks, Bomber. What? Charge refusing chips? Are you ill? <laughs> yes, I'm dieting. I want to be at my leanest when I meet Louise. Louise? <laughs> Charge, you could fade away to nothing before that happens. <laughs> well, that's where you're wrong, Pat One Learner. I've been chatting with her online, and turns out her mum lives in Cairns, and she's planning a trip up here in a couple of weeks to visit her. Oh, so you're going to meet? I think that's lovely. Charge, what makes you think she's going to want to hang out with you? Apart from the obvious, I did lend her a few hundred dollars so she could fix the car and make the trip. Oh, Charge, you didn't. Ch you don't put money into somebody's account you don't even know? When was it she ripped you off? Hey, I'm not an idiot. She's a friend of Fraser's. In fact, it was Fraser that suggested that we get together on Lovelink. He thinks that we've got something in common. And it turns out we do. <laughs> Charge. Dude, that's what's up. You seem kind of distant or something. Sorry, Mom, it's not you. I'm just... A little stressed out. Hmm. You promised to call off the piracy scam, right? And now what? You're ripping off crewmates. Why the hell not? Is that gullible he deserves to be ripped off? Charge, he's a decent bloke. He's always the first to try to help anybody out. Which makes him the perfect target. Or it'll be three or four grand in the hole before he even knows it. Does Louise even exist? Yeah, she exists. She's got no idea she's been chatting with Charge. You're going to get on the internet, you're going to break things off with Charge, and you're going to send him his money back, no yeah? No way. You wouldn't want to hurt his feelings, would you? Humiliate him in front of the whole crew? No, don't humiliate him. Let him down gently. Since when did you join the Christian Fellowship movement, Leo? You're a degenerate. Oh, by the way, I spoke to my mates. They never attacked that lady's yacht. It's all bollocks. She's lying. Come in. Dutchie. What is it? Sorry to wake you, ma'am. No, it's okay. It's the Lang's yacht. It's gone. That's you, you're the officer of the watch. When did you discover the yacht gone? Five minutes ago, sir. I was plotting our next course heading, and then the next time I looked up, it wasn't there. Sir, I've 
Just checked the tow line. Looks like it was deliberately severed. Mrs. Lang's not in the cabin. We searched the ship. She's not here. Well, I think it's safe to assume that she cut the tow line and she swam to the yacht. And no one noticed. We had eyes front, sir. We were concentrating on navigating the ship and we didn't establish a special watch because no one was aboard the yacht in the first place. Understood. Her actions do seem to indicate a guilt. Pretty desperate thing to do. It's 0500. We still have four hours before we rendezvous with the feds. Let's find her. Sir, visual on EOD confirms the Lang's yacht musket seven. Now at a thousand yards, she's drifting. X, prepare to border. Australian Navy! Mrs. Lang! Eliza! Bomber and Dutchie, you want to check below? Yep. Hello? Eliza? Tail on still attached, man. No sign of Mrs. Lang X. She's not on board. Dutchy, give us a hand here, mate. Think we caught a fish. Lang, man. X, handover is complete. The uh, feds have taken both bodies and the yacht for the coronial inquiry. Swain, I can't help thinking that maybe I pushed her into yeah, trying to escape. No, no, I practically accused her of murdering her husband. Circumstances were suspicious. You were doing your job. She took a big risk jumping off the boat. Yeah. And maybe she knew she was going to jail and she couldn't face it. You okay? Yeah. Eliza Lang set that train of events in motion long before we came along. So this chick whacks her hubby for his insurance and tries to pin her on the pirates. That seems to be the case. But that doesn't mean we're giving up on the pirates. They seem to have gone to ground lately, though. Uh, sir, just in from NAVCOM, possible FFV. We're the closest asset. There she is, sir. Ten nautical miles away, just out of visual range. Do you want us to take a look? Why don't you and Dutchie take a rib? Get over there for a stealth recce. Yes, we might just nab them with their long lines in the water. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Dex, take charge with you to assess for seaworthiness. Charge. Coming. Over. This is Hammersley, over. We've had a request from a gentleman requiring an escort through your sector. Apparently a wealthy businessman carrying a lot of cash on board. He's heard of the pirate attacks. Over. What's his position, over? He's in position 10.9 south, 149.9 east, heading for Cairns on a course of 180. Coast Watch, we're unable to respond at the moment because we're in the middle of a boarding operation, over. Roger that, Hammersley. HMAS Kingston is the next closest asset, and they're three hours away. Over. Sorry, we couldn't help you out on this one. Hammersley out. Well, we can't be in two places at once, can we? No way.
You said you'd stop. Mate, this is the perfect target. This guy's loaded with cash. It's the mother load. You promised, in fact. Look, one last hit, right? Come on, man, you're in this with me now. It's the end of your financial problems. Done. All right? Yeah, mate. The bank is on 143 East 5th Street. Opens at 10 past nine. Done. God, they're only 12 miles away. Perfect. Like candy from a baby. You said it. Sit, Rebex. Reported the FFV and caught them red-handed. Long lines in the water. Well done. So charges deemed the vessel unseaworthy and we have eight POB plus our crew. Righto, X. I'll send the second rib over. Transport those fishermen back to Hammersley. Roger, sir. Out. Swain, take two dads and, uh, Fraser. Get over to the FFV. Sir. Let's go. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Upmarket foreign fishermen. What's going on? I have no idea. All right, everyone gather round for briefing. Ryan, this is a covert operation. Someone on Hammersley has been leaking information, so we have decided to set a trap for the pirates. Now, this is obviously not an FFV. Mr Sloan, the owner, has requested an escort, but first he has agreed to assist us. Right? Ma'am? All right, we wait until they're aboard before we make our move. Everybody take up a concealed position. Wait for my signal. Let them see us. Fraser, wait! No, you don't. We're gonna let them see us. Get back here. of that boat, didn't you, Able Seaman? No way, sir. You were with the RO when the request for the escort came in. Yeah, and then I was with two dads the whole time till we got here. Wait, you, mate? Yeah, I was. You said you'd stop. Oh, mate, this is the perfect target. Like this guy's loaded with cash. It's some other load. You promised him back. And all of your mobile phone calls have been recorded by RO. Special permission from NAVCOM. So where did you decide to set me up? I told you, mate. Either you go to the boss, or I would. But we needed to get the evidence to catch your mates. Now we've done that. Charge, you and two dads lock him up in austere. Yes, sir. Turn you into a soft cock. No, mate. 
It's called rehabilitation. You wanted to see me? Yeah. Just had a call from NAVCON. The initial finding on Stuart Lang is that he was murdered. The wife didn't? Looks like it. He died as a result of asphyxiation. They believe his air supply was turned off at a depth of 18 metres, and then turned back on again after he died. Oh, how do they work that out? Oh, all that CSI stuff. Right. <laughs> so, uh, you're off to dinner with Commander White? It all sounds very convivial. It's Ryan's 18th birthday. Ryan? Oh, sorry, your godson, of course. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't tell you about Fraser scamming you. The whole sting thing was underway by then and I couldn't risk you any sus me. Judge. Well, who else knew about it? Well, the CO, the X and RO. R oh. Judge, I meant what I said about being rehabilitated. And you've had a lot to do with that, big buddy. Mm -hmm. I recommend you as a mentor. Good. Excellent. So does Louise really exist? Probably. Yeah, but you'd have no idea that Fraser was using her photo to set up a phony profile. She probably would have dumped me when she found out I didn't earn 200 grand a year. <laughs> Dude, that's... Well done on making the right decision. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your short life, guys. Two dads is going to help me paint my house. <laughs> oh, you can send him over to mine when you finish. <laughs> Thanks, sir. But I'm doing this for charge as a special favour. I seem to owe him a few. See ya. Well, two dads has come a long way since you joined Hammersley. Are you measuring that in nautical miles? Other one? Mm. How's that? Yep, great. Just been sprayed in the face with capsicum spray. I'm, I'm fantastic. Right. Oh. X, he grabbed my boob. What would you do? I would have used my baton. I would have called for some assistance. X, I can't help if Ro's downwind from me. Bummer, you reacted without thinking. Now, lucky, Ro is going to be OK, but it could have been a lot worse. I'm sorry. You're currently applying for your leading seamen's ranking. Yeah, because I deserve it. I've got the training. Yeah, but it's not just about training. It's about exercising qualities like oh. leadership, good judgement, you know, control under pressure and keeping a check on your impulse. Ex, you aren't serious. He grabbed my boob. You are wearing a Kevlar vest and it gives you adequate protection. Now, you and I are going to discuss this later. Go and give Swain a hand with any injuries. Ma'am, I... Later. Nothing below, ma'am. What? Low decks. Must have got them before they started fishing. Well, the good news is it's not broken. We'll put some ice on it. 
and we will strap it, okay? You understand? <laughs> I speak English. Great. Uh, Bomb, can you get an ice pack for him, please? And uh, strap it? Yeah. Okay, she'll put the ice pack on. I'll be back later, okay? Let's have a look at you, mate. Here. Let go of me. Your skin is soft. Let go of me or I'll break your arm. Everything all right, Bomber? Here. Yep. Some of these guys are nearly blind. What? They're fishermen, they're just about blind, some of them. It's supposed to show you how desperate some people are, isn't it? escort them across the line just so they can come right back and fill up with our fish. There's no evidence. It's a law. Well, the law sucks. Yeah, well, a lot of things suck. The Navy sucks. You still upset? Why wouldn't I be? I deserve to be leading seamen. I've earned it. Now because of one stupid mistake. Windy deck. Caps, come spray. Bad yeah, combo. I know, OK? I'd like to see what you do if you try and grab Dior. Punch the guy. Punch the guy and then, no, hold on, then ask the ex for a second chance. Show her you've got what it takes. Yeah, right. The FFV is now outside our exclusive economic zone. Can't touch her. <laughs> Anyone want to take bets on how long she'll stay out? Yeah, until we're out of sight. That'd be smart money. I've just picked up another larger contact range, 14 nautical miles. So the FFV is heading right for her. Her mothership. She probably has a small fleet of boats operating in the area. Yeah, there's no other radio contacts. There's no other contacts on my screen. Still, I think we might track them overnight. X plot us a course so they think we're heading home. Yes, sir. Tomorrow, we'll see what we catch. Breast, please, Bomber. What? A nice piece of breast, please. Are you a comedian, Roo? No, I leave that up to charge. And would you like some pepper sauce with it too, like some of these other jokers? Oh, yeah. I said I was sorry. What more do you want? Mom, when it comes to chicken, I just like white meat. Hey, what happened today? Just learn from it and move on. Yeah, easy for you to say, Dutchie. Mmm, smells great. <clears throat> that attitude, Bomber? No, ma'am. It's chicken. See me in the ship's office when you're finished here? What happened to asking for a second chance? I'm sorry for the attitude, ma'am. So you should be. I've been copying heaps from the guys. From what I heard, Dutchie gave you some good advice. You learn from today's mistakes and you move on. Yeah, OK. I know you're upset. I've decided to sign up for another three years. That's great. I'm not just a cook. I've done more than my share of boardings. I've helped Swain save lives. So I'm aware of all of that. And nobody is questioning your courage or your commitment. It is your bloody attitude. Please, ma'am. Give me another chance. Let me show you I've got what it takes to be leading seamen. I'll think about it. Contact bearing 190, range now seven nautical miles. Dutchie, you should have a visual. Got her. She's an FFV, all right. Type 3. The one we boarded yesterday? Similar, but different. It supports your theory about the mothership having a fleet out here, sir. Prepare to board her, X. Sir. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. This vessel is suspected of illegally fishing in our economic exclusion zone. Wheelhouse secure, X. No problem. Good work. Two dads, you go with Bomber and check out down below. Yes, ma'am. Sir, vessel secured without incident. Very good, X. Textbook stuff, Bert. I'm going to take a look at the crew and make sure they're in reasonable health. 
Dutchie, Doctor. check the engine and assess Doctor. the seaworthiness. I need to look at you. X! you got to come see this. Marine land. The live fish trade. For collectors? Restaurants. Look at them. See how they're all plate size? Yeah. Hey, two dads. Did you get all of this on tape? Yes, ma'am. We can put them back. Start moving in topside. Mm -hmm. Sir, their catch is live fish. What? We get our fish back for a change. It's a happy ending. Happy endings only happen in fairy tales, two dads. Sir, we're returning the illegal catch to the sea now. Let's hope a good number of the fish survive. Well done, X. Why wouldn't they all survive? Stress. Stress. Big killer in fish. Really? Hmm. You think I'm making it up? I can never really tell if you're joking or not. No, I don't. I don't joke. I never joke. You never joke. Joking's not my thing. Gully dokily. Sir. I've got a contact bearing 095, range 16 miles, possible FFE. Ro, any reported shipping in the area? No, nothing, sir. X, we've got another possible FFE on our radar. Is that vessel seaworthy for steaming hard? Yes, sir. What about the crew? Yeah, they all appear to be in pretty reasonable health, sir. They are pussy cats compared to the mob yesterday. Roger. All right, select the steaming party. And get back here ASAP. I want to go after this other FFB. Uh, copy that, sir. Volunteer for the steaming party. What? I reckon X is about to call for volunteers. It's going to be a cushy cruise home and your chance to display some leadership. Come on, it'll be fun. I'll come with you. OK, I need uh, two volunteers for the steaming party. Uh, ma'am. I volunteer, ma'am. Me too, ma'am. Bomber and two dads it is. Oh, um, if it's OK with you, ma'am, I'd like to defer command of the uh, steaming party to Bomber. Give her a chance to show what she's made of. It's a great idea. Bomber, you're in command of the steaming party. Thank you, ma'am. OK, we'll grab you some ration packs. You guys back on the ribs, we're going to go after this FFV. Open season. <laughs> John G, bring alongside. Only in fairy tales, huh? <laughs> hey, Swain, can you grab me a ration pack? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am? Oh, I'm coming along. Uh, but, ma'am, how? As an observer. Bomber, you are running the show. Take us home, Bomber. Yes, ma'am. It's up! Oh. Rib secure, boarding party accounted for, sir. Very good. Let's go get ourselves another FFV. Half ahead, both engines, revolutions 1800. Half ahead, both engines, revolutions 1800. Steer 270. Steer 270. Just one question, sir. Yes, Charge. Good bomber away. Who's going to cook for us? Well, I'm sure we'll manage. Ro, you've had experience in the galley. Uh, I think that we should probably go back and get her, sir. How hard going to be to burn a bit of scran? Seriously, I think that we should go back and get her you now. You may be right, sir. If you could remember back to last time, there was <gasps> problems. Bird, can you cook? Uh, a bit, sir. You can give Ro a hand in the galley. Great. There you go, Ro. An enthusiastic helper. Just keep it simple. We all die. It's not my fault. We will die. <laughs> hey. Hey. Where's the X? Around. This is still a good thing. Yeah, I know. I'm out to impress. And if you want any tips on judgment and leadership... I'll know who not to ask. Ah, oh, that is harsh. You think? Yeah, I'm cut. I go out of my way to help you with your career. And what do I get in return, huh? What do I get? <laughs> hey! Oh, no. Can we have me check you? Oh! 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 Ah! X! 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 My eyes! X! X! Ma'am, are you OK? X. Here, here. Let me help. Oh, Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma X. Oh, I'm here. What's the matter with her? Ma'am, are you OK? Babe. What? I, um. X. What was in that bottle? Water. 
I thought it was water. No way is this just water. Well, I don't know. Go ask them. I'll call Swain. God, take what, please. What is in this bottle? Is it something bad? Do any of you understand? What is in this? Suspect vessel, seven miles. Should have her on EOD any minute, sir. Very good. How's lunch? Yeah. Bird and I had a disagreement about condiments. She's finishing it up. Hammersley, this is Bomber. Come in, Hammersley. Over. Bomber, this is Hammersley. Go ahead, over. I have a medical emergency. I need to talk to Swain urgently. Over. Swain to the bridge at the rush. Bomber, what's happened, over? The X has collapsed. She's having difficulty breathing. I need to talk to Swain. I don't know what to do. He's on his way, over. What's in this bottle? What is in it? Do any of you understand English? What's in this bottle? Is it bad? Uh, Bomber, it's me. Tell me exactly what happened, over. Bomber? She got squirted in the face. We thought it was water. The crew can't tell us what it is, over. She what? Well, how quickly did it affect her, over? Uh, very quickly, almost instantaneously, over. What do you think? It sounds like a poison or a neurotoxin. What sort of a neurotoxin would be on an FFV? Bomber, it, it's critical that you keep her airways clear, OK? So I need you to wash her face with clean water. Yeah, if she stops breathing, you're going to have to apply mouth to mouth. Understood, over? Yes, over. Bomber, we're on our way. What's your position, over? One, two decimal, two, two degrees south. One, two, six decimal, two... Hey! Hey! Stop! Get out! Bomber, do you read me? Bomber, come in, over. What the hell just happened? Plot a course, get us there. I didn't get that last coordinate. Just do what we can with what we've got. We'll find them. Sir. Ro, get me NAVCOM. Sir. Bomber Hammersley, over. How is she? The same. Sorry. I didn't see him coming. Stay still! Stay still! Please, what do you think you're doing with help. it? Help! You have to get it! Hey! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Be careful with her, idiot! Right! X. Ah. Ah. X. X. We're changing course. Sir, this is our best guess at their last known position. There's nothing on screen. Let's assume the fishermen have retaken their vessel. They'll be heading for international waters and their mothership. Set course for the position we detected the mothership yesterday. Sir, that was 17 hours ago. She could be anywhere. Have you got a better idea? No, sir. Set course. Starboard 10, steer 350. I've never seen this like this. Bomber, just try to stay calm. You can help her most that way. I, I, I can't help her. I don't know what to do. Think about your first aid training. My first aid training tells me she's in big trouble. Her airways are clear. She's in a recovery position. There's nothing more I can do here. Okay. Um, maybe it's an allergy of some sort? I don't know. How can I help you? Tell me what to do. I'll do it. All I know is that when she stops breathing, we're going to have to perform CPR. Are you ready for that? Hey, 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 hey. I'm right here with you, huh? We're in big trouble, aren't we? Whatever was no, no, in no, that no, 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 hey, you want to know, you want to know. Besides, I provoked you. You always <laughs> provoke me. I can't help it. What? You know, it's that old thing of when you're really hot for someone. Two dads, please don't go there. If you're not coming back, I thought you should know. I know. Seriously? You okay with that? 
apparently. FFE Type 3, range five miles. Looks like the one, sir. Let's get our people back. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Some decks secure, no sign of our guys searching below decks. Charge. Got it. Clear. Hey, there's fish in all these tubs. We couldn't have made a catch like this that quickly. It's a different boat. Yeah. Sir, there's no one here. This is the wrong boat. Over. Sir? Question the crew. They must know where their mothership is. Over. Understood. Over. Is this the master of the vessel? Yeah. He says his name's Elang. A charge! A charge! Put it down. It looks like so flex. It's cyanide. That's what could have poisoned the eggs. Let's go. Cyanide fishing. I saw it once in the Philippines. They make a solution of the stuff, dive down to the coral, squirt it around where the fish are hiding, it knocks them out, and they take them alive. You think the X was sprayed with this stuff? Cyanide works by stopping the absorption of oxygen. Bomber said she couldn't breathe and a lack of oxygen caused her to collapse, so... If they're taking live fish with this stuff, surely it has to be fairly weak. Yeah, but when they're diving down there, it's also being diluted by the seawater. So what's the treatment? Any antidote? I don't know, sir. It's about my training. OK, get on to Fleet Medical, find out. Where's the master of the FFV? Oh, well, we're holding him in Austria, sir. Does he speak English? A bit. Has he told us anything? Just his name, sir. We thought it was more important to tell you about the cyanide. All right. We need the location of this mothership. Make sure he understands that if he doesn't give us this information, he's in trouble for a lot more than just illegal fishing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pay you money. Yeah. Are you the boss? Are you the boss? They'll yeah, give you but... money. What are you doing? What's that? Hey, it's anti -dose. No, 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 no. It's anti dots. Antidote? <gasps> Antidote for what? Take them below. She below. needs proper medical help. Hey, hey, hey. <sighs> Two dads. Can you go clubbing? No, what, what? Is it a party drug? Amyl nitrate, a party drug, yeah. Well, he said it was an antidote. Only for a boring night out. But she's okay, that's, that's, that's all that matters. <laughs> X. Mm. X, snap out of it. Mm. X. The high doesn't last long. But uh, she'll be okay, right? I don't know. I mean, these things can have a bad side effect, like given what? what she was like. Like what? All right, bummer. What are you thinking, huh? You're the medic. No, uh, no I'm not. You're, you're leading semen. Bomber, come on. I'm a cook. That's all I am. That's all I'll ever be. Bird, well done at lunch today. Thank you, sir. This lock can be hard to please, and I'm betting RO wasn't much help. Uh, I think he's found a new appreciation for Bomber's work. She's a great chef, huh? Yes, sir. She's taught me quite a bit. Not just chefing stuff, either. What else? Just confidence, I guess. I look up to her quite a bit. I just hope that she and the others are OK. We all do. If you don't tell us where your mothership is, you will go to jail for a very long time. 
you will never see your family or your home again. No wife, no kids. Gone. Hello? Do you understand me? Yeah, you understand me all right. You understand me just fine. If you tell us, we can protect you. Where? Come on, mate. Do yourself a favour. How are we going? We're not. Sir, can I have a word with you in private? He knows where they are. Agreed. They must have a rendezvous point. Then request permission to interrogate him more vigorously, sir. You mean torture him? I mean get the information we need. Dutchie, every fibre of my being wants to get that information, no matter what the cost. Then just give me five minutes with him. No one need ever know. I'd know. Sir, with all due respect, we can't afford to take the high moral ground here. Return to the bridge, Dutchie. Sir. That's an order. Now. What was that about? I just wish I knew if Kate was the ex. Sir, listen. I've got an idea. This FFE, it was full of live fish, right? When we intercepted it, it was on a direct course. If you're right, all we have to do is follow the heading. It's my head. Oh, just relax. Try and breathe slowly. It looks like there's a crossbeam on the other side of this. If we can get something into this gap, maybe we can just... Australian Navy. Our office needs proper medical treatment. Hey! Hey! Uh. What are you doing? Where are you taking her? She's not well. Please, no. Uh. Go next. Solid. Oh. Open up. Go, Bubba, go. And I hurt you, okay? Get your hands off it! Hey, hey, get your hands Get off! Get her out of here! Hey, I'm on off! This is my boat! You leave the woman alone! God, are you okay? Yeah, you should see the other guys. I had to keep them busy. Okay, all right. All right, let me have a look. Yeah. Ah, sorry. I thought you said look. All right, I think you might have a broken rib. I'm sorry. to Hammersley. Yes, ma'am. But we're locked in. There's timber bolted across the door. You were right. OK, have you looked for something? Yeah, it's going to be OK. Mm. You need to rest. I'm OK. I'm really... Ma'am? Rest. I promise it'll be OK.
Two deaths. Do the trick. Come on. Be careful. So it doesn't break. I'm being careful. Boarding. Must be Hellesley. They've found us. You stay here. I'll go get help. Oh, no. Two dads. Stay here. I'm in charge of the steaming party, remember? Be careful. Always. Negative, sir. They had a full load of fish when we intercepted them. It's reasonable to assume they were on this heading to intercept their mothership. Uh, sir, I've done some more research on cyanide poisoning and there are antidotes. Such as? A specific form of vitamin B12 is the most effective, but there are riskier options such as uh, dicobalt editate or even amyl nitrate. Riskier? Some potentially very harmful side effects. Do we carry this B12? No, sir. Row, inform NAVCOM we need a medivac on standby. Sir. With a uh, cyanide antidote kit. OK. Thanks, Wayne. Sir. I know why those uh, fishermen on that FFV were blind. Symptom of prolonged low-level cyanide exposure. So if it doesn't kill you, it sends you blind. Hmm. It's a hell of a price to pay for fish. Hemsley, this is Bomber. Come in, Hemsley. Over. Bomber, this is Hammersley. Why are your sir. coordinates over? They transferred us to another ship. Our position is 11.35 degrees south. 126.12 degrees east. Over. Set course. Set course. Bomber, the X. She's OK. They gave us some sort of antidote. She's getting better. But, sir, there's fighting on board. There's a mutiny or something going on. Over. We're on our way. Take cover and lay low until we get there. Way too long. She might need my help, Hicks. I'm gonna go find her again. Hicks.
be one of these. Beautiful fish you have here, man. Boss man wants to see me chop deck. I'll get out of your way. Bad. Ah! 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 Captain now. Captain has power of life and death. You're a murderer. You'll be caught and you'll go to jail. Yeah, no one's gonna miss a few fishermen, eh? As long as we get a good catch. Everyone's happy, eh? I haven't finished with you yet. You don't scare me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes, I do. You're mine. Move! It's about time. Hey! Hey! Marlon Wave. If you think you can warn your friends, you kill Lagi. People over. Negative, sir, negative. We've had a handful since we bought it, but it's at the top of my list. Over. Oh, Cut it! Cut it! I haven't seen him. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. Swain, with me. Yep. Bomber, I'm gonna just wait. We haven't cleared these rooms yet. He's here. Two dads. Two dads.
It's the same as the X. Yeah, cyanide. Cyanide? You said they had an antidote on board. Yeah, the captain had it. But they killed him and threw his body overboard. <sighs> Two dads. His clothes. What? They took his clothes. It's in a small bottle. The captain had it. It must be here somewhere. Well, what was he wearing? Old khaki pants. Oh, great. Putrid, more putrid or most putrid? Yeah, these. Empty. Keep searching, all right? It's a small bottle. It could be anywhere. Where is it? I don't know what you're talking about. Captain has power of life and death. Where is it? He's got it. He's got the antidote. Search him. Ah, yep. Here, that's it. You. Ah. Ah. Here. He just held it under a nose. That's all he did. Breathe. Please, breathe. Why didn't I get the giggle? You did. You know? Yep. And I've got it all on tape. You haven't. <laughs> that made me laugh while my head hurts. Oh, man, I'm never doing ammo again. <laughs> I suggest you give cyanide a wide berth as well. It's a given cyanide. And don't ever scare us like that again either. So did you have to give me the kiss of life? No comment. You just did, didn't you? You'll never know. So, uh, two dads is going to be fine, and the prisoners are under guard down in Austere, and I'm... And you should be resting. I feel good, honestly. All right. Yeah. It's good to have you back. the day you've had, it seems a bit rough to be making your cook dinner, too. It was either me or Roe, ma'am. And Judge got down on his knees and begged. <laughs> Apparently, Bird saved Roe in the galley today. And she had some great things to say about you, too. Bomber, about your application for leading semen. Oh, ex, you don't have to go there. After spraying cyanide in your face and causing everything that went wrong today, um, obviously not the right stuff, so let's just forget about it, hey? What happened today wasn't your fault. And if you hadn't have shown the leadership and courage that you did, who knows where we'd be right now? Yeah, but X... I'm recommending your promotion. You are? Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. seem to be letting up anytime soon. So a message from Coast Watch and ethcope has been activated in our sector. You haven't received any mayday calls. Yes, I did mention that to them, sir. Got the coordinates? Sir. Roger. Plane steer 117. Find this ethcope. Yeah, 117. Coast Watch, this is Hammersley. Sir, that is right into the heart of the storm cell. Message with knowledge. We're en route to ethcope coordinates, over. It was an easy job. We'd get bored, right? Coast Watch, this is Hammersley. Please respond, over. Sir, uh, having trouble getting through on the radio due to this. Permission to power up the 900. Permission granted. Thank you, sir. Coast, watch this is Hammersley. Over. Coast, watch this is Hammersley. Over. So the X is recommending you for promotion. That's awesome. It's not actually. I'm not sure I'm up for the extra responsibility. What? But you so wanted to. Yeah, be careful what you wish for, hey? Well, I know what I wish for, and I don't think I'm going to change my mind. The EPIRB signal is still 1.5 nautical miles ahead of us. Depth? Four decimal one metres, sir. 
Time to cut it fine. Sir, I have a visual in the water. Green, five near. Slow astern, both engines. Slow astern, both engines. Well done, bird. Deploy the ribs, X. Away sea boats, away sea boats. This is just surface debris, ma'am. No sign of the yacht. Body in the water on my port side. She's alive. She's alive, X. You got a Dutch? Oh, no, that's it. Like, so I've got you now. Ready? Big breath for me. Ready? We got you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You can thank the EPIRB. It saved your life. My husband, have you found Have you found him? Your husband? Is your husband out here? Martin, he was still on the boat, the, the yacht. Well, your husband was on the yacht when you were swept over, but we heard no mayday. No, he wouldn't let me send one. He, he smashed the radio, so he couldn't send a mayday. Okay, let's get it back to the ship. The thermia was fairly mild. Temperature's just about back to normal. Doing well. And Martin? We're uh, still searching for him. Your boat has almost certainly gone down, but hopefully Martin's wearing a life jacket. Uh, I can't remember. When I was drying out your things, I found this. Is that... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Martin. We were married last year. Larry, you said something when we picked you up. You told us that Martin smashed the radio. And... Did I say that? Yeah. Martin was worried about salvage operators. They scan for maydays. They're like vultures. He was worried that if we lost the boat, they'd take everything. He didn't want us broadcasting the position. Ma'am. Lara, my name's Dylan Mark Holland. We're required by law to warn shipping of potential hazards. We need to work out roughly where your yacht went down. Uh, it was still afloat when the EPIRB was activated? Yeah. But in the water, I lost sight of it very quickly. Right. Martin put me in a lifeboat and activated the EPIRB. I'm not much help. Sorry. I think she's telling us everything. She's been through an ordeal and she's worried about her husband. Which reminds me, we have to send this photo through to Navcom. Said her husband. Great catch. You can't help who you fall in love with. Yes, you can. Swain, it's Lara's things. Lara, here's my number. You just call me if you need anything. Okay, thanks. So. Good luck. Patient's ready for transfer now, over. Ready to receive, over. Launch the rib charge. Yes, sir. I was monitoring that transmission. Shouldn't happen. What? Interference on the local signal. Newcastle's, what, 100 yards away? Shouldn't be happening. Stand by to retrieve sea boat. Recommend search pattern for missing yachts.
Bro, is this really necessary? Yes, it is. Mate, I could check the hardware in Comsen, yeah? Unnecessary. Bro, under the circumstances, the angle, look, it looks... Two dads, the angle of the antenna can affect signal strength, so just do it. Two dads, I can't find the left-handed screwdriver. Keep looking, Bird, it's in the toolbox, I told you. It looks like this, it's just a left-handed one. Okay. What's he doing out there anyway? His job. Ugh. No sign of the missing man, sir. So our chances are now looking pretty slim. Yeah, it seems that way. Thanks. Uh, we are making one last pass through the search area where we calculated the vessel sunk. Sir, there's a salvage vessel close to those original EPIRB coordinates. And it looks like they've got visitors. I know this bloke. The boat's name is the Rioli. The salvage's name is Albi Dumas. He's got a reputation for cutting corners. What's worse, he's ex-Navy. Clearance diver in Vietnam. Oh. Even won a bravery award. Didn't do anything for his personality. Two days, make sure your camera's recording. The red button is on, X. Get off my boat! It's my brother's yard! Trespassing, pal! Get off! Hey! Keepers, pal! Get off my boat, you maggots! I'm playing with you, you are! Hey, 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 hey
No, I better go alone. You stay. Wolf. Lara, what are you doing here? My husband. We bought this boat shed together. You can't stop the search. You must keep looking for Martin. Lara, it's an official decision. I can't Please. change that. He's still out there somewhere. And that man, that, that salvage man. Albie? He's in danger. Who from? Lara, what's wrong? What are you afraid of? I... Lisa, if you are in trouble, I can help you. No. Lara! What are you gonna say to the feds? Never even got a good look at them. Just tell them what I know, I guess. I gave you an order not to follow me. No, you didn't. I did. That was more of a suggestion. Oh. Hey, have you tried Lara's number, the one she called you from? No. She said that Albie Dumas was in danger. She was clearly terrified. The radio's working, Robert? Yes, sir. I've still got to do some tests, but I'm happy with the signal quality. Excellent. Did you radio the salvage operator? Yes, Dumas? I did, ma'am. And there was no static or interference, so that was good. But what did he actually say? Oh, no, he didn't respond. So he didn't respond because he didn't get the message? Well, I can't say. But the signal was perfect, so... puts my mind at rest. What? Try him again. Twelve hour shore leave? Me too. Come over to mine for dinner. Better not. Things might get out of hand. Come on, we're both mature adults. We can control ourselves. Speak for yourself. I can control myself. You sure about that? Okay. We better not tempt fate. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> I'm such a loser. in the shower. Don't let me stop you. I don't even like you. I hate you too.
sorry, not a razor. Show leaves cancelled. We gotta go back to the ship. Let's not arrive together. I've got nothing, Swain. Well, these are the coordinates. I thought he'd still be hanging around. He did say there wasn't much left to salvage. Uh, radar contact bearing 340, range 10 nautical miles, man. So this just in from Coast Watch. They've spotted Albie Dumas's vessel, the Rioli. It's roughly nine nautical miles north, and it's travelling at eight knots. Have you been trying to raise him? Every eight minutes. Still no response. He must have turned his transponder off. According to that intel, this must be him, but ship's details aren't coming up on radar. All right, let's intercept. MV Rioli, this is Australian warship Hemmersley, over. Hemmersley to Rioli, are you reading me? Over. Oh, this guy's a pain. What's he playing at? He can't... I mean, he's not faster than us, is he? Not by a long shot. So is he just messing with us? Well, let's find out. Get a rib in the water. Where do you think you're going? What? Robert heard a noise. I thought it was all fixed. You thought wrong, X. Oh, you can sort it out later. Get your kid on, you're coming with us. Yes. M. Virioli, this is Australian warship Hemmersley. You are to stop or heave to. We intend to board you to enforce Australian maritime law. Hey, Dutchie, you go up first, just in case Albie makes a smart mouth comment. I might do something inappropriate. Yeah, right, and I'm going to be Mr Squeaky Clean. Dermis! Albie! Check the wheelhouse, Wade. Mr Dermis! Hello? Albie! X, the boat's on autopilot. Albie! Is he there? Is he going to give us any more lip? Not anymore. Out here thinking. Oh no. What? You've got that look on your face again. The last time you had that look, you got yourself into trouble. No, it's not like that. I was wondering. About? What is so important about that boat? I think it's all about the sunken yacht. Oh, that's where it all started. And so I was just. Wondering? Yes, wondering. It's not that deep out there. What would I find if I went snorkeling? Do we have time? We? Yeah. About four hours? Shall we? X? Sorry. Navcom want a report from both of us. What well, shoddy workmanship? It was working when you left board. It's not working now, is it? <laughs> you broke it. You didn't fix it properly in the first place, and I want it fixed now. You've got four hours. It's seven time minutes now. That's how long we're in port for. Oh, get me off this boat.
when I met with Lara, she told us that he was in danger and that is why we followed it up. Even though it's technically a federal police matter? All right, they've determined that the shed where you met Lara was indeed purchased by her husband only a month earlier. Now, Lara was released from hospital into the care of her brother-in-law, Carl Strauss, but the address he gave turns out to be a pet shop in Maroubal. Seems like everyone's giving out false information. The feds will look for Lara and chase Carl Strauss. We can put this to bed and get back to our real work. Where are you going? Uh, we finished, we're going home. Uh, no. I have to do some tests first. <laughs> oh, okay, hang on. I need to make sure that the work has been done to my satisfaction. Okay, you're sailing soon. You'll wait here, or you can watch and learn. Is he always like this? This is a good day. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel sorry for you. Thanks, appreciate that. You ready to sail? All ships company present, sir, except for Dutchie. Where is he? I've got no idea. He went to look over the sunken yacht. It was four hours ago. I'll get permission from Navcom to sail without him. Sir. Seems to be empty, sir. Dutchie was in that. Well, yeah, we were going out together to take a Wait. look around. Well, I was going to go with him and then you called me away. I'm just surprised that he went out on his own. That's... No one on board is. Are there men in the water? Sir, green four, five degrees. Dutchie? Oh, it's nasty. Oh, God, Swain. Go! Uh, Dutchie? Hey, Dutchie. He's out, he's out. Hang in there, mate, hang in there. Dutchie? I feel like an idiot. It's such a stupid accident. Okay, man. You should keep the pain at an acceptable level. Acceptable to me or you? There you go. Start to feel better. Let's get the rest of his wetsuit off, eh? Who's that? Is that real? What have you found out, right? So they managed to trace the gold bar using the serial number and the gold mark. It was part of a shipment that was hijacked in the Indian Ocean about a month ago. Here you go. Oh, bomber. You're a rock star. It's only tea, Dutchie. Oh. <laughs> Dutchie, the photos from your camera, we've had Robert print them oh, up. Great. Yeah, look, see, they had to be an inflatable with that boat. You see that section of the guardrail there? You see the canvas cover? It's the type used to cover an outboard engine, isn't it? Yeah. And um, the mounting block is there. There was no engine near the boat. Albie could have salvaged it. No, but see how the canvas cover is tied to the guardrail? That means whoever used that outboard had to have removed it before the yacht sank. So why wasn't Lara in an inflatable? So we're thinking Martin and Lara were part of the gang that did this robbery. Probably. And then Martin got greedy, took the gold and made off in his yacht. And that's why Carl was so upset to find a salvage operator poking around the wreck. They probably thought Albie recovered the gold. That's why they killed him. But did Albie actually get the gold? Or had Martin already got away with it before the yacht sank? Now, given the storm surge on that day, if he did get away in the inflatable, he might have made it to here. It is the only island in that direction. Prevailing winds and currents wouldn't have allowed him to go any other way. What do you think? Boarding deck. 
circuits, go ahead, keep your Kevlar on. Okay, two dads and Swain, I want you to head north along the beach. Bomber, with me, we'll head inland. I want you to stay in radio contact. If you see anything, you call it in. You really expect to find anything? Oh, it's a long shot. Okay. Looking for a needle in a haystack. So what are we looking for? Any sign that someone's been through here recently? Footprints count? Yeah, looks like there's been some traffic through here. This way. X. What's Lara doing here? I think her friends are thinking the same things as us. Well, they don't look like a friend's ex. Hammersley, this is X-ray at two over. Oh, I was having trouble with the radio. Oh, not now. Hammersley, do you read me over? Just relax, sir. Don't move. Don't say anything. On your knees. Oh, you don't like that. You don't mind doing it to someone else. We're here to help you. X-ray A2, this is Hammersley. Radio check. Over. Chad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks. Sorry, sir? It should have been fixed. Is it definitely just a radio problem? Well, there's no way to tell conclusively. Get a second shore party standing by, just in case. Roger that. We've located Lara and apprehended one of the suspects. We're just taking them back to the rib now. Where are you? Man, we've been following the coast all the way around the island. We're probably a mile away. Avoid contact with any of the suspects. They're armed. Understood. Well, and Swain, for some reason we can't make contact with Hammersley. For now, we're on our own. Yeah, I heard, man. I'm sorry. We know about the gold, Lara. Martin always was greedy. He wasn't happy with our share. So he stole from them and you had the gold on the yacht. That's why Martin didn't want me to mayday during the storm. They would have found us. Do you think that Martin's alive? The last I saw him, he was loading gold into the inflatable. He said he'd come back for me, but we didn't think the yacht would sink so fast. Why did you find me? I, I escaped from Carl and I called you to warn you. Now I realise they'd probably let me escape and followed me, hoping I'd lead them to Martin. If Martin is alive, do you think he'll come back for you? Of course. He loves me. Husband, go! Oi! Wait! You chase him, I'll cut him off! Stop! Oi! Hey, Martin, stop running! Stop running! You're gonna get away with this! Bloody neck! Stop it! Stop it! Ah. Oh, bloody neck! Ah. Oh. 
I've been running from cops my whole life, man, and you think you've got a chance. Look what we have here. Bars of gold. Keep moving. Swain, you won't believe what I found, mate. What's wrong? Hey, Marty. Drop it. Long time no see, Marty. X-ray 8-2, this is Hammersley. Over. Sir, I've checked everything. I can't isolate the problem. It's driving me nuts. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Charge, get the second rib over to the island. Sir. Full tactical gear. We can't take the chance. Yes, sir. What are you doing up here? Feeling better, sir. I'd like to go on the short party, sir. You sure you're up to it? They need me. No heroics, understood? I'm good to go, sir. Carry on. This is Carl. Are you reading me? Come in, can you hear me? Crap. I'm not getting any response from the campsite. There might be more navy on the island. Come on, move it, you two! Move. Move. Come on! Go! This is Carl, come in. Come in. What are you doing here? I got better. All right, the suspects are here. I believe there's three of them. We've only apprehended this man. Bomber, get them back to Hammersley. Is your radio down? Uh, yeah, I can't get through to Hammersley and I can't race Swain. You could before? Yeah. Well, whatever's happening on Hammersley, you should still be able to contact Swain unless you, I don't know, out of range. Which way did you send him? North along the beach. Judge, we'll meet you there. OK. Bomber, go in the second rib. Charge this way. Come in. There's a boat. Check it out. Hold your fire! Don't drop that gold! Come on! Get up! Come on, man. It's over. You're never going to get away. An idiot, mate. He's got all the hostages. Take it easy. Put your hands behind your heads. It's hopeless, Carl. It's over. For God's sake, give it up. You're a traitor! Carl Strauss. You don't leave immediately! I'll kill these men! You have two of our people, we're not leaving. I'm serious! You hear what I said? Consider your position. Why should I? I'm holding all the cards! No, you're not! Get down! Okay, okay! Stand on the ground! Drop your weapon! On your knees! Stand on the ground! Don't shoot! Now! On your knees! I'll take that. You! Hands behind your back! Now! Do it! Do it! Uh. Hey. <clears throat> Don't be stupid. Hands behind your head. Good work, Swain. Hey, you made good time. Jogged all the way. <laughs> that you, right? I don't feel so good. Dutchy. Dutchy? Dutchy, can you hear me? Hey, Dutchy. Dutchy! Swain! Swain! Dutchy, I need you to stay with me. Excuse me, sir. Martin. Lara, darling. Has he mentioned me at all? No. Did he even ask if I was alive? I love you. I... Oh. You liar! You are never coming back! Lara! Take her through to the junior sailor's mess. Keep an eye on her. Sir. Yeah. 
How's the patient? Well, the bleeding stopped. We'll get over it. He's strong. Can I talk to him? Uh, sure. But I've just pumped him full of pethidine, so it might not make much sense. Hello, how are you feeling? Hey. <laughs> uh, floating. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh. And do you want to explain why you came ashore in that condition? <laughs> I mean, what were you thinking? Uh. You're an angel. Dutchie, I... You're an amazing woman. Bethadine, ma'am? Yeah. Won't remember a thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come here. No, no, you're messed up, big fella. Where are you going? Cup tea. I'll come back and check on you in a minute, Lara. Are you hurt? Guess I'm not bulletproof after all. I trust you know why you're here. I have to ask, is there a sexual relationship going on between you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, there is. It only just happened. You know the regulations. You can't help who you fall in love with. Yes, you can. And to make matters worse, you brought it onto the boat. That I can't overlook. One or both of you will have to post off. I will, sir. It was my fault. Two dads wanted to observe the rules and I encouraged him otherwise. Bomber. Bomber, you realise that this will affect your promotion? Stuff it. I don't care. I don't want to sign up again anyway. Very well, Bomber. When we get back to port, I'll arrange for your transfer. It may take a couple of weeks. Thank you, sir. In the meantime, you'll continue with your duties in strict observance of the rules. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm very disappointed in you both. Dismissed. I can't help feeling slightly hypocritical about this. The difference is... they brought it on the boat. Bomber! You could have told me you felt that way. Now it's decided. I actually feel good. And when I'm off the boat, we can look forward to many more long, hot showers. Ah, X. Finally located that faulty circuit. Radio reception is at optimum level once more. Oh, that's great. I'm sorry I let you down earlier, man. You didn't. Well, it's my equipment, my responsibility. Turned out to be a single circuit. Oh. Do you want me to show you? Oh, maybe later. Won't take long. I just... I don't need any more complications. It's not that complicated, man. In my life. Need to step it up, mate. We've got to get these provisions off the dock ASAP. 
there you go. Dutch, I reckon I got swine flu, mate. Worse flu, more like it. Told you not to eat that worm in the bottom of the bottle. Yeah, Alright, thanks for that charge. Sir, our orders to sale have come through at 11 30 hours. Okay. They're all there. How was breakfast? It was fine. A Dutchie found a great little place in town. Excellent. Got a present for you. What is it? It's a surprise. Did it happen for you, right? All right. 20 minutes, we'll be out of here. It's a box. I don't know box. Eh? It's a wooden box. It's a little box. I don't know. You pack everything. You told me not to touch any. I didn't touch it. No, I... What do you mean? I have no idea. I tried to help you, and then you tell me that I have no idea. What do you mean? I'm going to Has the ship. Oh. Hey. All right, all right. You've had your fun. Knock it off. I'll lap it up, boss. You deserve it. Everyone on this ship would have done the same thing. Oh. Sir, I'm picking up a pan pan call from vessel Jeanette J. Robert, what's a pan pan call? Uh, it's one level below a mayday call. Not grave or imminent danger, but it's still serious. Sir, I've just picked it up on AIS Jeanette J. She's an oceanographic vessel, approximately nine nautical miles north northeast of our current position. Did you get details, Aro? I have a, a gentleman online. He's, he's saying that he's discovered something. It's unclear what. Frankly, he sounds inebriated. Boss, Commander White, put it through to my cabin. X, take the ship. Set course for the Jeanette J. Sir. Right, let the vessel know we're responding. I have the ship. Sir. Maxine. Mike, have you had a chance to look at the new list I sent? Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I spent half the night researching your candidates. And? I've got to be honest here. None of them are capable of taking command. I give you a hand in finding your replacement as a courtesy, Mike, and if I didn't know you better, I might think that you were using candidate unsuitability not to return to your position here. That's just not the case, Maxine. You just haven't recommended anyone yet who I think is capable of the job. OK, I'll tell you what. Why don't you add names to the list who you think are suitable and send it to me? Given that silence, I take it you think that's a great idea? Looking forward to getting your list, Mike. the oceanographic vessel now. What did Knocker want? She hear about your heroic exploits? Uh, no. She was just hassling me about Hammersley's replacement CEO. Oh, you found anyone suitable yet? All the candidates were hopeless. I wouldn't let them command a tugboat, let alone a warship. Pipe boarding stations, X? Yes, sir. Sir. 
there's something I want to show you. You're mapping out here on the reef, sir? Yeah, doing research on coral decline. Growth rates are at their slowest in 400 years, so there's just too much acidity and carbon dioxide in the water. Oh. Oh. I put that there. What did you want to show us, Mr Mason? There was a fishing boat out here a couple of hours ago. I saw him through my binos drop something overboard. So, when I finally got to map the area, this is what I find. Looks like a body. to an old boat engine block with nylon rope, boss. Even on the recovery line. Mr Mace, how long ago did you see this fishing boat? Four and a bit hours ago. Now she headed off to the north. You didn't get the name of the vessel? My eyesight's not that good, Captain. Even through binoculars. And none of the crew saw it, so... Could you at least give my XO a description of it? Oh, it's, I don't know. I mean, it's... I reckon it was a beam trawler. Could have been an outrigger. Boss? Yeah. Go ahead, Swaino. Contact bearing 355, range 9 nautical miles, sir. Unlikely, but let's get her on Eod. It's an outrigger. Wheelhouse forward, working deck aft. What's the speed? Barely moving, sir. Three to four knots. A boat involved in a murder wouldn't just be hanging around the general vicinity. But it matches Mason's description, though. Not that he's totally reliable. Fishing trawler in position 11 degrees 35 south, 143 degrees 15 east. This is Australian warship calling you on channel 16. We're conducting routine boardings in the area. We request permission to board you as a training exercise. Your captain said a couple of minutes. This has been more like 20. We appreciate the cooperation, Mr Kavanagh. We don't get a chance to do a lot of these boardings, and so the training for us is invaluable. Swain? You got a TVH and a manifest I could look at? Yeah. I'll need to assemble all of your crew on deck. You're looking at it. Right, there's a manifest, and it's TVH for Spanish mackerel. Captain X? So the boat is licensed, the manifest in order and all the crew accounted for, over. What does your gut instinct tell you, X? X, holds empty, no fish below. Only been out for a couple of days. Must be the El Nino. Look at these Spanish mackerel, must speak the lingo. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your paperwork. Come on, boys, onto it. Sir, my instinct tells me that this boat is dodgy. But apart from having no fish on board, there is no evidence to confirm that impression, sir. OK, X. Head back to the ship. We'll continue to shadow them until we decide on a course of action. Over. Copy that. X. Navcom have ID the dead man, Rowan Wells, convicted drug trafficker. The feds lost sight of him four days ago in Cairns. And they were surveilling him? They suspect he was importing large amounts of cocaine. Bringing it in from PNG, but they didn't know how he was doing it. Well, he won't be doing it any longer. Sir, Fed sent through another photo. That is Darren Kavanagh with him. Master of the trawler? He was taken a week ago. Right, Ro, get on to Navcom. Sir. We'll retreat below the horizon, monitor the boat on Eod. Why don't you get some sleep? Feds won't be here till the morning. Until then, it's just a case of keeping tabs. No, I'm okay. Sir, radar contact that I've been monitoring's just changed course. Looks like it's en route to the fishing trawler. Dutchy, can you pick it up? Sir. Contacts are converging. Getting closer. Looks like they're transferring a very large pallet across. You said the feds didn't know how Wells was bringing drugs into the country. 
Are we going to wait till morning to find out? Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Captain X, deck is secure, minimal resistance, over. Copy that, X. We're monitoring that other vessel on radar. Check out that pallet, over. OK, what is this? Another training exercise, is it? We have reason to believe that you have just received a shipment of drugs, Mr Kavanagh. Are you kidding me? Open the pallet. It's cable, ma'am. Beds don't look too happy. Understatement, X. Not only did we not catch Kavanaugh with drugs, but we've alerted him to the fact that he's a person of interest. Sir. Commander. X, can you grab the EOD surveillance tapes? They're on my desk in my cabin. Kavanaugh's boat arrived in port early this morning. We've got eyes on it, but there's no sign of Kavanaugh. He must have transferred to another vessel on route. All the candidates were hopeless. They couldn't command a tugboat, let alone a warship. Typing. A transfer request. I'm sick of it. I have had enough. I want off the ship. XO Bridge. Thanks, mate. Hi, you've called Kate McGregor. Leave a message. Thanks. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Come join the others. I don't think I'll be much company tonight. Why is that? I've decided to transfer off the ship. What? Why? Oh, bigger and better opportunities on a big ship. What sort of opportunities are you looking for? Professional or personal ones? Come on. One drink. Come on. One. Oh, Captain McCaffrey. <laughs> Mr. Mason. Steel Mason. I take it you're back in port to give a statement to the feds. All that. And I've got a job interview. Job interview? I thought you'd be busy mapping the reef. More money to be made finding fish, I think. Fishermen pay top dollar for the use of my boat and its equipment. Right. And whoever's funding your research, do they know that? No. <laughs> Cheers, Captain. You didn't have to help me home. I'm afraid I did. Oh, yes. Taxi driver wasn't going to deal with him himself. This one. Oh, oh very nice. Uh, uh. <laughs> there you go. Oh. You go, okay? Thanks, Captain. Yeah, oh, you're a lovely man, Captain. <laughs> you're a lovely man. Come on. Air room for two. Come on. <laughs> oh, that'll be a negative, Mr. Mason. Good night. All right, Captain. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Mason. I uh, did call out. There was no one up top. Yeah. Who are you? Derek Kavanagh. 
We spoke on the radio about hiring a boat. Yeah, uh, you were looking for fish. Actually, it's not about fish. It's, it's a little more delicate. So what are we looking for? I mean, sir. I lost contact with it a couple of days ago. I know the general area, but I'd need your equipment and expertise to locate it. A mini sub. Use it to do a bit of salvage work on the side. Yeah, sounds uh, feasible. If you'll excuse me though, I was just about to uh, go to the bathroom. Of course. That's not mine. Hi, you've called Kate McGregor. Leave a message, thanks. Yeah, Kate, listen, it's uh, Mike. I'm on Stuart Mason's boat and Kavanagh is here. He wants to hire Mason to find a mini sub that he's lost. It's got to be a drug sub. Explains why they needed the salvaging cable and how they're bringing the drugs in. Mr. Mason, can you come out, please? Uh, yeah. Hang on. Mr. Kavanagh, I've thought about your offer. Unfortunately, my research work does take precedence. Mate, I don't need you. I'm to stand up. This man tells me he's Stuart Mason, the oceanographer, which begs the question, who the hell are you? Uh, Ma'am, we're ready to set sail. We've just got one tiny little problem. What is it? No CO. No one's seen him all morning. Yeah, according to the pegboard, he's off the boat and he's not answering his mobile. Oh, no, that'll just go through to message chain. Just... I've already left three messages. Hello. Yeah, Kate, listen, it's uh, Mike. I'm on Stuart Mason's boat and Kavanagh is here. He wants to hire Mason to find a mini sub that he's lost. It's got to be a drug sub. Explains why they needed the salvage. Come with me. Okay, what time was that? Okay, thank you. Harbour Master says that Mason's boat sailed out just before midnight. More than eight hours ago. Yeah. We know their general heading, though. When we boarded them. It must be where they lost contact with the drug sub. R.O., get an AFCOM on the line. Yes, ma'am. Dutchie, prepare to take the ship. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, I know your Navy, and I definitely recognise your voice, Commander Flynn, so why don't you just tell me what I want to know? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I want to know everything the Feds Navy know about my business, and all I want from you is Coast Watch's security frequency. Well, I don't know anything about that. All right. Oh! Here is the deal. You give me the frequency <laughs> and the pain will stop. <laughs> I can listen in, find out what they know about my business, and you can get a well of rest. <laughs> Flinny, what do you say? <laughs> Oh, that was a silly thing to do, wasn't it? Huh? Pick him up. This is where we picked up the body, and this is where we caught up with Kavanaugh's trawler. It's pretty much a straight line from Daru to Cape York. So the width of the search area is small, yeah. but the length. Aro, have you got anything from Coast Watch yet? Not yet, ma'am. X, send the boys deployed. Already onto it, ma'am. Very good. If they are using Mason's boat to find their sub, they'll be emitting a signal. I want as many ears listening for it as we can afford. Yes, ma'am. Hey, we'll find it. Yeah, this is my fault. It's no one's fault, X. I deliberately dropped his call last night. Why would you do that? Ma'am? I think I've got something. It's a fair way off. Yeah, I've got it too. It's a high frequency output, similar to a mine hunter or a, or a hydrographic survey ship. It could be their sonar. 
OK, R.O., see if you can hone in on it and give us a course to steer. Yes, ma'am. Hey, come on, just give me the frequency, hmm? Just give me the frequency and we can all get some sleep. You give me the frequency now! Now! I'm going to take a seat. You will? I'm going to. Go on. Just give it to me now. This is getting really tedious. You are a naughty boy. Mason's found the sub. All clear. Really? And the boss just called. Said he'll be within the hour to get the drugs. He wants Mason and the Navy man put in the sub. Said he'll tow it out to deep water and get rid of it. Party time. Grab him. Signal's gone, ma'am. What? It's gone. Nothing. I must have found the sub. Hold our course to the signal's last known position. All right, hurry up. Let's go now. Oh, don't worry about the smell. They're dead. Just get the stuff out. I'm sorry I had to help them. There is nothing else I could do. Come on, come on, hurry it up. That's the last of it. They didn't deserve to die like that. They knew the risks. All right, there's the boss. Get it into the sub now. Please, come on, you don't have to do this. Please, come on! Right, get him! Go! We've got the signal back. Don't lose it, Ro. Get him in there. God, it stinks! I'm Andrew Gorski. I owe you my life and the life of my son. I've got a contact. 030, range 14 miles. Contacts on a heading of 170, travelling That's Mason's 12 boat. Months. And charter calls for intercepts. Swain, pipe boarding stations. Hey, where are you going? To lead the boarding. Ma'am, well, you're acting CEO. You can't leave the ship. I am. Um... I'll go, X. Where's Mike Flynn? I don't know a Mike Flynn. Two dads, bomber with me. Roger. It's not your boat, Mr. Kavanagh. Where's the owner of the vessel? Didn't have a clue. I hired off a steward Mason to find some fish. Right. So where's Mr. Mason? I've got no idea, big fella. It was a bit under the weather. Boss! Anything? 
Nothing. No sign of him, Dutchy. Boss! Boss! Thunder, this is Hammersley sit rep. No sign of anyone below deck six. Where is he? Two deaths. Give us a handy. On the count of three, ready? One, two, three. We found him, X. Uh, Dutch, is he okay? Boss? It's okay, stop struggling. <laughs> Negative X, it's not the CO. It's the mother of the baby he saved. What the hell is going on over there? Stand by X. <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am, I need you to calm down and tell me what's going on. What are you doing here? My husband, Anton Gorski. What about him? He had Rowan killed. Rowan well? Oh, it was my lover. He told the governor to take care of me in the same way. Dutchy, X, over. Go ahead. Can you tell us where the boss is? Does she know anything? Ma'am, do you know where Mike Flynn is? He's in the submarine. Anton's taken to the deep water to sink it. He's in the sub. Anton's tying it into deep water to sink it. Oh, they can't get to the south of our current position. No, we would have picked them up on the radar. Yeah, but most of this area is uncharted. Well, they'd be working off the same information as us, and he wouldn't want to tow the sub too far. Where uh, here. Ma'am, there's a deep trench here just south of Bramble Cave. It's the deepest part of the strait. They could be using that. OK. Dutchy, X, over. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sending the second rib over to collect everybody and bring them back here. I want your team in the rib, heading northeast. Once you're in the water, I'll vector you into position. Tyro, you redirect that Coast Watch flight. To south of Bramble Cay. Coast Watch, this is Australian warship Hammersley. Dutchy Coast Watch have spotted something semi submerged. It could be the sub. Come port 35 degrees. Copy that! Come to port 35 degrees! I've got a visual! Right ahead! Thunder to Hammersley! We have a visual! Pete, we have a visual of the sub! Have you got anything? Nothing so far, X. Swain. Harfi. X. We found a. Uh... Go ahead, Dutchy. Found evidence of human remains. Over. Copy that. Sorry, man.
NAVCOM is sending out search vessel Paluma. They will sweep and, um, and they'll collect. Kavanagh? He's in austere with his crew. Sylvana's in the wardroom. Swain, you want to have a look at her? Sure. Gorski's out there somewhere. Still got unfinished business here. Kavanagh's not saying anything. What about Sylvana? Yeah, this will help with the headache. I don't know what Anton's planning. I know he has an exit strategy in case he needs to leave in a hurry, but he never shares his plan with me. Well, he's got to offload the drugs before he skips the country. Do you know where he's taking them? All I know is his contact is in Cairns. What sort of boat was he driving? X. Commander White's on the phone. She's been fully briefed on the situation. I'll take the call. The CEO's cabin. Don't you go up and take the ship. Head for Cairns, maximum speed. And you get a description of Gorski's boat. Commander White, Lieutenant McGregor speaking. Kate, how are you holding up? I'm... A... I'm sorry for your loss, but now is the time for strength, Kate. You're acting commanding officer of Hammersley. I understand, ma'am. We are currently steaming for Cairns. We believe that Gorski is heading there with a shipment of drugs. All right. I'll put the port on alert. Now, the Federal Police have been notified. We will do everything we can to catch this man. McGregor. You have a patrol to finish and a ship to bring in. You can do this. I don't know that I can. Well, Mike Flynn obviously thought you were capable. He added your name to my list of candidate CIs. I'm sorry, he added my name. He rejected my list and uh, he put your name right at the top. So. If Mike Flynn thinks you'll see her material. Who are you all right to doubt that? Charge. Can you give us any more reps? I wish I could, Dutchie, but we're, we're right at the limit. I have the ship. Dutchie has the con. Sit right. X, uh, we're currently travelling at full speed, approximately 285 miles north of Cairns. Nothing to report. We are not giving up. The man who killed our commanding officer is out there somewhere. If Gorski is heading for Cairns, we will catch up with him. I have a contact bearing 195, range six miles. Right, nothing on AIS. Two dads, bring it up on the EOD. That's him. Right, Sway and pipe boarding stations. Full Kevlar. Extra plates. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Assume damage control state. Three condition voyage. I'll take it, X. Not this time, charge. Man, you can't. Stuff protocol, charge. You have the ship.
down! Five of you, now! Get down! Run out! Hands behind your back! Head the other one! Need a minute. Pretty picture, eh? You look a lot better than poor Mr. Mason. Two other dead crew on that sub. Kavanaugh mentioned my name to Anton. If it wasn't for his so-called debt of honor. What was he gonna do with you? He said he was gonna have me released after he was out of the country. Handover's complete, boss. I should um, check you out. As soon as I've had a shower, Swain. Mike Flynn, eh? You okay? Yeah. 
At least you don't have to beat yourself up now. Dropping his call. Sorry. Just... Touchy. The reason that I dropped the boss's call was... Because you're out having a good time with friends and you didn't want to be bothered with ship's business. Yeah, that's right. Dutchie. Dutchie, I... It's OK, ex. It is. Really. Thank you. One over the back. Sir, it's good to have you back. Good to be back, all right. You're starting to look like your old self again, sir. Oh, I don't know if I'll be winning any beauty pageants, Charge. Don't know why I'd be entering any. <laughs> <laughs> but Bomber and Swain did a pretty good job in patching me up. One of the more enjoyable jobs I've had to do as second medic. I'm going to miss you guys. Not as much as we'll miss you. <laughs> what do you think, Bert? This Navy life, is it all worth it? Yeah, I reckon it's OK, sir. Great. Yeah. Is, uh... So, roll. <laughs> Who has the ship? I do, sir. Very good. Take us home, X. <laughs> <laughs>